One second. One second. Okay. Always there. Always there. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back <laughs> to another Loading Artist comic stream. Fashionably late. <laughs> nice. Hot banana, hot banana fursuit, bro. But hey, Mr. Tress's message. But hey, you do you. Happy 50th. Hey, thank you very much, Teddy. Thank you very much for the nine months. Teddy, welcome back. Oh, all right. Hey, hello, everyone. Hello. Gritzkopf. No matter how dark you make your room, we already saw your hanging laundry and the inside of your pants on the couch. The inside of my pants. Oh, my gosh. Splayed out. <laughs> pockets. Pockets on either side, like little, like little koala bear ears. <laughs> I'm, just letting it, I'm just letting it air out for a bit. I spilled some, spilled some ketchup on those pants on the, right in the crotch uh, last night. Uh, and they have stained uh, remarkably, remarkably well. Mm. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, and Supertox, I thought you, you're now used to coding. You stopped doing comics and now a professional coder. Now, that would be a joke. That would be the punchline. Me being a professional coder. <laughs> Funniest comic I've ever done. Also, oh my god, I am trash. No, wait, read slow. Read slow. Oh my god. Hold, hold up. Hold up. First things first. Read slow. Thank you very much for the follow. I want to congratulate you on, the, on getting the perfect, the witch combo as well. So appropriate for today's stream. So appropriate for today's stream, considering the, uh, the comic we're about to see. But thank you very much, Reed Slow. And I'm Trash Number One. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, as you can see, the raid. We still haven't got those fancy things in yet. I just haven't really had a chance to look at all the code differences yet. So I've just kind of commented out the raider stuff. Uh, where are the two people in the raid? I haven't even had a chance to like put that in yet. <laughs> I've been all over the place. And um, and if you're wondering about the fire, it's because Auckland City is on fire at the moment. Well, uh, at the moment. I mean, that's correct, but it started yesterday, and it's been going on all night, so, uh, and, uh, I forgot <laughs> Raid of two, resub of two as well. Ooh. Hey, I'm trash number one. Nice. I'm trash, thank you very much. And, uh, I forgot to, um, even though, even though Auckland City sent out a, uh, a, an emergency text saying, hey, don't go outside because there's toxic gases in the air. Close your windows, cl turn off your air conditioning. I was like, yep, yep, everything is closed nice and tight. I'm all good. I go to bed. I wake up. Smells like burning plastic. Realize the vent was open and running the entire night. So, um... I mean, you know, you can't really see any smoke in here other than, yeah. Other than that smoke, but oh, it smells pretty gross. 
the whole the whole city is just like there is just like smoke everywhere. It smells like you know that smell of burning plastic. But yeah, oh to fill you in, big news in 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 New Zealand. Big news in New Zealand. The Sky City Convention Center that they're building, that apparently is like is like way overdue for like years and years now. It's like a massive project, caught on fire. No casualties though. Just saying that. If if there were actually if there were actually people like dying and everything, then then this would be totally disrespectful. I mean, already it is kind of disrespectful having these these gifts. I, I won't be having them on the entire the entire stream, but just want to clarify. No one died. I don't think anyone even got hurt, so that's good. Just want <laughs> just want to clarify that. But uh, but yeah, so it's just been like it's just been the talk of the town. Started like yesterday morning, yesterday noon, and it was burning throughout the entire night. It's still burning today. It's becoming <laughs> it's becoming I, it's becoming like the, the Springfield's what tr uh, tr dumpster? What is it called? Tire. Tire fire established 1989. That's what it's becoming. So, uh, anyway, anyway, uh, so we got that going on. But yeah, sorry I'm late. Welcome back, everyone. One Genius One Grins Bills, Platformer King, uh, Choir Artist, Pumpkin Comics, Dwarf of Science, New Teddy X of Comics. Hello, X of Comics. Uh, Vanima. Uh, Super Tux, Pratus Monkey, NGC Hunter, Dry Erase Girl, Ethan, Sarah Man, uh, I'm Super Depressed, hello, hello, Steven Deluxe, uh, Grins Pills, Grits Cop, hello, 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 Steven, oh yeah, Steven Deluxe, hello, welcome everyone. All right, oh god, this is making, this is making me feel a little ill. And, uh, hey, Raren, hello. Hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're all here. Is there something? I oh, forgot to do Instagram. Shit. Instagram. Um, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. I gotta do that. I should do that. Hold on. Let's put on a. Let's put on a song in the background just so that it's not completely quiet. Something to drown out the flames. Um. Oh, it's making me real like. Oh. I didn't realize until I woke up, I'm like, smells bad, smells bad. I look, the thing is, I didn't even think my vent was open because it was, it's been winter here. So I thought, oh yeah, I closed the vent during winter because I don't want to be too cold in here, but it was, it was running full blast the entire night. Mm. Um, I'm doing my part for the city. I'm, I'm sucking in some of the, the smoke from the city and keeping it, storing it into my apartment. So I'm doing my part. The diabolical waffle. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, TTT, CCC, hello. Someone help. What are sub tokens? I need to make sense of mobile Twitch. I have no idea what sub tokens are, Raren. I don't know what that is. I haven't used Twitch on a phone in a while. Hey, Sapphire, welcome. Kitty rolls, hello. Jessica Pilot, hello, hello. I'm Trash Number One, gonna head off. I had a long stream and it's time to eat some dinner. Have a good stream. Hey, well, thank you very much again for the resub. I'm Trash Number One and for the raid. Have a good dinner. I'm sorry that I missed your message until now. And uh, Gritzkoff, why did I give you this checklist of, for this if you don't look at it and forget a bunch of stuff? Well, I, I haven't really forgotten it. It's in my hand. Thing is, I can only post the Instagram thing after I go live because it mentions. Hey, I'm live right now, and I can't really post that in advance. So it's just, it's just, it's a little bit of a problem. But no matter, I have gotten all my files t together. If push bullet worked, uh, push bullet. Why are you letting me down? There must be some sort of setting that has changed. It used to be well, anything I drag into push bullet automatically downloads onto my phone, but now it's just. I have to like manually download each file in the timeline. It's pointless. Kind of defeats the whole purpose. Uh, 
and also yeah, this is the fire. The, one of the reasons why I mean, I think it's unusual that a fire would burn in a building overnight and it's still burning today. Uh, but they can't like it's 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 definitely the worst weather conditions as well. It's been super windy today and yesterday, so the the fire is just being fed and the smoke is just being blown all the way across the city. Uh, it's it's been pretty crazy. Um. Wait, hold on. What am I? What am I posting? Oh yeah, posting the banana. One, two, three, four, five. Da, and also this other picture. Bam. <gasps> da, uh, uh. That's looking good. Sorry, I'm I'm almost done. I'm almost done with the Instagram post. Uh, what did you say? How we do? Uh, made new made a bonus panel for patrons and twitch subs i'm just talking about i'm sharing my um my uh comic from last year one of my halloween comics from last year that i've made a new bonus panel for uh for all the subs and one dollar patrons as well uh and also, I'm live right now. I'm so sorry. This is very unprofessional of me to do this on stream. <laughs> also, I'm live. There we go. That looks good. And then my hashtags, Halloween. Ooh, Halloween costumes is good. And banana. Classic. Share. And then share that one as well. Swipe up to watch. Yes. Yes. Link. And then three, two, one. Done. Okay. Done everything. Reddit, Imager, Discord, Twitter. Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, Instagram Stories. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see. Hey, Green Pixel, Yo and Gogo, hello. Um... Mm-mm. Uh well I mean there is there is like a health concern, like we, like I said, there there is an emergency alert that went out to everyone's phone saying like don't go outside, lock your windows, lock your doors, don't breathe the air. But you look outside and everyone just you wouldn't even think it just looks like a foggy day. Everyone else is just doing their own thing. Everyone's going about their business. I mean I haven't really been outside. I went outside quickly to get nippies as well. But other than that, I think I think I'm good. I'm not like I'm not like in the the hot zone or anything like that. Hey, living doodles. Those fires last a long time because of the materials and and them being hard to firefight. Right, right, right. And the wind doesn't help, I'm sure as well. But um, but yeah, it sucks. It sucks, sucks, sucks. Hey, Captain Us, hello. Okay. And, uh, dry erase go. Maybe we should have a tangible checklist you could check off each stream. Maybe. Now we could use a whiteboard. That white, that white, whiteboard I haven't used in like a, probably like a year. It still has a checklist of like my cleaning schedule for cleaning the apartment from like a year ago. Kitchen, desks, bathroom, bedroom, couch, uh, vacuum, recycle, trash. I do not use this enough. But anyway, whatever. Whatever. Let's get to the to the to the meat and potatoes of today's stream, which is not coding, but a comic stream. I apologize for typing the wrong thing. I wasn't thinking. It's the smoke that's getting to me. Uh Super Press, have you played Katana Zero? I think I mentioned it before. Really fun 2D psychedelic, surprisingly gory, 16-bit hack and slash game made by Devolver Digital. 
uh, same people as entered the Dun Gungeon. Um, yes, you did mention this, Sipid Press. It looks, it looks cool. It looks fast. It looks pretty slick. In fact, I tried watching some gameplay and I was like, I was kind of lost. Like, wait, where am I looking in? <laughs> the character says, well, what's happening? But it does look pretty cool. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, Dead Cells, a little bit. Dead Cells means Hotline Miami. And hey, Wolfie, hello. Welcome back. Okay, let's pause the music. Uh, but you had a checklist to start stream, but you just don't use it. Uh, I mean, it's it's not that I really forget what to do. It's just I don't know. I have I have everything under control. I mean, I look like a man that has everything under control. Surely, <laughs> surely, surely, surely. Okay, so let's put out these fires and let's get to the comic. <laughs> Okay. Three. Oh, I haven't even opened the comic. Whoops. <laughs> Hold up. Opening it. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Hey. And temporarily hide my camera. See you soon. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Ugh. Oh god, they're dying. <clears throat> I think it's time. Wait, I almost forgot. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here, there we go. Oops, wrong one. Uh, this one. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I hope you like the comic. That's what we got working on this week. Today and tomorrow's streams. <laughs> uh, yeah, great Scott. Not, not the cleaning job. I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, I uh, it wasn't too predictable. Why is she wearing the VLC logo? <laughs> That's the punchline, because the, the mother is such a fan of VLC. He's like, hey, don't forget, if you're going to be flying around, make sure to advertise my favorite open source media player, VLC. You draw really cute, you draw really cute kids. Watch them a lot, huh? Well, if I draw really cute kids, and I watch them a lot, then you must be watching a lot of cat anuses exocomics because of the cute cat anuses you draw all the time. <laughs> I'll say, hey, Kaselia and Elio, hello. Crazy Cast Guy, hello. Ethan, L from Loading Artist or, or L from Loser? Or both? Or neither, Ethan? Or neither? <laughs> Fat as Monkey, you really didn't need to affix cute to cat anuses. I guess it's implied. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I'm glad you guys are liking it. Also, hey, Death Bulge, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Good to see you there. In fact, Death Bulge, speaking of which, when I was drawing this comic, I thought that the last panel kind of reminded me of a Death Bulge comic. I'm not sure which Death Bulge comic it is. Hopefully, it's not something you've done before. But I feel like just like the... The face expression or something just remind, reminded me of Death Bulge. But hopefully it's not because it's like an exact same ripoff of a comic you did. I'll say, hey, comic code, hello. And also, uh... Superpress, am I being dumb? What's the point of the L? Oh, I don't know if it is, if it's like that in your country, but it's, in New Zealand at least, it's the learner's, the learner's plate. I think, I'm pretty sure it's a global thing. I'm pretty sure.
Okay. It's not a thing in Canada or USA. Well, fuck. <laughs> this is my largest demographic. And neither in Germany. <laughs> eh. Took me way really long. It's, it's a student learning hat instead of a candy corn. A candy corn. Oh, yeah. It's very Halloween y. You think it works without the L plate too, though, XCOM? Are you suggesting I should get rid of the L plate or. I think you kind of need it. An L in Switzerland is blue. UK is red with a white background. Oh, weird. Yeah, no, New Zealand, it's a yellow square with a black L. One Genius One, didn't you tell us that you could officially drive via Instagram by peeling an L sticker off your window? Exactly, One Genius One. So observant. Exactly. I believe it. Yeah, I took that story when I got my full li driver's license. Oh no, was that my restricted? No, that was my restricted. Getting rid of the L. But yeah, it seems like every country has its own different color combination for the L plate. Maybe I should just make it rainbow and satisfy everyone. But I think, yeah, I'll... You could write learn as in full. Nah, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'll just leave it. What's this, Grace Cop? We can use, we use something like this. We can use something like this. It says beginner. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't like it. I'm going to just keep it as is. You either get it or you don't. I'm not going to... I'm not going to bend the knee to, to other countries' traditions and cultures. Ugh. Super best. Also, at least when I got my license in the States, you just got to learn his permit more than more just a document equivalent to a license, but with certain restrictions. We don't have to fix anything to our cars. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. If anything, it'll be a... It'll be a learning opportunity for everyone. To learn about other cultures and our culture with the, the, the L plate. Okay. If you leave the cone, maybe have a safety lane? I have no idea <laughs> what, what you guys are talking about. Safety lane? What? What is that? Let's see. Lots to draw today. I really like how her, her hat turned out. I've never actually drawn which hat, be, uh, which hat before, I don't think, except for the uh, one of the character customizations in the overlay, which I'm also very proud of. Who knew I had this uh, this this witch hat drawing ability? Dry rays, girl. I don't know what it is. I made it up. <laughs> but that all looks made up too. <laughs> the safety lane. Death Lodge. I like the idea of people new to the internet have to put an L in their avatar when posting online. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Although it'd be, probably be like a gold mine for pedophiles. Unfortunately. Oh, well, fortunately, if you're a pedophile. <laughs> Guess it depends on what side of the fence you're on. But I have thought about that before. It would be kind of neat, like... Well, then you get into the whole, like, you need a license to use the internet. 
But then if you could have like, if like kids have their own licenses, then you could just like cut them out. You know, then you then you wouldn't have, I think like ninety percent of the YouTube comments out there. <laughs> but then it opens up a whole other can of worms, and so it's a yeah. I don't know. I think I think there needs to be more thought behind this concept, Death Bulge. I was like, hey, Condor Flight, thank you for following. Okay. Block that, make a new line. Uh, witches. Let's do our first circle. I right, got the image was for info only, not to change the comment, just saying the last panel was great. Uh, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I try to avoid, I try to avoid text wherever I can. Um, especially when it's like big text, small place. I like to make it as a uh, visual as possible. Um, hey, Jenny. Hello. Hello. All right. Drum roll time. First circle. Let's do it. Not bad. Not bad at all. I have to really take my time with the line art. I can't get I can't get too fast and too crazy now because I don't want to rush line art. Oops. Oh, whoops, I forgot. <laughs> Hold up. I forgot that I've... Oh, man. <laughs> I forgot that I added that sound effect to the save animation. Because I was... That was that was what I was trying to debug. Why the... Like, because I was having such problems having the, the, the sound files that I also forgot to get rid of. The donations have their sound files still in them, but... And they weren't playing for some reason, so I was like, okay, I'll try... I'll try, I'll try adding that sound effect to the save animation, because I know the save animation works, to see if it even plays. And sure enough... I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> yeah. Forgot. I forgot to get rid of that. Well... <laughs> well, that, that... That's gonna be the way it is for this stream. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Uh where where is it from? Uh it's from some guys like it, it's like a drama so sort of like he's 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 acting as the Joker from the Dark Knight and it's like some sort of drama piece or something and he's just performing it. It's like some sort of classroom drama thing. But the video is so funny. It's like this Australian guy doing the Joker impression, and I just love, I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> uh, uh, did I look at the random code you pushed, Yonko? I have not had a chance yet, but I will. It's on my to-do list to look through all the different, all the different pull requests in my uh, GitHub at the moment. So I haven't had a chance to look at it properly yet, but hoping to get to that soon. This week, definitely. <laughs> Ignore me, I just want to know what my sound is. It's <laughs> the, the horse sound. Super Tux, thank you for the $1. Thank you for also um, proving that I forgot to change the sounds back after the gaming stream. Oh, you found it? You found it super depressed? Let's see. 
Yes, this is it. <laughs> oh, no, how I got these scars? Well, I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. You must be <laughs> but you, you, you guys can watch the... Actually, let's just watch the whole thing. I love this. I've seen that video so many times. Uh, oh, God. It's one of, my, one of my favorite videos on YouTube. The, the, three, the three main parts. I'm the Joker, baby! Second part. Uh, she gets in deep with sharks! <laughs> and the third favorite part is the, the laugh. How it just ends with a... So good. So good. So good. Oh, God, and that's so that's where it, that's where the, that's where the sound effects come, is from. Wait. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I, I I love it. I love it. I'm the Joker, baby. <sighs> okay. But you know what's you know what's truthful though? I would prefer that Joker <laughs> over the Jared Leto Joker any day. Any day. After after I watched uh, the the new Joker film, I saw some I don't know, like deleted scenes from Suicide Squad with the Joker. And my God, just especially after watching the new Joker film, it's just, looking back at that pile of amazing garbage, it's just, it's mind boggling that, that it even exists. Uh, so I prefer Australian Joker, hands down. I would definitely watch a whole movie with Australian Joker over the Suicide Squad one. Any day, any day. I'm not even, not even in an ironic way. I would legitimately enjoy it. <laughs> uh, so we need another cutting screen to fix the sounds and randoms. Uh, Superflex, thank you for another dollar. I, uh, yeah, Camjo, Yo and Gogo have both, like, contributed code suggestions for the random, randomized sound fix. I haven't looked at it yet, but um, I might... Yeah, I might do another coding stream. Yeah, maybe it would be good to like look at, look at it publicly with a hundred different eyes. And also, I'd like to finish the raid raiders thing, which actually I since the last coding stream, I have thought about it, and I think I must have just been like super hungry or something because I wasn't really thinking clearly. I think I may have come up with like a a simpler solution. I don't know. I have noticed that my coding brain just does not turn on when I'm streaming. 
<laughs> like I'm a deer in headlights. Why did my sound change? I thought I'm a horse and not a rooster. Oh gosh, John, I don't, I don't actually know. Super Tux has a good point. That is weird. Why is it changing a sound now? <laughs> I have no idea. But thank you for another dollar. An another dollar? Another dollar. Much appreciated. Also, hey, Nathan is an egg. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh, I fixed the de decimals. Oh, Super Tux fixed the decimals. I, I merely merged his code. So thank you to Supertux for fixing the decimals. Um, also, uh, let's see. The back, the box of Nippies was finished 20 minutes ago, yet Greg is still sucking on it. There's, there's still a little bit of juice left, I think. Not really, no, there's, no, it is, it is empty. That sound is just the straw banging on the side of the box. Even the random sound brokenness is broken now. <laughs> Super text. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, it's weird that it's kind of one or the other. Like, there are seven sounds, so it's kind of strange that it would change from horse to rooster, but now be consistently rooster. Like, if it was random, then shouldn't it be random from different of the seven sounds? It's kind of like a weird, consistent randomcy. But... Again, yeah, I'll, I'll look at the code that Yo and Gogo and Camjo both look uh, that they both uploaded. I'll have a check it out. I'll do some tests. Thank you, thank you very much. And hey, Skittish dude, hello. And doof poof, thank you for following. Super depressed. Controversial question: Which Joker was better, Heath Ledger or or Joaquin Phoenix? Ooh. <laughs> Nathan is an egg. Appropriate name, appropriate sound. Thank you very much for another dollar. Another rooster sound. Interesting. Oh, Joker, <laughs> Birthday message test. Sam, I think about 100 bits. Okay, so the PayPal donations so far. Oh, no, it, oh, Nathan was at 100 bits as well. So you have like horse, rooster, 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 Joker baby. Thank you very much, Sarah, man. Thank you very much, Nathan Zaneg. But yeah, which joke was better? I, I mean, they're totally different, but... I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I'm not, even, I'm not even like a huge comic book fan or anything like that. So like, if the question is like, which is the better Joker? Like, which one's like more what you'd expect the Joker to be like? Um, then I don't know, maybe Heath Ledger's one? But... I don't know, they're, they're both really good. Oh my god, this is... I think probably, if I had to choose, I'd probably say Heath Ledger, actually. But. They're both fantastic. And also, the thing is, I think Jared Leto gets a lot of hate. Unnecessarily, because his oh, joke of performance is terrible. But I don't even know if it was him to blame, you know? Like, how are you supposed to, how are you supposed to, like, do justice to it when you're given a script like that in direction like that, you know? Because Jared Leto can act, like he acts 
I'd say I, know, I haven't really seen much of his acting. I've seen him in Lord of War, which is really good. I really like that movie. And he was good in that. But, uh, but yeah, I wouldn't really blame him for all that, really. Also, Doof Poof, thank you for the host. And yeah, I guess you can't really say which one's the better joke because it's just it's really up to like what kind of movie you want to watch. And they're so different. But I do like it is especially satisfying though, because I, I remember when <laughs> another rooster's hand. Another test, another rooster. Super ducks. What's happening? Your horse turned into a rooster permanently. But I, it is something satisfying about how when Heath Ledger was first cast as the Joker, I recall a lot of people hated that because Heath Ledger kind of had this, like, uh, what's, it, what's the word? Uh, ah, pretty boy kind of um, reputation. And so a lot of people didn't like that idea that he was being cast as the Joker because like he's just he's just too, I don't know, too much of a pretty boy, too much of a normie to play the Joker or something, and then he just completely demolishes all, all the naysayers with his performance. So there, there's something very satisfying with that. And I was kind of hoping that for Jared Leto. Every time they mentioned anything about Jared Leto with his Joker, I'm like, yeah, you get surprises. And then more and more would come out, like this pic the picture when he's like this, is damaged. I'm like, uh, maybe it's it's they'll do an interesting take on it. But no. Uh, seriously, sorry, uh, you don't get the Terminator bits? In other channels, I see an option for Terminator bits, which gives an extra 10% bits when more than 10 bits are given. Is it because you have your own cheer art? Hmm, odd. Is it like a, is it like a subway thing where you have to actually cheer in a different, like, subway? Was, was it like sub 100 or sub, subway 100 to get the 10% subway bits? Is it like that? Also, seriously, Jad Leader was the one who decided how to do this Joker, though. It wasn't all to blame on script or anything. Like, other actors were still given props for how they acted in that movie, even though the script was bad. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just feel like... I just can't imagine Jad Leader was like, yes! Right damage to my forehead. <laughs> Cover me in, in really obvious Joker tattoos, just, just to drive home the point that I am the Joker. I don't know. And uh, like so much of that movie was so bad. Like the only good thing about that movie was Holly Quinn, to be honest. But I would be interested to know how much of the Joker character was from him, his creation, or how much it was just like how how much was him just being told what to do. I don't know. I'd be curious to know. Hey, Comic Code, which James Bond is my favorite? To be honest, I don't even know that much about James Bond. I know if Hexa Comics is still here, she would, uh, uh, bust my balls about that. Because I know she likes James Bond a lot, but I never really. I started watching James Bond with Pierce Brosnan, but I had no idea what the hell was going on. I, I don't really. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really get the appeal of James Bond until I watched. Casino Royale with, with Daniel Craig. That was like, whoa, awesome movie, loved it. And then it kind of went downhill again from there. But Pierce Brosnan was too much of like a cartoon character. I remember one scene, one, I, I don't remember anything about the storylines of all the, of the James Bond movies, but I do remember this one scene that stuck with me. I don't know what it was. It's like, die something, die again. I don't know. 007. 
he's like in a in a parking garage, like being chased or something. And he's in his like Mercedes or his BMW or something like that. And he's driving around. And he's trying to escape and he's being chased. And then he's like, he sees the exit and there's like a chain or something. There's like a chain link gate or just a chain stopping the, the, from him from leaving. And he pushes a button. And I swear to God, this is how I remember it. I think this is how it happened. Pushes a button and the hood ornament of the vehicle that he's driving extends like, like, and in it is a tiny little like buzz saw which cuts the chain perfectly as he's leaving. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Did I, did I fall asleep and just have a weird ass dream or did that actually happen? Cause it's stuff like that. I'm just like, ah, oh, no way. Why would you have a, a whole button dedicated for a, a hood ornament that extend the perfect, mind you, the perfect height, with the perfect little buzz saw just for this one situation? I don't like that stuff. It's just, it's too, too forced. I don't know. It's like a cartoon, basically. It's, even for a cartoon, it's unbelievable. Hey, uh, battery, 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 battery. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. And hey, Dower, I see you lurking there. Hello. And Aragon, welcome back. Good evening. Just checking in for a few minutes to say hello. Well, hello, hello, Aragon. Good to see you again. Jessica Pilot. Oh, you can confirm it was a BMW and it was Tomorrow Never Dies. Right. Okay. Tomorrow Never. Tomorrow Never Dies. Is that the one in Halle Berry? No, that's the that's Die Another Day, I think. I remember liking to die another day. To die another day. I remember liking that song. Then again, I was like 10. I don't know. Oh, God. I am. A little hesitant about the hair here. This is the worst part. When I'm very, when I'm doing the sketch, I'm just like, yeah, I'll figure this thing out later. Now it's later, and I'm screwed. Hair is, I find, really tricky to do, to do, to do well. And, uh... Is one of the reasons why all my characters are bald, usually. The only ones that aren't bald are the woman, and that's why I never draw a woman in my in my comics. <laughs> Not a sexist thing. I just don't like drawing hair. The bustle definitely happened. To oh, is that is that is that scene, Cam and Joe? The scene in the flesh. Okay. Let's check this out. Let's see if it's like I remembered it being. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's like, whoa! Push the button. Yes. Beep. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot that he's that he's controlling it through like some sort of weird N-Gage PlayStation portable thing as well. That just makes it even all the more better. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can't. Maybe I was watching those movies with the wrong mentality. I just gotta go in. I gotta go in laughing. I might enjoy it a lot more. But I feel like those movies always just try to come off as so serious as well. That <laughs> whatever. But my favorite, my favorite um James Bond movie is um. Casino Royale, I think. I 
I don't think I watched Quantum of Solace. And then I watched... What was that one after that? Home Alone? 007 Home Alone? Eh, didn't really care for that so much. Skyfall, yeah. Didn't really, didn't really care for that, especially like the last... The second half with the house. Eh. It was needing more BMWs with remote control hood ornament buzz saws. That's what I was missing in Skyfall. <laughs> and then what happened after that? Spectre? I haven't even seen it. I heard it was bad. Hey, Valve Sans. Hello. Welcome back. And Kelly Renton, hello, hello. Good to see you there. And Big Rickus, hello. vlog song <laughs> i love this song it's my favorite i'm gonna play this song to my wedding what am i working on Volve Sands? i'm working on the next loading artist comic the next halloween loading artist comic Something I thought was quite obvious, but then I saw someone comment, I think on Instagram, it was like, you've been doing a lot of ghost comics for some reason. It's because Halloween's coming up. <laughs> but I guess Halloween's not, not a big thing in every place in the world. Unfortunately. I remember, it, it's not really a big thing in Dubai, that's for sure. I remember one, one time when I was too old to trick or treat. My friend and I were like, we should try trick-or-treating when we were still in Dubai. I was like 16 at the time. And we had like, we found like some like scary masks and we just went door to door in some compound that we snuck into. And uh, I think the compound, I don't know. I feel like compound we snuck into, we're like, the, the mo mo most of the residents were from like India or something. I think, I think it was like some sort of like, compound slash training facility like hospitality training or something i don't know i forget but i just remember that a lot of the doors we like knocked on there were a lot of indian families and like a lot of them had no idea what the hell what the hell was going on two two teenagers in in scary masks they probably thought they were going to be murdered or something <laughs> i still remember one time we uh we, we knocked on the door and uh, this kid opens the door, and he just screams and slams the door. <laughs> I felt bad. And then, like, you know, a few seconds later, the door would open again, and the dad would be there. And the kid is just crying in the background, and we were just, like, apologizing. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. And uh, the dad was friendly about it. Like, he knew we weren't going to go kill them or something, but he was more just, like, curious as to what we were doing. And uh, we're saying, like, oh, it's Halloween, trick-or-treat. This is kind of where you give us free candy and stuff. <laughs> and But I don't know. He didn't really understand what, what, we're, what we're meaning. And then, like, he was going to give us his dog. He had his dog here. And we were like, we don't really want a dog. <laughs> just to start it's a candy. And um, but, then, but then they were having dinner or something. And, and they gave us this really nice, like, homemade bread. And it was really nice. It was, like, really sweet. It was good. Nice of them. Nice of them to share share some of their homemade uh homemade meal with us. <laughs> Kaselia, have I seen the original Casino Royale from nineteen sixty seven? I have not, Kaselia. I think the earliest James Bond I've seen is Pierce Brosnan. A uh Fippy? Fippy, thank you for following. What would you say is better, the original Casino Royale or the new one?
Kamikai, did you ever play 007 Everything or Nothing? That's my favorite 007 game besides GoldenEye and N64. Everything or Nothing? I don't think so. Wait, Everything or Nothing? 007, uh, Everything or... No, I haven't. Third person, is it? No, I have not seen this. That's interesting. There's there's different women in different covers. I wonder if it's like a regional thing. Interesting. But no, it looks kind of like siphon filter. No, the the only the only uh, 007 game I played other than Goldeneye was, I think Tomorrow Never Dies game. I think it was it was on PS2. I think it was a first person game. Oh no 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 not this one. What's another one? Die another day? No. 007 James Bond PS It was a first person game. Nightfire? Maybe it was Nightfire. No, Agent on the Fire. I don't know, it was a it was a pirate of PS2 game. Like <laughs> I I don't remember I think the cover was all like not real, so I don't even know if it was a real game. 007 Agent Under Fire game. Ah, fuck, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who cares? I'm not sure. One of these. I think it was Nightfire. I think they had like a I think it had a, from what I remember, I think it had like a, like a zip line. You could just shoot a zip line and like repel everywhere. I think I can barely remember. Okay, Sally, I should check it out. They thought the 007 franchise was dead, so they made a parody and it's glorious. What, the everything or nothing? Wait, what's the parody? Oh, you mean um, the original Casino Royale? Agent on the Fire was my favorite. Your punches were stronger than RPGs and could zip wire everywhere. Oh, so maybe it was an Agent on the Fire. I do remember that. Hmm. There was a, there was a time when I had a PS2 that was like uh, chipped or pirated. Am I even allowed to say this on Twitch? This is a long time ago. Against my will. I had no idea what was happening. Statute, statute of limitations. Uh, tis, tis Manasu to Mooney. Hey, thank you for following. Um, and I just remember getting like a bunch of, of, of pirated PS2 games all at once. And so I just, I'd put one in. If it worked, I'd play for like five minutes. Take it out, put the next one in. Play for five minutes. Take it out, next one in. <laughs> hey, nothing suspicious. Four months in a row. Load, love, load, love, load, love, load, hi. Nothing suspicious. Hello. Thank you very much for the race up. Welcome back. How are you doing? How are you doing? But yeah, I remember I had a lot of. I had like. I'm trying to think of all the different games I had. Like Rune? There was something called Rune. Uh, I also had Spy. Hunter, Spy Hunter with the car racing something, and Smuggler's Run, and in fact, one of my favorite games was a Donald Duck game. I forget what that was about. Some sort of third person. It was like a Crash Bandicoot looking game, but with Donald Duck. That's probably the game I I played the most out of my whole pirated PS2 collection. I should have known then that I was going to be a, a filthy casual. Nothing suspicious. Doing great this fine evening. How's the future? Uh, the future's on fire. <laughs> Oakland City's on fire. There's a convention center has been burning since yesterday, overnight and everything. And I forgot to close my air conditioning vent 
So even though I got an emergency text on my phone yesterday, I forgot to close it. And now I'm breathing in all sorts of toxic gas and fumes. But other than that, it's been pretty good. <laughs> Great coffee, you need to go to bed. Uh, and add loading eyes. Your little kiddos are really cute. Okay, well, thank you very much, Great Cup. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I don't really draw children very often, but when I do, I try to make them as cute as possible. Like a little, little tooth, big eyes. Thank you very much. Good night, Great Cup. And Coma Code, I remember that. I got spoiled and got bored of a lot of PS2 games because there were too many to choose from. Mm hmm. That's a problem. Wait, it's such a like that's the pirate's dilemma. When you are just swamped with games, when games come and go with just like just whatever. Oh, this game, no, no, you you have no attachment to any of them. You don't give them. You don't give any of these games, you know, the, the time they deserve because they're just so everything's just so fleeting and so cheap feeling that it kind of uh, kills the excitement. Like, if there was a game that you were, like, saving up for, saving up for, looking forward to it, and uh, you finally have it, you're going to be playing that game, like, a decent amount. You're going you're gonna to invest into it. You're going to invest your time. You're going to appreciate it a lot more. But if it's just like, eh, let me just download this thing real quick. Didn't like it. After the credits. Eh, next one. Hmm. Go and crack as a crowd as my key? I think so. I think that was a Donald Duck PS2 game I liked. Donald Duck Go and Crack is. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's called Quack Attack in certain regions. Go on Quackers or Quack Attack. But yeah, that's the one. That's some hardcore shit right there. But very Crash Bandicoot inspired. Uh, yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. This is just like the first level, I guess. Man, it's got such a PS2 quality to it. Anyway, whatever. You know, you get the gist. It's totally Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> and nothing suspicious. It's like a nice autumn campfire, the, the, the burning. Oh wait, it's spring there. You live the complete opposite life of me. Yeah, T all tipsy, topsy, topsy-turvy here. On this side of the planet. Addicted to Quack, the Donald Duck origin game. <laughs> and the Coma Code, you use an HD loader for your PS2, so it wasn't a mod chip. No need to modify anything. You just have to put in a special disk and, uh, and load games from, an, from a hard drive. Oh, fancy. Uh, I I got mine like yeah chipped in place. They kind of fucked it up the first time, uh, where it wouldn't close this the disc tray anymore. It just kept opening, closing, opening, closing. Uh oh. It was real um like underground sort of shit, because uh it was like it was like making like a drug deal. Because I remember you go into this like the black market and it looks just like a regular you know game store with games and stuff and then you like you got the good stuff and he from under the table he pull, pulls out like a shoe box boom full of like like plastic sleeves of like ps2 games <laughs> it felt pretty cool not that i condone piracy now but i was young I was young and, and stupid.
Hey, Patzilla. Streamer, why are you wearing a banana? Because it's October. And we're supposed to be dressed as scary things. And what's scarier than a, a, a human-sized banana? Um, the broom in the first panel is shorter than the one in the second one, and probably in the next ones as well. Broom in the first. Oh yeah, you're right. This this broom is definitely shorter than this one. That one should be like. I'll make a hold it like this. I think. Bum bum bum. It's a magical broom. It changes size. That's true as well. It's like it's like an extender. It's like my um the straw in my nippies. Look at this. Look at this ingenious device. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. It was kind of anticlimactic. I thought it. I thought it shrunk a lot more than that. So look at this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, I shouldn't be glorifying plastic straws on stream. I'm gonna get hounded. This thing is empty. I should stop drinking it. It's just so unsatisfying. And Grin's build. I see my channel point value, and I think it's the view account that I'm shook because 4.8 thousand viewers. Is a little high for this channel. What are you talking about, Grinspills? That's that's like my that's my four 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 thousand eight hundred viewers is like that should be like the, the the default for these streams. Like this kind of content deserves a whole stadium filled of people watching. Am I wrong? No, whatever this that looks fine. Oh wait. Good. And also, uh, Grinspills, speaking of which, you got 4,800 channel points accumulated. I got to figure out, I got to figure out new or, or more rewards to spend those points on. I am open to suggestions, if you guys can think of any, within reason, obviously, goes without saying. And to see Hyundai, which was an option to get customized most forever, not only for 20 hours, 24 hours, like way more channel points or something. Hmm. That would be kind of neat. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine points and Gregor has to take your comic suggestion. <laughs> not enough points in the world can make me agree to something <laughs> like that. Yeah, Wisperio, thank you for following. Welcome. And uh, nothing suspicious. Uh, Outer Worlds. It's getting nice reviews. Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. <coughs> Outer Worlds. Which one's that one again? Hey, Padzilla. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.
100,000 points and you make a funny comic. So I get a million points and I never have to do it. Whoops. Excuse me. Quite honest. So far, this is all I've achieved with my channel points. The load high with the glasses. Which I think work quite well. Because it makes it makes his eyes look like eyebrows, like really like you know. Kind of sleazy eyebrows. And Outer Worlds is from the team that made Full Out New Vegas. Mmm. Mmm. Because there's two games. There's Outer Worlds and there's Another game that sounds like it as well. It's coming out at the same time. Outer Worlds and... What is Outer Worlds? Is it the FPS one? I should look into it. Outer Worlds game. I think this is the one I, I like the title of. The, the cover looks cool. Like, the, the, the logo looks cool. I'm all about that logo. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. I like that, that logo. It's nice. It's what, it's what I base my game purchases on. How nice the logo looks. And this one looks very nice. Uh, Dan, is, that looks very colorful as well. I don't know what's happening. Uh, looks cool, though. Looks quite nice. Looks pleasing to the eyeballs. What am I thinking of? Outer Worlds and the Outer Wilds. Yeah, <laughs> crazy, crazy naming choice, huh? Outer Worlds, Outer Wilds, both coming around the same time. Right, Out of Wilds. That's what I thought you meant at first. I actually forget Out of Worlds exists. But yeah, interesting. Yeah, maybe. I've never actually played Fallout. I think I played Fallout 3 once, like off stream, like before I started streaming, just to see what it's like. And I did not care for it at all. I don't like, I don't like uh, Bethesda games. Like, at least Elder Scrolls and Fallout, they both feel like crap to play. Controversial statement, I know. But it's that Game Brew engine. I, I can feel the engine. I don't know. It just feels weird and just clunky. And it just always feels like I'm just controlling a 3D model over a 3D landscape. Like when you jump and you can just like float around a bit. And it's just fighting felt crap and shooting feels crap and everything feels crap. I don't like it. This is also the part where I mentioned I don't like dogs either, just so people can like double hate me. <laughs> Actually, yeah, quite honest, that's perfect. It the load high with the glasses does look like Red Shirt's checking a hot person out. Like he's like lowering the glasses, like, damn girl. Yeah, you're totally right. It works well. And also Padzilla, hey, sorry, stream. I actually found your comics when you first started posting them on Reddit. I didn't realize you streamed until I bumped into someone into another, in another community that had your emotes. Nice. Hey, well, Padzilla, thank you very much for uh, for uh, for doing that the detective work, sleuthing around to find to find my channel. Much appreciated. It also makes me happy to know that uh, my my emotes. And art style is iconic enough that you could see just the emote and be like, hey, that's loading artist, you know? So that's cool. Thank you very much. Prattles Monkey, when I first got to the stream, I used to chill with Greg in the background while going deep in New Vegas. Good times. Fallout 4 it feels a bit more fluid and less jank, does it? Is Fallout 4 and Fallout 4 New Vegas different? I think uh, those are different. I think it's Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, right? Aragon, you gotta go again? Okay, have a good night, Aragon. 
And hey, Wolf, Lone Wolf, welcome back. And sweet yo yo, hello, hello. Hello, Greg, do you want to sing the banana song? I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't think I do. I already have bananas on the brain. New Vegas was done by Obsidian. If that makes you feel any different towards the game. Uh, yeah, I, I heard about that. Actually, I heard that <laughs> Obsidian were going to get some sort of bonus for their employees, depending on what kind of reviews they get. And the uh, the agreement was they had to get 90 out of... Like, like, they had to get a Metacritic of 90 to get the bonus. And I believe what they got was 89. I'd be so pissed. I'd be so pissed. Oh, God. 89. It's probably what it comes down to like one reviewer. One reviewer giving them like a 8 out of 10 or a 7 out of 10. I'd be doubly pissed because a lot of reviewers, they go for the extremes because no one really cares. Like, people don't really check out reviews that are like 8 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10. Those are boring numbers. You look at, holy shit, this person gave it a 9.9 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. Or this, holy shit, this person gave it a 4 out of 10. What's wrong with them? Like the extremes. So it wouldn't even surprise me if some of those reviews just kind of gave a low score just so they could stand out more, you know? Maybe I'm just being a little cynical there, but I would definitely be thinking that if I was uh, Obsidian. I forgot. God, that was there. You know, there's an R-rated uh, bloody game involving bananas. It's called My Friend, My Friend Pedro. Oh yeah, I, I think I saw. I think I remember seeing that from E3. <laughs> like he's like kick, fl kick flipping a skateboard or something while avoiding bullets, something like that. Oh, there's so many games these days, which is, which is such an old thing to say. But back in my day, I remember they'd be like three games a year, and you would know everything about them by the time they came out. I would read about them in my PC Gamer magazine, which is true. I used to collect PC Gamer, the UK version. Yeah, that's looking good. Ooh, no way, that hat's way too big. Why am I, why am I, what am I, what am I thinking? Yeah, that matches way better. I'm 
Also, what happened? Oh man, Erza. Whoops. What happened to the comic on the side? <laughs> My apologies. Thank you for the reminder. I'm a dummy. That's yeah, better. You're not a dummy, you're a banana. That is true. That is, that is true. And also, you can't blame me because I am a banana. And when was the last time you ever heard of a banana having a good memory? If bananas had a good memory, they'd stop being so delicious. <laughs> wait, hold wait. If bananas had a good memory, they'd, they'd remember to stop being so delicious. Even that doesn't really make sense. Oh, so is that you saying that Joker quote? No, that is actually from that video. I'm the Joker, baby! I'm the Joker, baby! I wish I could recreate, recreate it just like that. I'm the Joker, baby! I guess it's not far off. I'm the Joker, baby! The Joker, baby. I'm the Joker. So good. Ah, <sighs> but um, nothing suspicious. If you're still here, are you planning on playing that game, Outer Outer Worlds? And if so, are you planning on, planning on streaming it? Oh, hey, Panzella, you're still here. Nice. I, I don't know if you met, if you caught my response before, because I, I forgot to reply to your message in so long. But I just want to say thank you again for the follow and for, uh, for recognizing my emotes outside of the context. It pleases me to know that they are unique looking enough to be identifiable like that. Your art style is rather unique and hard to miss. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Man, I wish I wish I could just summon you every time someone confuses me for the odd ones out or the oatmeal or, or cyanide and happiness. <laughs> I got this weird uh, message on Instagram the other day. Some dude was like, hey, what did he say exactly? He said, where is it? I don't think, it, I don't think it's, in, it's here anymore. But, but basically it was something like, I hate that your characters have such big eyes. It makes me want to have big eyes also. Winky face. 
don't know what that means. How do I respond to that? I don't even know what that what am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do with that. It's very confusing. I get a lot of a lot of messages on Instagram. Some of them I shouldn't reply to, but I do. I do, and I shouldn't. Um, <laughs> like uh, like this guy. Hi, do you mind if you tell me how you make this comic? Yeah, question mark exclamation point exclamation point which app question mark exclamation point I want to create a comic page too, but I don't know how. Question, question mark, question mark, exclamation point. So already I'm thinking like, okay, well this, well, I, I'll answer, I'll answer it, okay. So I accept the message, I answer it. Hi, I use Clip City Paint. Good luck. And, uh, <laughs> and now today, response. Is that an Android? Question mark, exclamation point. Yeah, I, uh, I don't really foresee this guy getting too far with this whole comic idea. <laughs> if you can't even spend the five seconds it takes to Google what well, close to your pain is, that's the problem. I, I know I shouldn't like have a reply, but I feel bad sometimes. If it's such a direct question, it's like, I can answer that. But man, 90% of the time when someone asks you, like, which app do you use to make your comics? Because I want to make comics too. Ninety percent of the time, they will inevitably follow up that question with a million more questions of like, "Okay, great. So how do I start? <laughs> so what should I draw? Uh, what should I call my comic? What <laughs> what comic should I draw now? How do I get an art style like yours?" Like, what the, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Not only are these questions almost impossible to answer, but also, I'm not your fucking personal Google either. <laughs> it's, too, it's just too much communication these days. <laughs> and I hate, I hate how Instagram makes it so much harder than it needs to be to just to look at these messages and respond. Like, I don't even know what it looks like for a regular account, but I'm on a business account. And it's like, you'd think with a business account, there'd be more business stuff, you know, a bit more orientated for the people that have like a lot of followers. Because I've got like, I'm, I've got nearly 300,000 followers on Instagram. So I get quite a few DMs and things. Not to like humble brag there or anything, but just to give you the context of the situation. And Instagram still makes you. Like if it, it says, oh, I have 99 plus message requests. So I go to my messages, my DMs, I go to 99 plus requests. They show my top requests, which basically just shows like the latest requests with the highest followers. Uh, or you can see all of them. But then it, it looks like, I don't know if you can see, but you can't really, hold on. Oops. Reload the. It just looks like this, right? And it looks like I can't really. It's it's not it's not sharp. Hold on. Excuse me. Let me try and focus on this a bit. So it looks like. It looks like this message request top requests right, and reply to your story. Reply to your story. Reply to your story. Mention your story. Whatever. 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 Or this is like. Or there's just actual messages. But I have to then click on each one to open it. And I'm like, okay. Oh, this person, this this person replied to my story. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, now I have to like click that. What does it say? I want. Okay, great. Like just show show me that here. I don't need to I don't need to click in the message every every time as well. Each thing. Sometimes they're just emoji responses. Like, I have to click so many times just to see an emote. And then you have to, if you want to reply, 
you have to then hit accept. You have to put it into which one you want to put, Gen general or your primary folder. Accept general. Then you re reply, and now you have like a conversation with this person. Now it's like open up the channel. Now it's like it's like basically adding you to my friends list now. And that's when that's especially that's that's when that's when the floodgates are open. And then they just message you with everything. So especially when people are like, what app do you use to make comics? Like, hey, I use Club City Paint. Goodbye, good luck. Now it's just like, it's a free-for-all. <laughs> I am just complaining about... I am barely famous. <laughs> barely internet famous, and I'm complaining hard about it. <laughs> it's just frustrating, though. You just think you think that Instagram would have better awareness of what makes a good app for this for this kind of climate. And that's just one of the many gripes I have with the app. One of the many few. Here's another gripe I have. Gregor with his 57 viewers tells his audience how I did this to be a celebrity. <laughs> This is, I'm specifically complaining about Instagram. I just don't like the app. The app is terrible. Like, I'd like to see more of my comments and stuff that people leave me. But you go to your activity, your, your stuff, and it's just like, this is what I see. This is, this is all I see. You go, I go to my uh, thingamajiggy, my activity. Hold on, let me, let me sharpen this. Okay, hold on. And now it's just like, oh, now I can see, oh, this person started following me. Okay, I don't know who these people are. Oh, this person liked my post. This person liked my post. Like, I don't know who these people are. I, I don't care if, 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 if Jammy started following me 13 minutes ago. You know? It's like, this is, this is really neat. Each thing needs its own, like, notification. I don't get this. And the worst part is, there's no way I can just see comments. Like, comments are the interesting thing. I don't, I don't care if Meme Lord 69 is liking this post. Why do I care? <laughs> what, I, what I do, what I am interested in is the, are the comments that people leave me, but I can't see that here. Or where I'm mentioned. You can fix that in your settings, Dry Race Girl? You can't. You can't. But I'll go to my settings. I'm not even, I'm not talking about like, What is this? Very race Oh my gosh, someone teaches man. You can't fix that in your settings. Fix what exactly? My push notifications? I have I have turned off my push notifications. Likes are off, by the way. My likes are off. I don't I mean I'm not really complaining about the push notifications being telling me that someone likes it. It's that my my notifications are uh like if I'm mentioned in a comment or just comments in general. Cause I, I do want to be notified if I'm mentioned in a comment. Or I just want to find a place where I could be like, oh, where have I where am I being mentioned? Or or I just want to see comments as well. But then I get two notifications in my uh in my phone. It'll say or it'll only give me two notifications, I think. No matter how many comments there are, it'll only show me like the two latest ones. And it's like, okay, this person mentioned me in the comment, and this person commented something in, on some post. Now I have to decide which one do I care about, because as soon as I click one of them, as soon as I open the Instagram app, the notifications disappear. So which one's more important to me? I usually go, where was I mentioned? Because sometimes people mention me, they say, hey, this person's stealing your stuff. You know, what, what's going on here? So I click that. All the other notifications go away. I can never find them again. Because when I go back into the app and I go into my notifications, it just shows me a whole list of people, random people liking my stuff. And then it cuts off at some point. But the, 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 the last, the earliest notification is 47 minutes ago. So that's, that's that. Twitter's a lot better with that. Twitter's better. Matt Pal, hey Matt Pal, thank you for the follow. That is better because then I can see, oh, here, here are all the responses. 
and actually Twitter's Twitter's got problems as well, but I won't even get into that. <laughs> and sweet, sweet, yo, yeah, can we talk about something else? No, we can't talk about something else. Because this is my this is my whole life. I don't have a life outside of this. This is what I have to deal with. And by god damn it, I'm gonna make you guys deal with it too. If you're in this channel. <laughs> And I don't even want it all, Dry Erase Girl. All I want is a place in the app that tells me a list of where I'm mentioned or comments. I can't even imagine what it must be like for an actual famous person. Like what their Instagram must look like, because it would just be a clusterfuck. Oh. Whatever, I digress. You can go to settings and, can't, and change it. I can't change it. Can't change it. I'm not talking about the push notifications. Charlie, actually famous people just have notifications from people they follow. That is true. Yeah, actual famous people don't. They're at that point, you don't really care about who's commenting what on what. But for good reason, because if you look, oh man, if a fa if you look at a famous person when they tweet something, you look at the responses. It is a nightmare in the responses. Oh my god, just the worst people come out of the woodworks. Again, not talking about you guys. I'm just talking about like, like super famous people and all of the people that respond to their um, tweets and stuff. And not even just like weird things or annoying things. It's the people that try and take advantage of the situation and just advertise their own stuff. I already get. I deal with a lot of stuff like that as well in my comics on Instagram. There's a lot of spam. There's another. <laughs> it's another gripe I have with Instagram. If you report it, if you report a comment as a spam, nothing happens. And if you delete a comment, chances are your refresh comes back. I don't know. All right, catch you later, sweet yo yo. And I also got issues with Facebook too, but <laughs> the one thing I can think about Facebook right now is that they have three different website tools all doing the same thing, but they all look very different. There's Creator Studio, there's your uh, uh, publishing tools page, and then some business page thing. So you can't schedule a post on your Facebook page anymore. You have to use one of those three things. Just bugs me. I'm a grouchy old man yelling about social media. <laughs> and everyone hates Facebook, but for the wrong reasons. I feel like a lot of times people, when people hate Facebook, it's like, you don't hate Facebook, you hate your friends. <laughs> your friends are posting the things you don't like. <sighs> I mean, yeah, a lot of people also hate Facebook for the privacy concerns and things like that. That's totally legitimate. But a lot of the time, I feel like Facebook sucks. All I see are baby photos and just annoying articles. It's because your friends are posting that shit. That's why I stopped following my friends a long time ago. <laughs> and the only reason I don't, the main reason I don't like Facebook is just the UI. The UI is a mess. It's way too convoluted nowadays. Also, Lord Von Cookies, thank you for following.
as well as Snowfork. Snowfork, thank you very much. Doesn't Facebook own Twitter? No, Facebook owns Instagram and WhatsApp as well, I think. WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook are all the same. All well, Zuckerberg's babies. Twitter is its own thing. Twitter owned Vine, but now Vine is shut down, so. Or did, wait, did Vine not come back? Or is it shut down again? Who knows? Sarah, man, you got way more aggressive on the unfriend button on the, in the last few months. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't really unfriend. I just unfollow. Like my friends aren't really like, I mean, there's nothing ever where I'm like, whoa, I can't believe I'm friends with this person. It's more just like, I don't give a shit <laughs> about, about what they're posting. I will just unfollow. Vine has functionality has been replaced by TikTok. Oh, Vine functionally has been replaced by TikTok. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, TikTok. TikTok makes me feel old. TikTok is owned. TikTok. Oh, yeah, I know, I'm getting confused. I was thinking Musically. Musically was bought out by TikTok, and TikTok is owned by China, I think. I think TikTok's a Chinese company. But TikTok is like. Like Snapchat was already pretty young for me. TikTok is like, I feel like I'm on a list by just looking at it too long. I don't even have it installed. <laughs> and I like how I had to mention that really quickly. Like, I, I don't even have TikTok installed. It's not even on my phone. I don't even know what, that, what it is. I just see it on Reddit. My favorite thing that came out of TikTok, though, is the, the Sandman cat video. Oh, let me find it. It's good. Like, I feel like that justifies everything. Wait. Wait. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> For me, that, that justifies the entire platform. I don't care about anything else. TikTok gets a pass just because it, it let that be born. <laughs> oh, it's hard to run a square. Does anyone remember MySpace, Dry Race Girl? I never really got into MySpace. I had a MySpace page, but I never used it. I think around the time that that became a thing in New Zealand, they had their own stuff. You know how like different countries have their own websites that people tend to use? In New Zealand, they were using something called Bebo and what was it called? High Five? Something like that. It was like MySpace, but even tackier. I think Bebo have changed into a st streaming platform. <laughs> now, Bebo, Bebo is now a, like, I think it's an OBS kind of fork just like streamlabs obs slobs is what a weird change that was but whatever padzilla goodbye for now i right, catch you later padzilla thanks again for the follow and see you around i'll be streaming again tomorrow to finish this comic Coloring, shading, spider, countdown, all that good stuff. Yeah, 
Okay, Tanks and Thunderbolt. Hello, hello. Oh, Zenga? That sounds familiar as well as Coma Code. I'm just picturing a lot of, like, glitter GIFs every time I think of these, like, MySpace pages. Uh, Grinspells. Finally finished yesterday's Inktober J. Hey, nice. Hey, Grinspells. We gotta, we gotta look through your, your next batch of, uh, Ink, was it? How do you? Inktober J submissions. Let's check it out. Hold on, let me put this over here. I'm the Joker, baby. Let's see. Art gallery, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, let me prepare. Okay, we ended up. Okay, we ended. We ended with Inktober J sixteen Wild. That was the the latest one we showed, which is this one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So Grinspells has been busy. Here are the next ones by Grinspells. Inktober J seventeen Ornament. I actually I kind of spoiled it by dragging it. You could you could see it. Ornament. There it is. Very nice. Nice, uh, it's like Tetris art. Then we have, uh, <laughs> Inktober J number 18, Misfit. That's not bad, Benzfels. <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> and then we have number 19, Sling. This one's done very well. Boom. Inktober J number 20. Tread. 3, 2, 1. Boom. Actually, hold up. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Is that a shoe? Tread? Like, uh, like shoe tread? That is... really disturbing. <laughs> but I do like how... Yeah, the mouth is now like the hole where you slip inside your foot. I guess you could say to have one's foot in one's mouth. Or whatever the phrase is. Inktober, Inktober Jade number 21. Treasure. Scary. Don't look at this extra comics. You'll be scared. Don't look at it. It's actually... The more I look at it, the more terrifying it is. <laughs> okay. That kind of gave me a fright myself. And finally, we have Inktober J number 22, Ghosts. Let's see what you got, Grins Pills. Oh, snap. It's an animation. Oh, my God. Grins Pills trying to show me up. Every day. It's very good, Grinspills. Very good. <laughs> nice. Trying more like succeeding. Touche. Thank you very much, Grinspills. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I, had, I haven't even seen that one yet. <laughs> nice. So that those are all in the art gallery. Grinspills has been very busy. It's 28 images exported and turned into a GIF, not an animation. Oh, wow. Oh, and also, was that also made on your phone, Grinspills? Because I know you mentioned you made the other ones on your phone, too. You are really showing me up here. <laughs> very nice. Everything is on your phone. Wow. That's crazy. What is my excuse? <laughs> well, my phone's not very good, so I can't. So therefore, I can't do the animations like Grin's Pills. My phone's too slow.
Hey, Teal Boy, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Grinzos, what app do you use? Eh. That's good. I always forget that thing. Uh, let's see. You googled AOL instant messenger noises, super nostalgia trip, coma code? I never used AIM myself. I never used it. I was MSN Messenger through and through, which became Windows Live Messenger, which became Skype, which became. Pile of trash. And you don't go, you need to configure this Twitch feature. Yes, 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 yes. That's on the to do list as well. My channel points feature. I think, uh, I think I'm liking the, the pricing of the rewards right now, but I need to get more high tier rewards. Not sure what yet exactly. And I've got to figure out what to call the channel points. I wrote down a list. I was like trying to brainstorm last night, not last night, the night before. I wrote down a list to try and think of any ideas. And uh, this is what I've come up with. <clears throat> so for channel points, we have. Oh, bear in mind, I'm trying to. I'm trying to avoid hats and coins because. Hats are kind of associated with subs, and coins are kind of associated with donations. So I'm, kind of, I'm trying to avoid those, that, that kind of terminology for the channel points. But bear that in mind. We got eggs, spiders, loads, toilets, bananas, hat coins. <laughs> I, should, I should remember that one. Tears, eye dollars. I think I was getting kind of sleepy at that point. Like, like I dollars, uh, drips, chili dillies, LA points or laps, specks of dust, or country grains. So those, those are some ideas I was uh, writing out in a list. I'm not sure if I even like any of them, but thought I would mention what I, what I got going on here. Call them resolutions. Greg points. Specs of dust. 
I like eggs. Cat butts. Make Exit Comics jealous she doesn't, doesn't stream. <laughs> Cat butts, and then the symbol could just be like a little X. No, Exit Comics would sue me. Quiet artist, you like loads? It's cute. I was thinking of having like the sweat drops next to loads, but I thought, I thought maybe that was almost too lewd. Called a million. What? What is that? Oh God! I see. You mean like, oh, how many points do I need for this? Three hundred million. Three hundred millions. <laughs> you now have five thousand four hundred millions. <laughs> Um, a flow test. Hello, hello, hello. Dry your eyes, go. Maybe have something in the sky like cloud lettuce. Let's say the broom equivalent of driver's ed. Maybe have something in the sky like cloud letters. Let's say the broom equivalent of driver's ed. Hmm? Letters in the clouds? Let's say driver's ed? Uh, I think I think just the cone and the L is enough. Hopefully. Or here's another idea. What if instead of just saying, I think it's time, what if the mum witch said, I think it's time to learn? Then I get the word learn in your head. Is that good? Call the channel points Lola Fuck Me Eyes. <laughs> LFMEs. I'm telling you, the L doesn't make sense anywhere else but where you are. Um, I'm still willing to risk it. But maybe having, I think it's time to learn. Uh, kind of, kind of helps emphasize what this is all about at the end. I think it's fine without an L personally and just a safety cone. That's clear enough to me, seriously. Just the safety cone. I was a hey Neil and that hello hello. Uh, Teal Boy, Chili Dillies reminds me. I've been enjoying midstream to end of stream. Do you still do this intermissions with the 50s esque commercials and trailers? Uh, no, the, the intermissions have changed. Intermissions are now, it looks different and it's, it's more about clips from the past, highlights and such. I think maybe having this wording here, I think it's time to learn might kind of solve the problem a little bit. I think just the road cone is a bit eh. Eh, anyway, we'll see. Dry race girl, you're being critical critical because you care. Uh, that I mean, I I understand. That's why uh, Grinspills cares <laughs> cares a lot <laughs> usually, but uh, I I appreciate the concern. But I think I think I'm willing to risk it for this case. I think it's still clear enough.
do that. A day shujin. Hey, thank you for following. And Grins was nah, I don't care. I just point out how bad you are. Just for the pleasure of it. Oh, here are the learner here are the learner plates across the world. Wait, there's an actual Wikipedia article about this? Oh my god. So there's the Australian New Zealand one right there. That's the one I was looking at. The the best looking one, to be honest. N. The hell is N? Learners doesn't even begin with N. R. What the? This looks like a Pokemon gym badge. Wow, only Australian and New Zealand have the yellow and black L. Weird. <laughs> and the noob. Yeah. <laughs> uh. What's the American one? Oh, they don't. Americans don't even have it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. I've, I've never even like. I don't think I've ever done a something in my comic, especially in in the punchline. Part of the punchline is so just for this part of the world. I think the most I've done otherwise is like driving on the left side of the road because that's what we do here as well. Although technically a lot of the world, especially America, don't do that. Use geotagging and change the L based on where the view is from. Uh, I guess the L is not necessary. Now that we have, I think it's time to learn. Maybe the L isn't even necessary. Geotagging, that's only New Zealand and Australian people viewing the comic to see the L plate, otherwise it's just the cone. How about going with a helmet? I don't like that. I like that as a cone because it looks like a witch's hat. If it's a helmet, it doesn't even really make... It's not really a joke anymore. It's just like, you know? Leave the L, it's better. I get it, I'm not even Kiwi. Okay, you know, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my gut. I'm gonna keep the L. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Famous last words indeed. Dry raise girl. And I'll have I think it's time to learn. I think that that combined with everything else, I think is is fine. The guy who blocks, hey, guy who blocks, welcome back. Uh, why couldn't the skeleton cross the street? Because he didn't have the guts.
Aussie's dead. <laughs> Why is this not working? I can't play music anymore. Hello. Oh, there it is. Grand spells, you can add a little asterisk and write the explanation on the bottom of the comic outside the panel. You can ever wear a safety vest too. Oh my god. Oh my god. I No, I think I think I think we're just gonna keep it as is. The safety vest. I mean, you're right, it, she could be wearing a safety vest, but I think I kind of just like how it's just that. And it's like the witch's hat looks like that. Safety vest, eh. it's just, it kind of dilutes it. Do I have analytics on my website? You on Google? I do. I got Google, Anal Google Analytics. Super Talks. I live in Germany since almost five years now, and I didn't even notice that they don't have an L here until today. <laughs> So the comics works as it is now. I think so. I think so. Maybe I have a little piece of straw sticking out the broom. I don't know. Oh. Oh, like from here. Um, eh, maybe. We'll see what, what it looks like when we color it in. Yo, simply. Hey, another, another beautiful witch combo. How relevant! Thank you very much for subbing with that Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Get yourself your first hat. Uh, Grinzel, there's no cookie notification on my website <laughs> because of the analytics. Uh... Right. Uh, uh, Yo and Gogo, -Go, what nation has the highest viewship? Uh, I believe it's America. I should probably look into that. <laughs> uh, whoops. I'll add, I'll add it to the to-do list right now. I don't even use analytics. I should just get rid of it. I should just get rid of it. Where's my to-do list? Here it is. Uh, GDPR thingy? Question mark. Let's see. Uh, Comico, does your website have push notification support? I don't think so, no. Principles, there's no imprint page on my website. What does that mean? The, the ads also have cookies. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I feel very on the spot right here. I'm just going to... Distract myself with the comic and then hopefully look back in the chat and there'll be something else. No input page on the website to see who's responsible for the page. Well, I, so I, I'm not even, I don't even own the page. I just kind of let my comics be posted there. Someone else, Gregory Crazy Kowski, <laughs> owns the website. You can blame them. I just let them post my comics. I don't know what's going on. On the website, there's a WordPress cookie notification plugin. Super easy. Oh, okay, interesting. Comic code. 
cookie notice plugin. Oh great, another plugin to, to uh, slow down the website. Um, that sounds good. I'll look into that. Thank you, Come code. Also, hey, Toast Cokes, hello, hello. How should I? I don't know how the broom goes between our legs. Like, I'm not sure how to draw this. Like, what goes behind what? So this would be hidden. That would be hidden. And then, and then this would be hidden. Like that? That looks weird. <laughs> Super ducks. I think people from countries where they don't have the L still get it, but people from countries with an L, even when the colors don't match, get a little bonus joke. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of times where I'll I'll watch like a movie and there'll be something that doesn't exist in New Zealand, but exists in like in America or something, and I still get what they're going for. So, it'd be fine. Best in front all the way. Yeah, I think I think you might be right. This looks kind of strange. I think I'm trying to get too fancy here with the. Uh, perspectives and whatnot. Guy who blocks. This is my first time joining a stream and it's spooky themed. Hey, guy who blocks. This is my first time joining a stream. That doesn't sound right. I'm pretty sure I've seen you around, guy who blocks. I'm pretty sure I've seen you around before. Or is this your first time seeing it in the Halloween theme? Katie Hassett HD. Thank you for Thank you for following. I hope I said your name correctly. Oh, I see. First time seeing it's spooky themed. This is my first time joining a stream and it's spooky themed. I see. Joining the stream as a spooky theme. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. Well, hello. Hope you don't get too spooked out now. It's still me. It was me all along. Like how the mouth of the the mouth of the girl looks like an eye. Oh, this one. <laughs> I see what you're saying, like this. You hide this. You go like, hmm. Now she's all confused, like, like, what do you mean? What is this? What is this broom? Hmm. <laughs> so sort of anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sectoid. Hey, thank you for following. Another good looking witch hat there. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Whoa, 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 what, what's going on now? Katie, close enough? Alright. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks again for the follow. Um you came here from Imager. Hey, nice. Nice. That's a good sign. Hope my Imager post is doing well. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for clicking through. Welcome. 
if you'd like to see the uh, the reveal of of this week's comic, Rensbills has put together a uh, handy dandy clip you can check out there. It's in the chat. Should be in the chat by the time you see this part of the stream. Okay, I think it's time to do the limbs, maybe. Oh no! Ah! Yeah, let's do the limbs. Limbs, limbs, limbs. So she has her arm. That and. Whoop! I pulled off her breast by mistake. Excuse me. This. Something like this. Sectoid, you came from Instagram. Love your comics. Hey, thank you very much, Sectoid. Excellent, excellent. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, come code. I'm gonna go see Star Wars. Eh, probably. <laughs> I, I have fallen into Disney's trap. I saw, I've seen every Star Wars movie so far, so I may as well watch the next one. <laughs> I'm just a sheep. I'm a sheep. Even though I'm not really enjoying it, I kind of go into these movies just so I can like, kind of enjoy the, 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 the discussion, and the bitching about it afterwards on on online on Reddit. In reviews and stuff, I love that stuff. So I need to, I need to be in the know, so I can enjoy the aftermath. You know. Uh, one genius, one you gonna dip? Okay, catch you later. One genius, one catch you later. Thank you for watching. And uh, hey, Drawing Chaos, hey, welcome back. How you doing? Good to see you again. But yeah, I, I don't know. I was one of the people that was like optimistic about uh, Star Wars after the Disney acquisition. And I even kind of enjoyed The Force Awakens. I, it wasn't that bad. I thought it was okay. It was pretty safe. But I was like, okay, it makes sense for it to be safe. They want to not mess up their first attempt, you know. I'm sure the next movies will be better. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's it's been a bit of a roller coaster since then. But I don't even care. As long as it's not boring. If it's bad, if it's good, that means it's both entertaining to me. If it's boring, that's the worst. Oh god, her arms are super long. It also doesn't really make much sense right now because I'm I'm kind of like doing only bits of the arm and the rest the rest are being left up for the sleeves. So I'm gonna do the sleeves now and make it look not so weird. J 
JJ Abrams is doing the last one. It might be good. Yeah, <laughs> that's another thing. It's like how how do you fix the the what's it called the, the Last Jedi? Uh, <laughs> it's like it's like put put them into such a corner that I don't know. Be interesting to see how they try and rectify it. Thing is, I'm also not even a big Star Wars fan. I wouldn't even call myself a Star Wars fan at all. I I own a pair of Star Wars socks, but only because I was gifted them <laughs> for Christmas. Uh, but it's never, never really interested me so much. I don't really care for it that much. But um, it's still a big blockbuster movie. I can appreciate the art in it. And I also, I like J.J. Abrams as well. It gently draws. I tried to tell my sister who has never really been a Star Wars fan until she married one, but The Last Jedi sucked. She threw a fit. Then a year later, she said it wasn't that good and didn't remember the huge argument we had. <laughs> Interesting. I love how most people can't admit to uh, their faults or being wrong or, or something, and they just forget about it. Frustrating. But, oh, well, whatever. It's just a Star Wars movie. I haven't seen Star Trek. I've seen the first movie, like, when, when since they've rebooted the whole thing, you know what I mean? Uh, I remember being, I remember thinking it was okay. I never thought about it again. I've never been a Star Trek fan either. I don't even like sci-fi. But I'm not too, like, I know a lot of people like shit on J.J. Abrams because of like all the lens flares and stuff like that. I don't even really mind that stuff so much. I like, I like Lost. I liked Cloverfield, the first one. Oh, and 10 Cloverfield Lane. That was really good. But, uh, don't even mention the third one. Clover Cloverfield Paradox, whatever that is. Oh, oh. Awful. George Lucas sold the series for like seven billion dollars or something like that. Oh yeah, I mean George Lucas has always been in it for the money, for sure. I, I'm I'm not even saying that in like a in like a well he doesn't even care about the art he just he just wants the money. I'm not even saying that at all. Like that he can turn it into such a, a money making machine. Like good for him. I appreciate the hassle. Like the only reason he made episodes one, two, and three is because the. Uh, the toy, what, he got back the merchandising rights or something. Something like that. And then, and then that's when he made episodes one, two, and three. Because he could profit off the toys again. So it's a... I feel like it's always been about the money. And it, yeah, it kind of annoyed me because I, I also saw um saw someone talking about Star Wars. I, I watched some video recently. It was like a video essay, and it's just like, why uh, it was like why blockbuster movies these days all feel the same, and they feel like they have no soul and stuff. And something about, and then the, and then the person talking used George Lucas. Like the new Star Wars movies feel like there's no, no one's willing to tell a story. It's just they want to they want to sell tickets and sell merch it wasn't like back then with episodes one two and three even where george lucas came back because he had more stories to tell Pfft, no way no way it's always been about, about money always always and again i'm not even saying that in like a how dare he sort of way i'm just i'm just saying just saying to to that youtuber specifically 
if you're trying to find examples for making movies for the art or of telling a story, I wouldn't be pointing at episodes one, two, and three. How do I do this part? Ah. Not sure about that. Uh, hey, Story Keller, hello, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Also, what's really funny is that for all the hate the, the first of the episodes one, two, and three got from Star Wars fans, <laughs> now there's a lot of people saying how, in hindsight, episodes one, two, and three are supposed to be quite respect are quite respectable, but they tried something new and different and yada yada yada. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just interesting. And in the end, I didn't even give a shit because I didn't even care about Star Wars. <sighs> there is something nice about going going back to watching like the sequel of a movie that, even if you don't really care about it too much, I don't know, big blockbuster movie. I don't know. Like I, I enjoyed my um annual tradition of watching like a Harry Potter movie, eight for eight years in a row. So I was kind of sad when it was over, just because at that point it was just kind of nice, something to look forward to a little bit once a year. Same thing with Lord of the Rings. Oh god, I just remember about The Hobbit. Oh god, I just remember The Hobbit. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Jesus Christ. Oh, this looks terrible. Yeah, The Hobbit was a super big disappointment. The thing is, the thing is, I don't even blame. I don't blame uh, Peter Jackson. Like the the stress he must have been. Like I don't know. I, I don't even know who to blame for what. I'm just mad. I guess. It just seems like such a wasted opportunity. And I can't imagine the amount of stress that Peter Jackson would have had to go through to try and like film these three movies without any pre production, just like on the go. I saw a little bit of the behind the scenes and it just seems like such like th that they got anything out in the end is kind of a miracle, really. But yeah, it just feels like such a disappointment. Doesn't help that they stretch it from two movies to three. But, oh well. It's like a prequel, right? The Hobbit? Uh, yeah, it's... 
Lord of the Rings is based on the Lord of the Rings book series, and the Hobbit is based. The Hobbit trilogy is based on the Hobbit book, which happens before the events of Lord of the Rings. So it follows Bilbo Baggins instead of Frodo. And I got hit blocks because I saw the final Hobbit movie. I liked it, but I was young. So, yeah, I, I liked a lot more movies when I was younger. And I wasn't so spiteful. <laughs> I'm super critical now. Like, I remember, I think I liked, I liked the Godzilla movie a lot when that came out. Like, the American one. Like, the, what was it 2004, I think? I like that when it came out. I even had it on VHS. I re rewatched that quite a bit. <laughs> Again, I was young. I was young and naive. I didn't know. No, not 2004. The, the old, the 2004 one, like the, the one with that. Hey, what's his name? The guy that looks like. What's his name? Matthew Broderick, I think. Yes, yes. I I don't really remember much, but I, I do remember that the Godzilla scale was all sorts of fucked up. Cause in one, there was that one scene where <laughs> where they were like walking in the subway or something. I don't know, and and it looks like Matthew Broderick is like is like uh. Wait, how do I describe this? Matthew Broderick is like walking along somewhere and the wall just opens up and it's like it's the Godzilla eye. And it's like, holy shit, Godzilla's massive. The eye is like the size of a giant room, just the eye alone. And in the, in the last scene, Matthew Broderick is like face to face with the beast. And the eye is like this big. <laughs> that doesn't really make much sense. They probably knew that as well, but they're like, hey, that scene is too, too cool to pass up. And the other scene I remember is uh, the French guy, I forget his name, but it's like, what do we do? And he's like, running would be a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen that movie since I saw it when it first came out, so... But I know I know the general consensus is that everyone hates it. <laughs> Come on, God, I haven't seen that movie since I saw it. <laughs> since I first saw it. That's what I meant to say. I saw the very first one that came out in the 60s, and that was surprisingly better than most of the other ones I've seen. That's how it always is, isn't it? I haven't seen... I, I've seen that Godzilla, the 2004 one, and I've seen the one with... I don't even know how to describe it. I think the one from 2014, yeah, the the one that had Walter White in it for a little bit, for too little. I remember not really liking it. I don't, I, I ugh, don't care. I don't, I don't care for it. 
Brian Cranston, that's his name. So disrespectful of me to not even remember his name. Rinswells, will we do prime watch parties on this channel? <laughs> what, 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 what does that mean? Prime watch parties? Is that a thing? Wait, did I forget about this feature? Where you watch it with Amazon Prime or something like that? What? Remind me, is that a new feature? I think I remember reading about this, but I think my brain forgot. That people with Amazon Prime can watch things together on the channel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Katie, even though no one asked, my Halloween playlist is Halloween Town, Hocus Pocus, all Harry Potters, just cause. Scream, Manhunter, Hannibal, Sounds of the Lambs, and Red Dragon. Play you mean like a like a movie playlist to get you in the Halloween spirit? <laughs> Harry Potter has a classic. It does have a Halloween sort of vibe to it, even though it really has nothing to do with it. But I guess it's like witches, and the music is quite spooky. I like the music a lot. Uh that's a lot of movies. Especially all Harry Potter's, that's like, what, eight movies right there. I haven't seen Halloween Town. I haven't seen Pocus Pocus. I've seen Scream. I thought Manhunter was a rock star game. I've seen Hannibal. Oh, no, I haven't. Wait, I thought Sounds of the Lambs and Hannibal were the same thing. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I, I have no idea. I've seen Sounds of the Lambs. I know that much. Oh, the Rockstar game is called Manhunt. Oh, okay. I don't know what Manhunter is. The guy who blocks. I love cheesy 60s monsters and movies on Halloween, and my favorite cheesy one is The Creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> that trailer for that movie got me copyright striked on YouTube. Well, not copyright striked, but uh, copyright claimed. That's when I started cutting out all my, my intermissions from my uh, comic streams on YouTube. <laughs> I, I, I thought all the movies and stuff from the 50s and 60s were like fair game, like the trailers and stuff, but nope. Creature from the Black Lagoon. That's the one like that scary sea monster, right? Um, my go-to Halloween movie when I was growing up, we would watch this movie and then we'd go trick-or-treating afterwards, was uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Even though technically it's a Christmas movie, I watched it for Halloween. It's good. It's good, which is such an underrated, underrated uh, description of the movie. It's good. It's a classic. I love it. The um the the scientist that like takes care of the woman, I forget their names. He really freaks me out. He would give me a nightmares. In fact, let me let me show it to all of you so you can I can pass it along. Pass on the love. Nightmare before Christmas doctor guy. This guy, Dr. Finkelstein. This guy really creeps me out. Whoops, you can't see it. He's really creepy. And like, you could open up his head and it's like his brain is there. It's, it's a trip. This is. That's a, that's a good point. 
Do you think Nightmare Before Christmas is a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? It's both. The guy who blocks. I wonder how many people know that in the original Frankenstein, it's the name of the doctor, not the monster. Yeah, I, I think I think it's I think it's common enough knowledge now. It's always like I feel like I've seen so many like stock cartoons about Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster. I think it's common knowledge now. Die Hard, Action of Christmas. Die Hard's a good Halloween movie. Because people dying is scary, and scary stuff is on Halloween. <laughs> What's Bruce Willis up to these days? I think the last thing I saw him in was in The Expendables, which I haven't actually seen, but I saw him in the poster. Hey, welcome back, Nathan. Diablox. The Tim Burton has stated in interviews that it was released in October, which makes it a Halloween movie, but I'd say it's whatever you want it to be. Ah. All right. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I totally think Nightmare Before Christmas is a Halloween movie myself as well. Just because it has Christmas themes doesn't really make it a... Doesn't really mean you have to, like, only enjoy it on Christmas. Although, saying that, I don't, I don't enjoy watching... Christmas episodes of sitcoms when it's not Christmas. But I will enjoy watching Halloween episodes of sitcoms. Or any other holiday for that matter. Thanksgiving. But Christmas for some reason is just it's just irks me to uh to watch out of the season. The Star Wars Christmas special. I've never actually seen it in full, but I have seen like some YouTubers tear it apart. <laughs> wow, I really rushed the sketch with the fence. I sure did. And if you can believe it, this is actually the second attempt at the fence, Grins Pills. The first attempt was even more rushed than that. Oh, I think it was Red Letter Media that I watched that mentioned the Star Wars holiday special. Christmas special. Yo, Lady Grey. Ah, Lady Grey wearing grey. Nice. Thank you for following.
No, I won't do it that way. I'll make the, the BG its own folder at the back of everything else. Uh, guy who blocks clips of your paint is too overpowered. What does that mean? Hmm? Oh, you mean like the sneaky stuff I do? It may be overpowered, but I, I can handle it. I can handle that power. Uh, you read that Tim Burton got the idea for Nightmare Before Christmas by standing in the middle of an aisle that had Christmas on one side and Halloween on the other. Nice. I, li I like seeing like the inspirations behind certain things like that. That's cool. Uh, kind of reminds me of like how George R. R. Martin kind of came up with the idea of Game of Thrones by watching turtles or something, and like turtles would push each other off like the rocks and stuff like that. And he's kind of picturing it to be like like politics. I might be messing up that fact. It's something like this. Rinsel, don't forget the mother's breasts again. I haven't forgotten about her breasts. They're right there. Although I've, I've got one breast. Maybe I should make a second one. Almost seems a little much. Now it's like... That's alright. Pretty good. Oh man, oh man. I think we're almost done with this, the line art. It's looking pretty good. Let's finish her hair a bit. The clouds and the moon. Don't know how to do that. Should I do it with line art or should I just do it with colors? I think I might save that for the coloring phase. I have, I have an idea for how to do it. How many mistakes am I hiding this time for us to find tomorrow? <laughs> what? You can find them today. I'm sure there are a few mistakes. I'll give you... I'll give you a, a little hint. Well, I'll, I'll tell you one mistake. I didn't add the chip to her hat here. Like the chip that exists up there. Boom, that is one mistake. Pat myself on the back there for that one. The girl's legs in the second panel. In fact, there's there's another mistake here. I have to remove this part. Also, her sleeves are way too short here. Should be longer. Another mistake. Classic.
What is this? Eh. Hmm. Lady Grey, this comic reminds you so much of your of your mom. <laughs> nice, nice. And making relatable <laughs> comics here. Okay, Assault 04. Assault, thank you for assaulting me with your follow. Much appreciated. Her hair doesn't connect. Panel one. Her hair doesn't connect. Oh, that's that's intentional. I've as I've been drawing these like comics and stuff and like VIPs and such, hair I'm finding out better ways to draw it. And I feel like hair a lot of the time looks better if it's not connected completely all the time. It gives it a bit more of a flowy look. There's some pretty long arms in the last panel. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I'm not even sure I would fix that though. If I if I make the broom a bit more angled, the uh, arms don't have to reach so low. Yeah, I think so. The arms do look a bit, a bit long, kind of like an orangutan or something. Well, I'm glad that we're sorting this out today, then, at the end of the stream tomorrow. <gasps> oh, God. Whoopsies. I know it doesn't look really like I'm making much sense. It's looking a little crazy right now, but I am working on it. It's getting there. It's just a, it's just a, a complete clusterfuck of layers and, and masks. But it's getting there. Nathan, girl's arm and panel one are way shorter than the rest of her arms in the other panels. Are they though? Because technically, her arm is like... Whoa! Which is kind of long. I'm not too fast. And the uh, guy who blocks, alright, I'm gonna head out. I'll check out the finished comic tomorrow. Alright, catch you later. Guy who blocks. See you in tomorrow's stream, maybe? And the uh, Grins pills. Just today you watched the first Harry Potter. What did you think? I feel like the first Harry Potter movie is quite different from everything else. I don't think they really find their uh, groove until the third movie. The third movie is when it's like, oh, I see now. It's all falling together, falling into place. But then again, maybe it's intentional. Maybe the first movie or two is supposed to be a bit more like childlike because they are children. And only from the third one onwards they do they really develop. And it gets darker and darker and darker. I really like Deathly Hallows part one. It has that really awesome short film thing in the middle in the in the beginning of it. 
with the, the, the 2D animation stuff with the death and the that was really cool. You've only seen the first two Harry Potter movies, Neon Lead? Oh my god. You should definitely you should def definitely give the third one a shot. Because I think I feel like the third one. That's when I was like, oh, okay, I'm on board with these movies now. But the first two kind of like, eh, didn't really didn't really cut it for me. Maybe I was too old at the time or something, I don't know. Hey, it's looking pretty good. Uh, uh, it's looking pretty good. Save. I'm the Joker, baby. Hat on mom's head, panel two, belt buckle straps are bad. Belt buckle straps are bad. What? Panel two. Huh? Mom's head, panel two, belt buckle straps are weird. Need to be thicker. That needs to be thicker? Oh, you mean like this? Eh, I think it could be like the angle, maybe. The angle is fine. But now that I look at it, maybe this could be lower. Thinner. Mm. I think that looks pretty good. Hey, Chris Create, welcome back. Just popped in to see what what's up. Looks like things are normal. Love the banana costume, by the way. Hey, well, thank you very much. And welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How has it been going for you? Harry Potter's on Prime Video for, for Germans now. That's why you finally watch them? Grinspills? Hey, nice. How are you liking it, by the way? I I read the books first. I enjoyed the books. They were good. I also love how satisfyingly like thick they were. Pretty damn thick for a child. Like I saw them recently, and and like the thickest one I think is like the fifth book, and that is like that's like thicker than an encyclopedia. It's like like this thick. Super satisfying to hold. I love that sound that makes when you when you tap when you tap the side of a book. Hold on. There's a book. I don't have a book here. Oh. Ow. Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> There's no book. I got no book. Well, we all need that. Also, I think I'm done. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, God, I messed it up. Why is this looking weird? Uh, what's this? What's this? Why do I have that weird line there? Whatever. I'm the Joker, baby. We're good. I think that's it for line art. I think I might even call it there. Okay. All your siblings read the Harry Potter books? You didn't, Grinsville's? <sighs> what a rebel. What did you read what did you read instead? What was that? What's that other one? Artemis Fowl. <laughs> Artemis Fowl. And the Lightning Thief. Or something. I forget what they were. Shading? No, I think I might, I might shave. I might shave sh shave shading for for next time. I think I might uh, hold it here because for some reason I'm surprisingly hungry. I mean, I know it's one thirty p.m. It's already past lunchtime, but I am feeling especially hungry today. So I might 
I might call it here for today and catch you guys on the other side. Thank you very much for watching a Loading Eyes comic stream. Hey, 24 seconds, hello. 24 seconds. 24 seconds, that's how long you've been in the stream before I said I was leaving. <laughs> Super tux. I just want to know if somebody ready to find my, my horse or if I'm still a rooster. You're still a rooster. Still a rooster, Super tux. Thank you very much for another dollar. Don't know. I... I'll I'll look into I'll look into that code today maybe, uh, yeah, because especially because it takes like five to ten minutes to, to to export and test the overlay, it's pretty good to do it on the side. I do some other work. Oh, it's ready. I look into it. Oh, everything's fucked up. Okay, try and fix it. Re-export. Have it exporting. Do some other work. Repeat. Hmm. Um, can you retry my first donation with horse and see if that's still a horse, Supertux? Hey, I sure can. Let me try and do it here. No, it's you're you're a rooster now. In hindsight, strange, strange that I have no idea why it used to be a horse and now it's a rooster. Coding is hard. And weird. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so instead, you read a series of unfortunate events, Erza. Your mom didn't allow us to watch Harry Potter because it had witchcraft in it. Oh, really? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Hey, who's this? The Nashi Live. Hey, thank you for following. I, I, started reading, I started reading a series of unfortunate events, but then it just kind of bummed me out. I was like, I don't want to read these terrible, depressing stories of these children. But I will say the movie was good. The one with Jim Carrey. I really like that. I'm not talking about that series. They made a new series with uh, Neil Patrick Harris. I think it's, yeah, I hate, I hate that. I couldn't even, I couldn't even stand a, an episode. I just couldn't stand it. But the movie with Jim Carrey was pretty good. I think. At least when I when I watched it back then, I liked it. I don't know if it's how it, how well it holds up, but I think it's good. Your parents didn't allow you to watch Dragon Ball because it's too brutal. <laughs> it feels. I uh, I I have similar experiences. I my parents well, my mom didn't allow me to play Tekken because of the gore. In Tekken, <laughs> made me sell my PlayStation. Uh, and also I tried damn hard to hide my GTA demo. She saw me run over some people by mistake. I tried to convince her it was a racing game. <laughs> I was trying so hard to stay on the road as well. And then I backed over some Elvis Presley impersonators. Ah, uh, why Elvis? Why? <clears throat> hmm. So, uh, the big record, you thought the series was so good? The series of unfortunate events series? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't feeling at the time, but I just, I just can't stand, can't stand it. I hate when a movie or a show has like a baby character that are just like, like a quirky baby. I don't like quirky baby characters. It's like one of my, it's one of my gripes. Same, same thing with like, in Despicable Me, there's always the baby. I, 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 I hate babies. And in series of unfortunate events, the baby like chumps on a lot of stuff, like it chews stuff up, and I don't know. I didn't. I didn't care for it. <laughs> uh, hey Baz, hey, good to see you there. I'm just wrapping up. Grinsbles, can you post the finished line art somewhere so we can look at it and point out mistakes till tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, I think, I think not. I mean, I know, probably for the sake of it, I mean, I could post it in the new lounge Discord channel. 
that all patrons and, and subs get access to. But I don't know. I guess you could also just you could also just look at this stuff in the VOD, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You can just look at the VOD. If you if you really want to pick it apart, it's in the VOD. Hmm. <laughs> Dower, it's always funny to play some GTA to see how to see for how long you can drive like a sane person until you get tired and just go full hit and run mode. That is true. I, I always I'm always like with every GTA game, there's always a part where I'm like, I'm gonna try and, and play like a, a normal pedestrian. And just you're just driving and you're stopping at a at a red light. I'm like, oh the guy's not going, I just better honk my horn. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Still not going. Let me just ram him a little bit. Let me just ram him. Oh, he's he's getting out of his car. Oh, I, I, well, I don't want to get hurt. I'm just going to run him over. I'm going to drive away from the cops, and suddenly I'm playing a GTA game like it was meant to be played again. <sighs> Speaking of which, I haven't played GTA in a long time. I've never actually finished a GTA game. And Speaking of which, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out on PC. Maybe I'll get that. Hmm... Uh, what exactly is that channel for? Uh, talk about patron stuff only, so you don't spoil the speaker panels, for example. Uh, yeah, la the lounge is like the lounge in the Discord. It was born from people wanting to discuss the bonus panels, and uh, but I'm also planning on sharing the Discord more outside of Twitch, so like on Instagram and Twitter and things like this, so that there might be an influx of like non subs and non-patrons coming in the Discord soon. And so the lounge will be the place to be to hang out with all the other subs and, and pa patrons. So kind of like what general chat is right now. We'll see. Hey, Enzo. Welcome back. And how good of a rig do you need to run uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? I have no idea, but based off the trailer, it looks like you need a lot of, a lot of, like, at least like six graphics cards. <laughs> and 10 rams big rams 10 big rams six graphics cards looks amazing i've never played red Dead redemption i've been kind of waiting for it to come on pc so uh i don't know maybe maybe i'll stream maybe i'll stream red dead redemption when that comes out what do you guys think about that is that interesting i've never played it looks cool though Katsudon. Hey, welcome back, Katsudon. Uh, do you always wear, dress up as a banana for Halloween? I sure do. My go-to. Neil, you'd watch that Red Dead Redemption 2 stream? Yeehaw. Hey, Sycorius. Oh, so, 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 many, uh, so many classic names coming out. Hey, Sycorius, good to see you again as well. And Lady Grey, please do that. Please stream Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, I might. I might. I'm, I'm definitely leaning toward it. Especially since I've uh, chopped, repopped re my cherry, my gaming streaming cherry, with uh, with Man of Medan on the weekend. I feel like it's time to play some games again. Sometimes, not, I'm not making it like a scheduled thing like every week now, but slowly maybe getting back into the habit of streaming other stuff. Also, I want to do like a baking stream as well. I haven't done I haven't done a, a cooking stream in a long time. A baking stream would be fun to do as well. Talking about graphics cards and RAM, what does your old PC do? My, P my old PC is currently just collecting dust on the table over there. <laughs> I should probably close it at least. I, I'm, it's missing the side panel. And uh, I'm not sure whether or not I should get a new motherboard or just wait and see what happens with the MacBook Pros. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But there's, 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 no, there's no rush. In, in, in returning my parents' PC because they insist that they don't need it. They haven't used it in, like, months, so. I'm giving it a home here for now. All right. And in real life, IRL GTA stream, Baz. <laughs> that would be fun to do. It would be fun to do an IRL stream sometime. But that's... In the future, I don't even know if my phone can handle a stream anymore. My phone is so slow and sluggish, it sucks. 
Okay. Well, I got to go. I gotta go. Uh, cat padding IRL stream. That'd be fun. That would be really fun. A cat, a cat padding stream. You get around finding cats to pat. That's the dream. Yeah, baking streams, gaming streams, cat padding IRL streams. <laughs> Lots to come. Lots to come. All right, I'm gonna call it here now. Outro time. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, welcome, welcome. Well. Tier 2 reset, 32 months in a row! Greg, Greg I, I wouldn't spend my money anywhere else, even though I probably should. Z Spy, thank you very much. 32 months, tier 2, 32 tier 2 months. Z Spy, thank you very much. Oh my gosh. And Hippanonymous, welcome back. 25 months. I would love. Hippanonymous, great to see you. Perfect hat, by the way, for, for, for this week's comic. Thank you very much, Hippanonymous. Welcome back. How you doing? How you doing? What games have you been playing lately? And Klaus. Official Klaus. 19 months. Let's break stuff. <laughs> See how smooth everything is running? It's impossible to break this overlay. It's, it's foolproof. Bulletproof. Waterproof. Smash proof. Gamble here. Another beautiful witch combo for this week's comic stream. Gamble here. Eight months. <laughs> Gregory Ignorant Slut. Thank you very much, Gamil here. Welcome back. Good to see you, Gamil here again. And Soul Leader, hey Soul Leader, six six six. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Take a seat. Take a seat. Anywhere, anywhere is fine. Anywhere. Well, plenty, plenty of seats this way as well. But whatever, Soul Leader. Thank you very much. Okay. Overlay is bulletproof. Foolproof, smash proof, waterproof, but is it Greg proof? <laughs> no, it's not. Nothing is Greg proof. I I can penetrate anything. Ah, uh, well, hello everyone. Good to see you. Uh, Hip and Animus. I'm great. Uh, I've been playing some new games like Surviving the Aftermath, Stranded Sails, Flotsam, and Autonauts. Oh, nice. I think I think I actually um. I had, a little, I had a little lurk, tune in for a little bit to see your Stranded Sails game. Looked interesting, like that kind of top-down little kind of cute piratey kind of game, right? How are you finding them? I was a Green Pixel, you turned 20 today, may I ask you for a cake? Green Pixel sure can, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Green Pixel. <laughs> and Sam, man, thank you for the 100 bits. Sound test. <laughs> <laughs> The, the sounds are still not randomized properly. Like, we're still working on that stuff. Uh, Yo and Goga gave me another fix. I have to try it out. But I didn't have time before the stream, so I'll do it after the stream. All right. But happy birthday again, Green Pixel. What kind of cake would you like? Also. BRB. Hold on. Also, one second. I gotta, I gotta finish closing the curtains and stuff. Hold on. Put the music back on. Boiling some water. Okay. This is... Oh, this music? I thought Gregor only has the Stranger Things music. 
technically, yeah, this is actually um, just my local files. I had to, I had to download the Stranger Things song locally, play it in Spotify in my local files, and there's a whole bunch of old music I downloaded like a long time ago. That was uh, the thing you were listening to just before, a Sunday intro by Cocaine Jesus. Oh, no one's... There we go. Thought I pushed that button. Uh, uh, hold on, let me just get settled here. I still have to do my Instagram story. Which I'll do now. Um... Maybe just like this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that kind of... Uh, it's not the most inviting face. Also, I just realized I forgot to shave this morning. Oh, God. Oh, it's another hairy banana stream. Man, that is... I hate to say it, but this is, this is the most intimidating I've ever looked in my life. <laughs> you walk down the alley, you see this guy, you turn around immediately. I'm telling you. Watch out for this guy. Uh, it looks like I'm just getting mad now. If you don't, if you don't swipe up to join the stream, I'm getting mad. And you don't want to see this banana when he gets angry. Live again. Swipe up. Super Tux. Is my horse back yet? No, it's not. Super Tux. You're still a rooster. You are still a rooster to me. Thank you very much, Super Tux, for another dollar to test it. Uh, we are getting closer, though. I'm, I'm working with Yon Gogo in his, his coding PRs, push pull, pull requests. We're getting there. We're getting closer. Maybe even by tonight I'll have it done. But, um. <laughs> okay. Oh! Okay, no, I thought I thought it crashed. I think it's po okay. So that's done. Social media is done. As far as I care. Okay. Uh, Grins was all the illegal music downloads. No, not all the illegal. I think cocaine, Jean, cocaine Jesus. I actually just downloaded that through their SoundCloud, like, or Bandcamp or something. Totally legitimate. It's just they do, they weren't on Spotify. That's why. Oh, there's other stuff in there that is that is illegal. <laughs> hey, hey, whatever. Um, Ethan, am I the only one who hasn't seen Stranger Things yet? You might be. You only have to watch season one. Season two, season, season three, pretty, but it's kind of disappointing. It's the, the perfect kind of, uh, the perfect uh, realization, the personification of, uh, too much of a good thing. Let's test something else, Load Spider. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's no emotes as well. I haven't even begun to try that, Super Tux. But thank you for another dollar. Uh, yo, Dab V, Z Spy, Super Private Animator, Strike, Super Tux, Grins Pills. <laughs> of course, when I see this face on the street in a mirror, I, I will turn around. Uh, Jessica Pilot, hello, skittish dude. Uh, Ethan, Yoan, go, go. Green pixel. You'd like a green cubic cake, a shiny glaze. With a shiny glaze. A green cubic Ooh. I can see it in my head already. I can see it already. I'll do that green pixel. Official class. If you get bored of boiling water, just boil loads of it and freeze it for later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, speaking of boiling water, I think it is done. Hold on. Maybe I should make that tea. Yo, Krom, hello, Squidgeneer. Hello, hello, welcome. Love the name. And, uh... Oh, I just, I just, oh my god, green pixel, I just clicked. I just clicked onto your green cubic cake with a shiny glaze. Because your name is Green Pixel. I just, I just, I just, right, green pixel in 3D, right, 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 of course. Oh my god. That's when I know. I need another tea, tea or something. And hey, Alpha Fan, welcome back. Okay, let's see. Okay, one moment. I gotta, I gotta just pour my tea, but then we'll get to the comic, 
and the birthday cake. Hey, Wolfie. Hello, hello. Woof. Hello, good to see you. One moment. Uh... What? One moment. Uh... Just get my mug. Okay, all right. I've gotten a little bit better at making tea. I've uh, gotten a little bit better to ma at making tea. I now only fill it halfway with boiling water. Halfway with boiling water. I let it sit for five minutes or so. Then I dump in cold water and I take out the bag. Makes a lot more sense than what I used to do, where I would just like fill it with half cold water immediately and just let it simmer it in, in lukewarm, lukewarm water, which kind of made me realize why am I even boiling the water if <laughs> if I immediately cool it down again I don't know but I'm learning getting there hey Vanima also yeah I remember Vanima you were the first person I saw in the chat when I had chat open at the beginning <laughs> and quiet artist hello and the lull effect hello Sarah Man as well. Hello, good to see you there. Dower. One Genius One. Danger, danger. Oh, man. Okay. Taylor, that mug is great. Hey, well, thank you very much. Where, where can you get it, you may ask? You can get it at the Loading Artist store right now, right here. One of many mugs. Hey, Tayfun Saka. Welcome back. Okay. Squigineer. Is that how you're supposed to do tea? I always said all boiling. All boiling water? That's what most people do, Squigineer, but I am too impatient to wait for boiling water to, to come down to a level that doesn't burn my lips off. I feel like I'm so sensitive to hot water. Um, and I can't, I can't wait around an hour. I want it now. Even my coffees, I, I drown the coffee with cold milk just so I can drink it immediately. Swallow the bag, assert dominance. <laughs> Hey, Proudest Monkey, hello. Why don't you just make iced tea? Well, I gotta get ice cubes and stuff. That takes a lot more preparation. Okay. I put the tea bag in cold water and heat up in the microwave. Wolfie, I think you committed a crime just by saying those words. But the tea community is very, is very strong on the microwave debate, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure them's are fighting words in the tea community. The community is what they like to be called. Also, my microwave is disgusting in so many ways. Hold on. Let's just get to the thing. My microwave, first of all, it's kind of got that weirdly old tinge of yellow that you find of like old IBM computers from the 90s or 80s even. It's got that going on. It doesn't have a keypad. It has a <laughs> dial. And it goes from zero, one minute, Two minutes, all the way to like a hundred minutes. I mean, even like three hundred and sixty <coughs> minutes. It's crazy. So if you want to have a, uh, you know, microwave something for thirty seconds, good fucking luck, because it's not even going to register until you move it to like two minutes. It's it's insane. So I just have to like turn it on and I just have to wait, count in my head, and then turn it off. Also, it's very slow at heating things. Yeah, whatever. It's like the first microwave they invented. Also, Beavis, thank you, and Kill Where You. Thank you for following me. Hello. Welcome. If you do it in the microwave, put a spoon in there as well, because the rotation plus the spoon will mix the tea perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> you almost had me there, Grinsbills. And hey, Radis Monkey, good to see you there. The yellow is the fire retardant, normally bromide. I'm not sure if we can say that word anymore. I don't know. I, I, I think it's not just like, I don't think it's yellow on purpose, my microwave. I think it's actually just old and stained. Oh, I haven't even begun the beginning as well. The be or not the beginning, the inside. Also, Killer You, 
just followed and now also decided to sub with the Twitch Prime. Kill Ryu, thank you very much. Thank you very much for subbing. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Enjoy these emotes. Don't forget, if you connect your Twitch account to your Discord account, you get exclusive benefits. Bonus panels. And hey, Tom, two cakes. Hello, hello. Okay. What am I doing? Guess I should do some work. Hey, Exo Comics. Hello, hello. There are new undiscovered life forms living in Gregor's microwave. That, yeah, that's right. The inside of the microwave is so disgusting. If the outside has got a yellow tinge, the inside has got like, it's like a Jackson Pollock painting when, if he ran out of paint and had to use his leftover pasta. That's what it looks like in the inside of my microwave. It's just, I don't even know how it happens. How, how does a, there's a bean stuck at this, at the, on the ceiling for the past few years. This is a bean, kidney bean. Not on the ceiling here, but if I was inside of the microwave, it'd be in the ceiling. The ceiling of the microwave. I mean, it's quite impressive. <laughs> That's where that has been. Bean. <laughs> I, messed up, I messed up the joke. That's where that has been. <laughs> uh, and the mask the models are wearing on my store page was so realistic, I almost didn't know they were masks. <laughs> they're not even they're not even they're not even masks i actually painted those things i, I did it by hand i drew them a lot of people think they're real masks I'm like where can i buy these masks i'm like the masks don't exist i drew them by hand and i slapped it on some unfortunate model model's face i had no idea that i'm going to slap their face cover their beautiful face with my beautiful art <laughs> they didn't sign up for this Okay, okay. I think it's time for some cold water in this thing, and then we can get then we can get started. I can't, I don't, I don't want to start working until I have, you know, a nice beverage in my hand. All right, picking up the bag. Oh, the bag's in. Oh shit. Oh god, that bag is gone. I can't. I can't even, I haven't taken the bag out, but it is, it is gone. I can't see it. Not like that. Oh yeah, I could use a fork. I was using my fingers, but it was burning. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Then you got a glass of water as well, just so that I don't have to, don't have to get up again over and over again. Just I can get all cozy here and start start working. Do that birthday cake for Green Pixel. <sighs> it's Tommy Two Cakes. Excited for the next baking stream slash microwave cleaning stream. That's not a bad idea, Tommy Two Cakes. Or should I say Tommy Two Bakes? But yeah, I'm looking I'm looking forward to doing a baking stream. Maybe maybe I can even convince Exocomics to to help me out. She's a lot she's a lot better at cooking and baking than I am. But then again, there are some things that maybe I could teach her. We'll see. Uh, oh, Lord Amethyst, <laughs> 17 months in a row, sweet cotton cakes, the time is flying by, one more month before I have to explain things to my, to my wife again. <laughs> oh my god, wait, what, <laughs> what does that mean, one more month before I have to explain things to my wife again? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand what that means, Lord Amethyst, <laughs> but thank you very much. <laughs> 17 months. I 
Have I bought measuring spoons since the last baking stream? I don't have measuring spoons, but I have bought a uh, measuring cup, which has been pretty handy. I guess you could use that for everything else. Holy crap. The artwork for this song is ridiculous. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to show it on stream. I don't know. Just, all right. I'll, I mean, it's not, there's no nipples, but look at this. Bam. Crazy, right? There's a skin type. I gotta hide that. I can't even look at it. I gotta hide that. Minimizing it. It's distracting. Whew. Okay, let's see. Let's begin. Folder. Birthday. Green. Pixel. Let's see. So a, a, cube, a green cube, glossy green cube cake. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. I'm liking it already. It's a satisfying shape. A oh, drawing mode. Thank you, Tommy Two Cakes. And now, here's your host. Gritzkopf. Hey, Gritzkopf. Thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Let's see. Um, how should I do this? Make another one like that. Ooh, looking quite nice already. <laughs> hey, spaghetti Roni, hello, hello. Can't be sneaky beehy. There's the loaded lurk emote. But those are for subs. Oh, nine months is the gestation period for a human child. Oh, because then there's, there's two. There's, oh, I see. I get you. Because now you have two babies. That makes sense. I thought you were, I thought you were going for like, is now that our relationship is like 18 months old, which is kind of like 18 years old. Now it's like. You're legally obliged to mention it to your wife. I don't know. I, I, I was, it's too early in the morning for me to, to, to realize any of these things. <laughs> and Pat's Mikey, you can teach Lee how to wear a banana suit and banana pants in front of hundreds of strangers with absolute pride. That is definitely unteachable. That's just something you're born with. The doctor knew it immediately. As soon as they picked me up from my mother, this, this is a banana child. <laughs> get, this, get this child a, a banana suit immediately so he doesn't uh, waste any time. That's looking kind of nice already. Quite nice. Do I like pixel art? I sure do. I quite I do enjoy pixel art. And hey, Dak, welcome, Dak. How should I best do this? How should I best do this? Ooh, it's looking, it's looking, it's getting, it's, 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 it's getting there. <laughs> I 
Trying to get some like real nice satisfying like shines to this glossy cake here. Yo, Oz Willy. Hey, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. <laughs> of all the, of all the pixel art in my past, you could have pointed out. Picked out this one. Hey, well, I gotta say, this this actually got me like third place in a in a pixel art competition. <laughs> oh wow, it even now looks different. I mean, it was the 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 competi Hold up, the competition was pixel art through history. And so I was like, oh, what are some historical? This this is before Hitler became such a hot topic. Like, this is uh, it was just more of a historical thing. I even have, I even made a, a, a this is the one actually won first prize. This one first won first prize. Oh my, what the? F How do I view this? Here we go. This got first prize in that same competition. Yes, I submitted two things. His history in pixel art. So um, I'm quite proud of this one. Like a comic in itself. Okay, so that's what I was doing before uh, loading artist. But uh, <laughs> and, and, like, and I made this as well. Like, I, mean, I, was, I dabbled with pixel art. Like this little thing as well. This place so small on stream, especially if you're watching this in low, non-HD. But regardless, I'm getting dis distracted here. Just want to clarify. I leave for 10 minutes and Greg is showing Hitler stuff again. <laughs> that was Grins Pills' fault. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see. Let's continue this green pixel cake. All right. I think, uh, I think now what's left is a candle. Seems kind of a shame to, like, ruin, ruin this cake with a candle now. But, um, oh, that's pretty good. I quite like, quite liking this. Okay, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, candle, I suppose, as is tradition. Green pixel, your name is kind of like. And get some shading as well. And also do this thing here, just to make it look like it's sitting on on top, like inside of the cake. <laughs> oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. Damn. Okay, I think that's. I think that's quite satisfying. Quite satisfying indeed. Here's your green pixel cake, essentially. I'm the Joker, baby. I forgot to get rid of that sound. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, hey, Grandy, I love your work, Gregor. Hey, well, thank you very much, Grandy. And welcome. Hey, Redfoot, welcome back. Lady Grey, welcome back as well. Grins pills, what is this? So when I post porn and you open it, then you will also say it's my fault. 
It's a gamble. Do I open this link or not? I don't know. I can't read Grin's pills. I can't read Grin's pills. He is an enigma. <laughs> How dare you show me porn? So young as well. Disturbing Grin's pills. <laughs> Hey, Cole. Dude, I fucking love green ice cubes. So do I. So do I. Welcome to the green ice cube club. And, or as we like to be called, groobs. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's, let, me, let me export this thing. What kind of cake is that? It's green. Hold on. Let me export this bad boy. Just, just making sure it doesn't show anything. Birthday cakes, 2019. This one was green pixel. Export 100%. Damn, I'm really pleased with how this cake turned out. Look how satisfying it is. You love it. Thank you so much, Gregor. Hey, well, thank you, green pixel. Happy birthday. Happy 20th birthday. Thank you for, for being here. And uh, hope you have a good birthday. Here we go. Let's see. Bonk. Shoop. Boom. Doom. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Okay, and I'll also drop it in the Discord in the Birthday Cakes channel. So you can access it there. There you go. Yeah. Green pixel. There you go. Thank you very much again. All right. So now we're back to uh, back to work here. Yo, Ravi Sama, welcome back. NGZ Hunter 2 is welcome to see you there. And new Teddy, hello, hello. It's green is a famous Star Trek quote, <laughs> is it? Oh, no. I've let slip that I am a big Trekkie. What was the context of the Star Trek joke? Alcohol. Oh, I see. What is it? It's green. <laughs> All right. Young Gogo, your, your DeviantArt seems to imply you were a desperate child. <laughs> is it obvious? That's why I don't like to use my DVR anymore. It's too revealing. All of my uh, teenage blunder years, all nicely compacted into one website. Your stream suggested too, to be fair. Now, my stream does not suggest that, I w that I'm a desperate child. <laughs> it, it shows off that I'm a desperate adult. Yes, I was going to say, was there another word for adult? Desperate man. Desperate banana. Desperate for your love. Manchild. Oh, that's probably what I was thinking. Manchild. <sighs> you wouldn't call me an adult, Grinspells? Why not? What is it about me that does not scream responsible adult right now? <laughs> okay, let's let's continue with this webcomic. Okay, let's see. Uh, we got it with the lines, the shading. Okay, so we finished the line art in yesterday's stream, and now we will begin with shading. So I'm pretty happy. Let me just double double check, make sure we didn't rush any line art or anything like this. Uh, okay, that looking good, pretty damn good. And if I do say so myself. She's looking at the broom. She's looking at the girl. Everything's looking fine. This could look. Mm. Ravi Sama. 
Welcome back. Two months. I almost passed on the resub. Hey. Happy Samuel, thank you very much. Sticking with us, welcome back. Get yourself your second hat. Thank you very much, Ravi Sama. Much uh, appreciated. Uh. Excuse me. And Tommy Two Cakes, let's revisit your poetry again. No, Tommy Two Cakes. No, never. I locked that. I locked that shit away in my DeviantArt vault for a reason. <laughs> Only. It's only for my eyes and my therapist's eyes only. There you go, how's this? this now, now it looks more like sleeves. 3D. And that looks good. That looks good. The hat's looking fine. Um, that hat's looking fine. Hair's looking good. Dress. Those limbs look a little low. Ah, how how much do I care? A lot. Move it up a bit. That looks better. We'll do the same with the limbs. Move the limbs up. I think we should make this part of the tradition of the stream. Like this, this should be a, a kind of a rule that at the beginning of the second stream, before we do shading, we should go through panel by panel, making sure that the line art is tip top shape. It'll save us a lot of time down the road. Hey, Jacob Gorilla, good to see you there. Ravi Sammy, you missed your load high. Nice. Hey, don't forget, we also got those channel points as well, where you can even customize the emotes. Like, the, the load high works well with the glasses, the sunglasses. Looks like a damn girl kind of face. Hey, Charlie Five, wait, why did I just get 400 points for, at once? I don't know, maybe you, maybe you won the lottery, Charlie Five. Oh, for watching the stream? <laughs> yeah, Choir Artist, those are those. Are the, let, me, let me show this up for the YouTubers watching the VOD. For the 10 YouTubers that watch this. <laughs> Hello, by the way. I, I do all this for you. The recording of this fil this video. <laughs> recording of this film. <laughs> Another loading artist film. Yeah, look, look at these emotes. Pretty slick. You can use that. Use the channel points. Oh. Hello, hello. Nice, nice, nice. Hello, hello. Everyone's, everyone's in the stream. <laughs> Uh Speaking of YouTube, I have been ca I have been keeping up with posting the musicless versions of this of the comic streams. I posted the last two comics pretty quickly recently, so uh, in case you were wondering if I had stopped or not, they are there. And Grinspell's her bias is a little thick, I agree. Hey, you should smile. Hey, well, thank you very much. You following me is making me smile. Thank you very much. Okay, that's looking better. That's looking good. That's looking good. Eyelashes are there. Eyelashes are there. Eyes looking... Uh, this one could be... Oh, it's way too big. Oh, no. That's good, yep. Yeah. Uh, hair is looking good. Hat's fine. Broomstick's fine. Sleeves are fine. This one's looking... Yeah, I'm happy with this. 
strike. Great idea. So first stream is line art and second stream is only line art again. Shading, coloring, final countdowns, comic title celebration, evenly divided. The line art, to be fair, is the, uh, the, the, the probably the hardest part of the stream. Probably the hardest part. It was Zark. Zarko76. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's let's begin with the shading. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> hey Charlie Five, nice. You got a random emote. Being broke is not as bad anymore. Excellent. The load shrug. <laughs> Uh, Strike, you still think the girl's leg in panel 2 is ki kind of looks like it's not coming out of the skirt right? Panel 2. Ah, this one. Oh, actually, yeah, you got a good point. I think this, the skirt could be better. Also, hey, Gritz Cough, hello, hello. How are you doing? Let's redraw the... Oh, no. What have I done? Oh god. Just bring in the layers one at a time so we don't get all overwhelmed. Limbs. Is that better? I think that's better, right? Uh, Gritzkopf, could you please check your pics chat on your Discord and explain this to us? Huh? What? Huh? What? What happened in the, in the pics chat? Hmm? Uh... <laughs> Guys, this isn't that Gregor, that's someone else. The real Gregor would dry some laundry in the background. <laughs> what the heck is going on in your apartment? I even the real Gregor was. Where is the drying laundry? <laughs> well spotted, Great Scott. Yeah, I thought I thought uh I was being a bit proactive. I'm trying to be bit more better with the, the chores recently. And uh And yeah, I actually put away the clothes before I even had another clothes to wash because because my, my laundry basket is looking pretty empty. So I'm developing. I also did a vacuum. And I thought it'd be easy to do a vacuum if the if the clothes weren't hanging there. So you're looking at a new me. I am uh, I am sticking with my uh, what's it called my to do list. Also, Grins was I didn't change anything with like <laughs> I don't know what. I'm not sure what you guys are wanting from me here. Because the light has to be behind the, the broom. Unless I hide that and make the broom solid here. Actually, that doesn't look too bad either. Yeah. How about that? How's that? How's that? Is that good? Hey, Sirissi, hello. And I'm also, I was also on time today as well. Yeah, I started 10 o'clock. And I think I started at 9.59 on the dot. So we're getting back there. Because I've, I've, been, I've been too late recently. Even from my standards, I've been too late. I don't, I don't want to be that late. But have I washed my pillows yet? I knew Greg should watch this. One. I actually put on fresh pillowcases the other day, seriously. No, no joke. I actually did. Oh wait, I didn't wash. Wait, that's right. That we, I didn't wash the pillows themselves. <laughs> that's for like, that's for like Gregor 
I'm still like 2.7 at the moment. Yeah, okay, I'm liking the line art. I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna hide the background for now and just focus on the foreground elements while we do shading. Just so we don't get overwhelmed too quickly. Oh, and let's begin. Yeah. Actually, you know what? While I do uh, the shading, I'll, because it's such a mindless work, this is kind of like where I, I like to do a singing song or, or, or a singing song or two, maybe. So uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Will you indulge indulge me while I choose a couple songs? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Something, something I know the, uh, the lyrics to. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle mode. Africa, maybe? We'll see. We'll see what comes up. Oh no, this is that Robbie Williams definitely gets me muted. Oh no, which one? Uh my darling, I hung for your touch. Ba -ba. Lonely time. And time goes by. So slowly, and time can do so much for you. Still, my I need your love. I need your love. God, speed your love to me. Lonely rivers flow to the sea, to the sea. Oh, the open arms to the sea. Lonely rivers sigh. Wait for me. Wait for me. I'll be coming home. Wait for me. Oh, my love. My Darling, I hung hug for your touch. Are you in time? And time goes by. So slowly, and time do so much. Are you still mine? I need your love, your love. I your love.
God speed your love to me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I haven't, I haven't sung that song in maybe forever. Oh, the next one's actually pretty cool too. Hold on. I love these old songs. Ooh. This one goes out to all the toilets out there. Thank you for thank you for joining us today. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places that that this heart of mine embraces all day through in that small cafe the park across the way the children carousel the chestnut trees the wishing well I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day in everything that's light and gay i'll always think of you that way i'll find you in the morning sun and when the night is through I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day in everything that's light and gay i'll always think of you that way i'll find you in the morning sun and when the night is new, I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <sighs> what a beautiful song. And such a beautiful rendition as well. What was the next one? Oh, snap. Okay, something to, something to pick up. Something to pick up your feet again. Here we go. Oops.
I hear the drums echoing tonight, but she hears only whispers of some quiet conversation. She's coming in 12.30 flight. Infecting forces towards salvation. Talk with an old man along the way, hoping to find some long forgotten words or ancient melodies. He turned to me as if to say, Hurry, boy, it's waiting there for you. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men on Mars could ever do. I bless the raids down in Africa. Let's take some time to do the things we never had. <laughs> And just see you gotta he head out. All right, have a good night, and just see Hunter. Little dogs cry out in the night, longing for some quiet fairy company. And I must do what's right. Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti. I seek the cure what's deep inside. Frightened of this thing that I've become. Whoops. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I bless the raids down in Africa. It's gonna take some time to do the things we never had. What's going on? Hurry, boy, she's written there for you. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men on Mars could ever do. I bless the rains down in Africa. I bless the rains. Ah, I bless the rains. Yeah. Hey, Africa. Ah, I bless the rains. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of time to finally finish the shading. Yeah, green cells. But I kind of underestimated how, how mindless the shading will be because these these witches are confusing. Like I don't understand witches. The shapes are all like all over the place, the, the hats are even crazy. And they got the hair as well. Don't even get me started on the hair. It is much more complicated than I had expected. Also, I'm going to mask out the borders 
because I was getting sick of these uh, overlaps here. So nice and clean. That's better. Mm -hmm. Ah, bless the rains. I haven't even been drinking my tea. That dude is still grooving. Sure is. He looks like he's antsy for another, another song. Oh. I bless the rains. Africa. What else is there? Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Something wasn't right here. Oh, pretty baby, I wasn't supposed to go. Uh... Hey, yo, and Gogo, have you ever noticed the eyes in Load Hmm are a bit off? Looks like he has a lazy eye. Does he? I don't think so. I saw I saw you mention that in the Discord before, but I, 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 I don't really think he looks like he has a lazy eye. It's like he's looking like at the chat above kind of thing. Hmm. For shading at the same time, you need a song you know the lyrics to, not a song like Africa that you only sung a thousand times already. <laughs> I have, I can't, I don't know. I, it's impossible for me to, to, to memorize lyrics. I can't do it. I, I memorize, I can memorize the, the melody, but the lyrics are beyond me. Because to be honest, before I started streaming the songs, I never really gave two hoots to the lyrics anyway. I would always just kind of sim language it anyway. <clears throat> but you're, you're right though. I need a, I need a song that I know all up in here. Hmm. Uh, when the sky that we look upon should crumble and fall for the mountain. To tumble to the sea. I won't cry. I won't cry. No, I won't shed a tear. So Pumba, Pumba, stand. Good Yeah, no, no, sorry. I'm just, I'm just looking through the, the playlist here. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. I need another playlist of songs I know by heart. Uh. Uh. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. When you get what you want. I know what you need. Oh, God damn it, I can't do it. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Um, 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 I don't know any songs. I have completely forgotten. Teenage Dirtbag is one. I feel like we sing that song a lot. We need other ones. Well, Kelly Renton. Hello, hello. Welcome back, Kelly Renton. Wonderwall. We sing that one a lot, too. Wonderwall. Even Wonderwall, I don't actually know the lyrics to it so much. Strawberries, cherries, and an angel's kiss in spring. My summer wine is really made from all these things. No, 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 no. How about you sing happy birthday? You want me to get sued? Actually, no, I think happy birthday is not no longer copyrighted, right? Hmm. I want to sing... Wicked Game by Chris Isaac, but I think that song gets us muted. That's not a big deal, though. Eh, let's do it anyway. I think I know the lyrics. We'll see. I do love the song. 
Let me try and power through some shading as well. Hey, PMC Split Tail. Hello, welcome back. The world was on fire, but no one could save me but you. Strange what desire can make foolish people do. I'd never dream that I'd meet somebody like you. I'd never dream that I'd lose somebody like you. No, I want to fall in love. No, I want to fall in love with you. With you. What a wicked game to play to make me feel this way. What a wicked thing to do. Make me dream of you. What a wicked thing to say You never felt this way What a wicked thing to do to Make me dream of you And oh, I wanna fall in love And oh, I wanna fall in love with you on fire no one could save me but you strange what desire will make foolish people do i'd never dream that i'd meet somebody like you I'd never dream that I'd lose somebody like you. No, I wanna fall in love. No, I wanna fall in love with you. With you, no, no, nobody. Loves no one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Classic song. Pretty sure it's going to get muted. But oh well. Whatever. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. Hey, Lone Wolf. Welcome back. Um. Strike, it's been like months to do what? Meanwhile, you sing Frankie all the time. Nothing against Frankie, of course. Frankie? Oh, Frankie Sinatra? 
It's been like months to do what? Oh, 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 oh. Teenage Dirtbag. It's been months since I sang Teenage Dirtbag. Mmm. Mmm. It has been a while, I suppose. And I'm just a teenage dirtbag. All right, all right, all right. You, can, you convinced me. Let's reset the clock on this one. Three, two. I know the lyrics, at least. Her name is Noel. I had a dream about her. She rings my bell. Beep, boop, boop. Gym class in half an hour. Oh, how she rocks. In kids and tube socks. She doesn't know who I am. And she doesn't give a Damn about me, cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby, yeah, you, I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby, listen to Iron Maiden, baby, with me, Her boyfriend's a dick, and he brings a gun to school, and he simply kick my ass if he knew the truth. He lives on my block, and he drives an IROC, and he doesn't know who I am, and she doesn't give a damn about me, cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag. Baby, yeah, I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Listen to Iron Maiden, baby, with me. Ooh. Oh, yeah, dirtbag. No, she doesn't know what she's missing. Oh yeah, <laughs> dead bear. No, she doesn't know what she's missing. Man, I feel like mold. It's prom night and I am lonely. Lo and behold, she's walking over to me. This must be fake. My lip starts to shake. How does she know who I am? And why does she give a damn about? I've got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby. Come with me Friday, don't say maybe. I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby, like you. Ooh. She's missing. Oh, yeah. Dead bear. No, she doesn't know what she's miss missing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ever since I have these, these lights at my disposal, I've been so distracted with it. It's, it's impossible for me to do work and do the lights at the same time. Uh, maybe I should get a foot pedal. That would be pretty, that would be pretty neat. Do, 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 do. Yeah, my feet are not doing anything. Um, 
Hey, Death Bulge. Hey, good to see you there, by the way. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome back. Death Bulge, how you doing? Why is my guitar out? Whoops. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Dry Rays Go. Hello, hello. Welcome. Okay. Okay, let's do last song. I don't think I've done this song in a while. But last, last call, last song. <laughs> Oops. We're talking away. I don't know what to say. I say it anyway. Days and another dude to find you shying away. Will we love and go we love? Okay, take on me, take on me, take me, oh, take on me, I'll be gone in a day of time. So needless to say. But that day a day in any way Slowly learning that life is okay Say Oh god <laughs> When when did I trigger this? I triggered the curtains Oh god uh Oh god stop please stop No 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 Please Cancel the outro I don't want the outro why does it, why does it no, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, no! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Pardon me. Don't know when I pushed that button. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I could hear something in the background. Yeah, Twitch is cracking down. I mean, they're forcing me to end the stream. All right, let's see. Let's back up a bit. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Say after me. It's no better to be safe than sorry. Take me, me. Take on me. Take me. Oh. Take on me. I'll be gone. In a day or two. Things that you say isn't enough. The lyrics don't have this part. Remember, say in a way. I'll be taking. Love and Jeremy. Take on me. Take on me. Take me. Oh, take on me. I'll be gone. And I'm dead. Take me. Me, I'll be gone in a day. 
Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for uh, for joining us for the singing part of this of this stream. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome back. I, every time I start singing, I just kind of black out, and I just kind of I'm in a whole other world. And now I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Hello. Yeah, I, I pushed the outro button at some point. It must have been going on for a while because it's like, wait, what is that sound? And then suddenly I realized, oh, God, it's the outro music <laughs> clashing with the song. So, anywho, let's get back to some work. <clears throat> okay. We haven't even finished the shading. <sighs> Thank you, Greg. That was three out of your all-time top five covers. What, what, what do we have? We had Take On Me, Teenage Dirtbag, Wicked Game. Those ones, right? Classics. Loading artist, staples. Oh, and Africa as well. I forgot we even, we even did Africa as well. Man, I, I spoil you guys. I really spoil you guys. <laughs> what an intense song. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. How's the comic going? It's going well. <gasps> it's just kind of complicated. I don't usually draw characters so complex. Despite them still having stick arms and stick legs. It's, 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 it's tricky. But I think once we get past the shading, everything else will just like... We'll just, we'll just definitely... Uh, go by quite nicely. Do I color it later? I sure do. I do. I do color it on stream though. So after shading, we'll do coloring. After coloring, we'll do the spider. After the spider, we'll do the final countdown dialogue, with the speech bubbles, you know. And then after that, we'll do comic titles. And then after that, we'll do celebration. And after that, it's the outro. Um. Oh, Ravi Sam, you're off. Okay, have a goodbye, Ravi Sam. I thank you again for, for the resub. And hey, you should smile. Uh, how long have you been making comics? I've been, I've, I've dabbled with comics for a while, like even since like primary school, you know, pencils and paper and stuff like that. But I've done loading artist comics since 2011. 2011. Oh my God, it's a long time. This song is so intense. Approaching Nirvana. And after the outro, we watch the comic. Yeah, after the outro, then I usually plop into bed for a little bit. Not for like, not a nap, but I'll plop into bed with my phone, just go on Reddit for a bit, just chill. And then I'll have lunch. And then I will do some other work. Maybe I'll 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 try and get the um the the Raiders code working or something. I don't think I'll stream that part. We don't really have much to, to code to to justify a coding stream. And I feel like a lot of the coding stream is just uh, waiting for things to export. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm close to getting the code in there. I just got to test Yo and Gogo's thing some more. Then I'll come back, I'll finish the comic, tweak it up some more, polish, do some extra polish. And then what do I do? Then I work on patron rewards. 
the patron packs hd versions get that sorted get that ready i come up with a comic title by looking over your suggestions seeing if i like any of them otherwise i'll come up with a new one make the thumbnails make the the post images to share the link out with um I upload it to the website, I write a description, I post it to Patreon, post it to Discord and Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr and and Reddit, the subreddit specifically. Um, oh, and I also have to f find a, a clip to post along with it, my favorite clip. So if you guys are making any clips, feel free to share them in the Stream Highlights channel of our Discord server. I've got to decide on that too. Hold up. Is there a problem with the stream overlay? Hold up. Why is CS2001 is trying to, to resub, but the thing is... Hold up. Why is this not working? I said the overlay wouldn't break. I spoke too soon. Why is this not working? I'm resetting the... I'm resetting it, so it shouldn't be paused. Interesting. Huh. Excuse me while I refresh. All right, who we got here? Cuddly Cactus, thank you for the follow. Welcome. And... CS2001. 15 months, Twitch Prime. It's loading banana again. Welcome back, CS2001. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you very much for the reset. 15 months in a row. Much appreciated. How are you doing? Oh, and also Dos. Dosi Luca. Hey, thank you for following as well. Much appreciated. Dosi Luca, I love your strips. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I love your strip tease. Oh, I should, I should, that's what I should call it. When I show just like a little bit of like the upcoming comic or upcoming bonus panel in the Discord, I should call it a strip tease. That should get me a lot more patrons. <laughs> strip tease benefit. Or a lot less. Well, Gregor closed the curtains, now the overlay wants to sleep. That's a good point. Maybe when the curtains closed, it, it paused the notifications, because it's supposed to when the curtains close. But when I reset, when I push that reset button, it should clear any pausing. So I'm not sure why the reset button's not working there. But that's a good point, Gritzkopf. Probably has something to do with the outro. I know what your comics need, loading ours. Microtransactions. <laughs> well, I kind of already have that with the bonus panels. I don't want to get greedy now. Well, speaking of which, I know, I know most of you probably already know, but I have made a new Discord channel on the Discord server called Lounge for all subs and patrons to, to chill out and discuss bonus panels and anything else. Because, yeah, I am planning on sharing the Discord a bit more with my other social media channels. Um, and so the Lounge will become, like, basically the place to be. Lounge? I'm not saying lounge. I said lounge. You know, with martini glasses and such. Why do I call my patrons Patreons? I don't call them Patreons. I know a lot of people do by mistake. But website's called Patreon. But the people are called patrons. Patrons. Wait, wait, wait. Patrons. 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 
So, Mamster, I feel like I'm getting spoilers by looking at the stream. You sure are. If you want a, if you want a, a full, proper reveal, check out the uh, comic command for a proper, like, panel by panel. Hey, thank you, Grinspills. You got that before me. Oh, yeah, I, I probably just not pronouncing it correctly. I keep saying patron. Pa patron. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Lady Grey, why did you choose the name Loading Artist anyway? Well, actually, Loading Artist was my, the name of my blog, my art blog, back in the way, what's, what, way whatever day. Because I wanted to get better at being an artist. I wanted to get better at doing art. So I thought, hey, if I make maybe like a blog and upload my progress there, I'll feel more inclined to keep working, you know? To keep working at it if get that peer pressure going on. So I made a I made a blog called Loading Artist because it means like a developing artist. And then at one point I was like, hey, I've always wanted to make a webcomic too. Why not do why not kill two birds with one stone? And uh turn it into a webcomic. And I just kept the name and that's where we are now. After you, and after you failed get, with getting better at art, you started a webcomic. <laughs> I well, the, the, I, <laughs> no, I was gonna do the art in the webcomic. That's why, like, some of the earlier loading arts comics had like super detailed backgrounds, like all painterly like and stuff. But uh, I, uh, <laughs> I as the comic evolved, I did less and less of that. And more focus on the comic art. Because a lot of the time those backgrounds kind of distracted from the comic. It kind of clashed sometimes. Your founders are also mean. They sure are dry erase girl. And it's not just the founders either. It's every everyone. Everyone's always trying to peel my banana. Lady Grey, you chose your name while drinking Twining's Lady Grey tea. That's why your name is Lady Grey. <laughs> nice. I can imagine it as well. I can imagine it where it's like, you, you, what's my username? What should my username be? Like, you're just drinking your tea, like, looking around. Uh, hmm. Lady Grey. If I did that, I would be called Earl Grey. Pretty sure this is what I'm drinking is Earl Grey tea. Wait, Earl Grey is black tea, right? I get confused. Oh yeah, it's called Earl Grey, but that's black tea, right? And Cole, what does this button do? Oh, weird. Oh yes, it's to uh, highlight your message. What does it say when you save the file? I, I have an accidental uh, sound clip in there from a test that I forgot to take out. I'm the Joker, baby. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> Oh, it's gray tea, obviously. Oh, wait, is that a thing? I didn't even... Because I've just been buying Earl Grey thinking it was black, because I want black tea, but it doesn't say black tea anywhere on the thing. So then it's, it's, it's a mystery. Pandora's box of tea. I think I'm done with the shading of the bodies. I gotta shape the hair as well, but I'll do that in a separate layer. Mm, yeah, it's looking good.
Oh, Dry Erase Girl, you know nothing about tea, you were joking. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I still feel like I'm... Like, how complicated can tea be? It's just a bunch of dried leaves and some water. But, for some reason, it's still beyond me. I don't know. There's so, there's so much to tea. Earl Grey is black tea? Okay. I'm glad. It's named after Earl of Grey, like Earl of Sandwich named the sandwich. Wow, this Earl guy really did a lot in his life. He named sandwiches and tea? Man, things must have been so much easier back in the day, back in the first. Like, which, everyone's inventing everything by just like stumbling across it. Like, what's this leaf? Can I chew it? Okay, I'll, I'll call this my name's T. What's your name? Earl T. Oh, <laughs> Earl is just a title, like Count. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was an, Earl is a name. That's why they have that show called My Name is Earl. <laughs> I didn't, uh. Okay, well, educational stream here. Hey, Cancel Loco, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, we got channel points as well now. I haven't customized them yet, but um, <laughs> but we got we got it in here. I still have to sit down and think about it. Time to shave the hair. Oh, actually, no, I won't shave the hair just yet. I'm going to color the hair first and then put the shading directly onto the coloring layer because it's, I can't just like fill because it's just going to fill the. <laughs> okay, never mind. It works. But this is kind of bad because um, now I have to make sure that the coloring layer is exactly the way my shading layer is. So yeah, I'm not going to, not going to do that just yet. <laughs> you meant that seriously? It was a funny joke. I, well, I, Greensville, to be fair, I didn't, I didn't think it was the same Earl inventing sandwiches and tea. That was just a joke. But I didn't, I didn't, I thought they were just two inventors named Earl separately. <laughs> so that, that part was real. I thought there's two different Earls. Kalon is a nice tea. I've been trying to get into art, but I can't seem to get shades right. What color did you use again, Casa Loco? Uh, I mean, I just use this kind of, by default, kind of like a grayish blue, but it's really only because it looks nice with the, with the, the white of the bodies and, and faces. But it really depends. I change the shading color if it's like for the, for the hair. I'll make the shading color a different color because the blue does not gel well with blonde hair or even like brown hair. So it's really up to you. There's no right answer there. So I'm imagining a witch's outfit is kind of like a dark purple. I think because she's younger, I kind of like a lighter color. It's kind of cuter, but like baby blue, baby pink, you know? I'm not sure, because now she kind of looks like a wizard. And uh, green pixel coffee is better than tea. Uh, I like both. I'm a. 
by <laughs> by beverage drinker. No, <laughs> trying to make a joke there. I can't. I can't quite make the pun work. But you know what I'm getting at. I'm a by beverage drinker. <laughs> Whatever. But I like to start with a coffee, and then I don't like to have too much coffee throughout the day because there's a lot of milk. I like to have milk in my coffees. I don't. Really, I don't want to be a milky boy. And I feel like tea is also a lot cheaper too. Oh yeah, witch is like Twitch only dark. <laughs> oh yeah, witch Twitch purple purple that makes sense. Uh, Casa Loco, you shaded with gray with an opacity of forty percent. Well, that's maybe your problem as well. Are you changing the blending mode to be multiply? Because that makes your shading pop. If it's just, you don't want to just have 40% uh, gray uh, on top of things. It just doesn't look very nice, like I'll show you. Um, so let's make, let's make a gray, 40%. Like that's not, that's no good. You know, so if you, even if you make the the gray a, a multiplier layer, that's better. But gray is still kind of just I don't know. For me, gray kind of makes things duller, which is not nice. If you make the multiplier layer like have some color in there, suddenly it just looks much more satisfying. Like before, after, before gray, purple, gray, purple. Um. Yeah, I feel like gray just kind of dulls things out. But yeah, multiply is important. You don't want to just have normal, because normal will make things look weird. Unless you unless you make every uh, shading color like specifically that the color is trying to shade. But if you just have gray and normal, you know what I mean? Or even if you make it black with 40%, it's like that. that's what a lot of people do. They just have a black layer, kind of like less opaqueness and they just slap it on top of things but you want to change it from normal to multiply uh let me show you let me hide my tv for a second Whoop. let me hide this one as well Whoop. look over here so photoshop and clipsia paint pretty much every art program i could think of have blending modes for the layer so you make a normal layer but then you change it from normal to multiply and that makes it just like sit on top of things nicer. Of course, if you're using black, it doesn't really make much difference because I'm messing up this tutorial hard. Normal, multiply. Um, but yeah, I would try and avoid kind of grays for shading. But again, it depends on what kind of style you're going for. Also, this is not my final shading color. I usually tweak the shading colors later on when I have the background as well, so I can see what looks best. This is my default for now. Hey, Kerosene, good to see you here. Welcome back. But yeah, I think I feel like most most artists would tell you to steer away from just using like black or gray as the shading. Actually, hold on. If I was gonna get quite artsy here for a second, I could do an example. Like if you were, let's say you were painting a banana. Like this. And uh, you have two bananas, but you wanted you wanted to shade them, like to make them look more three D and stuff. And you, so let's say you're using a paintbrush. Some people would just kind of um, like they would just go, oh, I'll just use a darker yellow or a darker 
maybe even black or something, and just like shade the shade the side here. You know, like oh, I'll just blend that together a little bit. Get some three Dness to that banana. Some people just do that. But what you you don't want to do that. You want to get um like more saturated colors, like a kind of almost like an orange. Look at this. Look at this. Right deeper. Oh my god. Oh whoops, I'm on the wrong layer. Can be in be in the right layer, that would help. You know, just like I'm using like a brown, orangey brown, or even just even a lighter orange. Just kind of makes it pop a bit more. Even like quite dark red. See? Like which one do you think looks better? Hopefully you would think this one. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. This the you don't, you don't want to just use like because like these colors are kind of gross. And I, I I chose yellow because yellow is a definitely one where you don't want to use, uh, like black or grays. It just looks kind of yuck. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. It's my my half hour half hour attempt at <laughs> being uh, educational. The, the banana in the top right corner looks the best. That's me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dry Race Girl. Too kind. Yo, ball work. Ball work. Thank you for following. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But you didn't see this this hair color coming. Hey, Green Pixel, gotta head to bed. All right, have a good night, Green Pixel. Happy birthday again, and um, I'll see you next time. Not really sure what the colors should be like for the girl. In a way, it almost seems like a cop out just to make her like a lighter version than, than the mum. But um, maybe not. Not cop out's not the right word, but it just kind of looks a little distracting. Like do 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 uh, all the people just have their colors become more darker and desaturated? Or should the kid have more normal hair, and then as you get older, you turn into the green hair? What is green hair anyway? Why do witches have you? Why do witches have green hair? Is it just because they don't shower, and it gets so moldy and gross that it becomes green? Yeah, I think it'd be I think it'd be cute to give the the kid like blonder hair. Works well with that pink. Well, witches kidnap random kids from other women, so... Oh, do they? Is that, is that what witches do? Ah. Redheads. In the Middle Ages, redheads were believed to be witches. Oh, really? I had no idea. Red hair. 
That'd be interesting. Yeah, red hair is kind of cool. Although, red hair might clash with the cone. The cone color is orange as well, so... Does that remove the impact of the cone, I wonder? We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe it won't, because the cone is... Hmm. It does kind of kill the impact of it, because you want that cone to be, like, really standy outy. I don't want to give them black or dark gray clothes because then it'll make them harder to spot in the night sky and the limbs and stuff. But um, I might give maybe like a light gray. Actually, maybe a light gray could work. And maybe make the kid the purple one and the mom like the light gray one. So the kids are more like all about the color. And she's the one that's going to be against the night sky in the last panel, so she really has to stand out of it. So maybe the mom could be a bit more mature. Because I also don't want them to look too similar either. I want them to be two different characters. What about Twitch Purple Young Gogo? I think the new Twitch Purple would be a bit too vibrant <laughs> for the witch. This almost looks like this looks like the old Twitch color. Toxic blue hair. <laughs> Castle look, you use vector lines, right? Well, what was it called? Just because I can't seem to get that kind of stuff to work. Yeah, I, if you're using clips to your paint, I yeah, I use vector layers. You go new new layer, new vector layer. Control shift N. And then when you use like a pen or a brush or something, they'll have uh, vector points you can mess with. Yeah, it's kind of cool that it even works for like blurry brushes and uh, yeah, more, more. Well, paint read brush as well, but you would never want to paint with a vector with a vector layer because it wouldn't it wouldn't give you a good time. Also, kind of slows down your computer too. Uh, quiet artist, I'm currently eating a banana. How dare you! How dare you? <laughs> How disrespectful. Uh, Yo and Gogo, idea for traffic cone. They are normally covered in a material that is made of hep of made up of hexagons like this. Possibly, possible light detail to add to the cone. I think I know what you're talking about. Around the white, around the white part. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, this this part here in the middle. I can get a little bit of detail there, maybe. Thank you, Yon Gogo, for the idea. Also, you may have noticed that I've, I'm drawing the uh, the broomstick, the witch's broomstick, the old school way. Uh, before they went all PC on us and had them sitting sitting on the on the side, which, to be honest, makes I think much more sense because I can't imagine anything less comfortable than flying through through the sky while straddling a wooden stick. A wooden pole. It seems insanely uncomfortable. So that the new witches that you see nowadays, they actually sit, they actually sit kind of like cool. Like this. Very like, cool. Cool. And it's like this, this is the new, the modern millennial witch. They sit like that. Which I think is more comfortable. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a like a like a skateboard with your butt. But I decided to go with this because I feel like it's a bit more iconic, and it's funnier. I think this this pose is funnier, especially with the cone. Size saddle is not more comfortable. Well. I think comparatively more comfortable, but still, either way, sucks. <laughs> what about the, the Harry Potter stream? How about Harry Potter where they streamlined high-speed Quidditch and racing brooms? Even those ones, aren't they still just a stick? Like a cool-looking stick? Hold on, let me look at this. Harry Potter Quidditch broom. Mm, let's push this over here for a second. Save search on okay, yeah. The Harry Potter brooms they still look like sticks, but they kind of I like I like what they look like. They look kind of neat. They have like an interesting bend and interesting interesting shape. Um, you got the place for your feet, but still that looks so uncomfortable. You think they would just add like a little saddle or something, like a like you're, when you're riding around bicycles, you're not riding and sitting on the frame. <laughs> you got you got a seat. Um, and even even with my bike, I swapped out the default chair, the the default seat of my bike, which does look and feel like a broomstick, with like a way more comfy, wider, you know, something to uh, caress my buttock a little bit better. But the 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 foot pedals are neat. Castle, if you gotta head out. Thanks for the art classes. Hey, no worries. Hopefully it was helpful. Catch you later, Castle Loco. Um Oh shoot, I should have oh wait, there it is. The broom. Ah. Oh. I just realized these broomsticks are actually, the broom part is actually made out of like branches. Whereas here it looks more, more like a mop. I think it should be lighter, maybe. No, if it's too light, then it looks like a mop for real. <laughs> it just looks like a frozen mop. Um, should look like 
this, and then the stick could be brighter, maybe? Yeah, that kind of works. You gotta be flexible. May may stand on the broom as well. I feel like witches would definitely be standing on that broom. Like you know how they what was it called that that sport? No, nah, it's not even a sport. It's just like a thing that people do where they it's like it's like surfing, but you're standing. Stand stand surfing. Stand paddles. You know they stand on a surfboard and they have a little paddle. Sounds sounds like the most uncomfortable thing. Stand up paddling it seems so uncomfortable. So it's all about your core, I think. It's like really like stand firm. It also seems kind of boring, if I'm being honest. I've never tried it myself, but I could just stand on the beach. I don't need to stand on the water. Um, tell around to take a look at Mad Eye Moody's broom from I think the sixth movie. What happened there? Whoa. Interesting. All right, Mad Eye Moody's got, got some interesting ideas here with the broom. It reminds me a lot of those, 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 those bicycles, the same thing where you like lie back with the bicycle and you just pedal with your feet in front of you. Although I would hate that because I would hate to be so low on the ground and having like cars and people's crotches in your face the whole time. But in the, in the air, it makes sense. That's kind of cool. Uh, also, uh, Jason's Kirk. Hey, just subscribe to Twitch Prime. For some reason, it's not my little bit thing with Jiggy. Eh? Wait, hold up. Jason's Kirk, subscribe to Twitch Prime. They've subscribed for four months, but it's not my thing with Jiggy. Hmm. Hmm. Jason's Kirk. Well, first of all, thank you very much for the four months. Thank you very much. I wonder why it's not showing up in my Streamlabs thing. Maybe if you like refresh, there might be like a share button, or is or is the share button already pushed? I'm sorry, why it's not showing up? It's not even my overlay to blame. I am my overlay. It's, it's the actual. It doesn't even come up here, which is interesting. You did the share, huh? <laughs> Jason's Kirk. I'm so sorry. I don't know why it's not working. But thank you very much. Hopefully, maybe maybe it's just like taking a while or something. Grayscoff, do links only work for subs now, or did I do something wrong earlier? Uh, I don't know why that. Oh yeah, your post there. Not sure why it's not linking. Is it maybe too close to the colon? Uh, the book doesn't do it manually. What is this? Oh, I don't even know what this is from. What is this from? I've seen this picture around. Which, what movie is this from? Because I have no idea. It freaks me out, though. Hocus Pocus. Oh, right. Someone mentioned that movie the other day. I haven't seen Hocus Pocus. I probably should. Is it good? Such a funny movie? I might check it out. Uh, Jason's character, you, you know, I actually did it while you were offline. I thought sharing it was still the notification, though. Yeah, I thought so, too, but interesting, Jason's Kirk. Okay, so if you, if you did it while I was offline, maybe it... Oh, here, here we go. I see it. 20 hours ago. Here we go. Look at this. Yo. Jason's Kirk. Thank you very much. It It's not doing it correctly, because it's technically uh, your, your, your four-month four subscriber, but... I guess it's been better than nothing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jason's Kirk. Welcome back. Superdux, maybe Gregor started coding at Streamlabs and now everything is broken there too. <laughs> my, uh, my coding powers have no limitations.
Excuse me. Uh, Gritzkov, could you please use this overlay when I'll be able to sub again next month? Twitch did not give me the anniversary button when, when it was time this month, but I can't sub this month, but would love to see my Halloween character in the overlay, please. Uh, I'm sorry, Gritzkov, I'm, I'm not going to have this overlay after Halloween, but you can see your character. Actually, your character has come up. If you host, if you host the stream, it comes up. In fact, you did that earlier. Let me show it again. And now, here's your host. Boom, Gritzkov, there's, there's your character. But after Halloween, I'm gonna it's gonna go to a uh, the the normal theme, um, and that actually reminds me, I still have a lot to do there because I haven't finished drawing everyone's character customizations for the normal version, the normal set. Hey, welcome back, Tom Two Pigs. Hey, <laughs> Grits Cup, gifted by. Kelly Ranton. Kelly Ranton, so kind of you. Thank you very much, Kelly Ranton. Congratulations, Crits Cop. There is your sub. There is your sub there. All right, thank you very much, Kelly Ranton. Too kind. Far, far too kind. Uh, you know, Zach's, Zach's K Magna, is this your main job? Because if so, that's so cool. Hey, thank you very much. Um, yes, it is. I went full time with doing this comic. Um, I can't even remember when. A couple of years ago now, I think. <laughs> Chris Cobb, it just it just paused the stream when that happened. <laughs> did you did you see it? Did you see you getting your twenty month hat? The hair is coming along quite nicely, I think. Looking pretty good. Yo, Toast Cokes, hello, hello. Welcome back. How are you? You saw the cat character for like a second, Chris Cuff. So the stream, the stream froze for you and Keller Anton gifted. I can redo it. I can redo it. Chris Cuff, are you ready? Are you ready? The stream is working. The stream, if you're ready, I'll, I'll do the notification again. Okay, it's working. Okay, cool. There you go. Boom. Chris Cuff. Three of 20 months. There you go. Thanks to Keller Anton. There's two cats there as well. Two cats, you got Kelly Renton and the other cat. <laughs> there you go. Kelly Renton, thank you again for, for the very generous uh, gift sub there. Kelly Renton, more like Kitty Renton. This color is horrible. 
There we go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's coming together. Yeah, not bad, not bad. It's getting there, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting there. And then I think after this coloring thing, we can work on the background as well. Background is actually gonna take a little bit longer than my usual backgrounds because the last panel is so, um, like the last panel especially, where I have the moon, the clouds, the stars, make it look nice. But also, Halloween is coming up pretty soon. I think even the next... Wait, hold on. Is the next comic stream... The next comic is on Halloween. I think, for me. Uh, what's the calendar? Where's my calendar? The 31st is a Thursday, and that is when I do this second part of the stream. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I guess I could ask then. I was going to ask what you guys' Halloween plans are, if you have any Halloween plans. I love, I love trick-or-treating. I'm quite sad that New Zealand doesn't really do much. Not that I would go trick-or-treating or anything. Although it is tempting. But uh, it's not really a thing here. Not many people will decorate the houses and things like this. Oh, maybe they do. I just haven't been in the suburbs in so long. Up for Halloween, but who knows? If it comes out in Halloween, it should obviously be an Easter comic. Yes, <laughs> surprise everyone. Christmas comic. Uh, one genius one. I plan on celebrating for the first time in years. What are your plans? Time two cakes. Your plans are to stay at home and watch the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It is actually night. But then again, to be fair, Halloween is actually the, the day after the stream for most of you guys. And, uh, historic, your plan is to ignore your heathen holidays. Like the good European Catholic that you are. Hey, Neon Led, hello, hello. Eating, no sound, but hello. Well, hello, Neon Led. What are you eating? Question mark. I mean, question mark. Is it good? <laughs> Hey, CJ, hello, hello. Welcome. Erza, can you, can you decide for me? Should I eat this ramen noodles cup in my dorm room or go to the cafeteria? Ooh. Should I eat this ramen noodles? Well, is the question, if you eat in your dorm room, does that mean you're still watching the stream? Are you, you going to watch the stream in the cafeteria? I don't know. I do, I do like the idea of eating in a cafeteria. pretty classic 
Because you get to you get to eat in your room essentially for the rest of your life, but not so much in the cafeteria. That's fleeting. But now I'm conflicted because you'll only watch if the stream if you're in your room. Well, now technically the, the 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 Twitch part of my brain is telling telling me to say watch it in your room and keep watching the stream. But if I'm being honest, eating in the cafeteria does seem kind of neat. So you do you. Nice to know that most of your Halloween plans are to, to watch the to, to watch the streams here, though. Makes me feel good. In so many ways. Uh, Kelly Renton, how about the spider being a little cop on a broom, following the witch in the last panel? <laughs> oh, because like learners have to. Uh, can only fly <laughs> with a with a guardian or a, a full a full permit person. But that would be cute. Maybe we could do that. Spider on the broom. And uh, genius one, you'll rewatch Ghostbusters one and two, and you'll be a puppet as part of the school haunted house. But what now? Hey, <laughs> Jason Kirk and his thick booty. Just gifted us up to Lady Grey. First gift out sub in the channel. Jason Kirk, thank you very much. Very nice, very nice of you, and Lady Grey. Congratulations on your, on your, on your free special hat from Jason's Kirk. Thank you very much. What is this puppet as part of the school haunted house? The school has a haunted house, and you have to be part of the decoration. I've never heard of a uh, school hosting a haunted house. That sounds pretty cool. What what kind of puppet will you be? And Gritzkoff, you'll put a bowl with stuff together that you want to get rid of, and maybe some kids will come and take something. <laughs> like uh, like a bowl of candy, or just a bowl of random crap. It's one way to get your, your place egged. Oh snap! Oh snap! Toxic! Toxic 89! The witch hat. Just subscribe. Toxic, thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome to the hat club. Really appreciate that. Don't forget if you connect your Twitch to your Discord, you get access to like things like bonus panels. And the lounge. Or is he gonna go to cafeteria? Hey, nice. Well, have fun. The bonus panels are great. Hey, thank you, Jason Kirk. Thank you for for saying that. I'm I'm very proud with how the bonus panels turned out. So I still have plenty more to go. I've even made some that I forgot I made that I still need to post. <laughs> there's a there's a few from. The recent comics that I forgot to post already, but that's coming soon. Uh, my oh, Jason Skirk, my first sub was a gift, so it only seemed fitting. Hey, well, thank you for passing on the love. Um, Genius One, I'll be a marionette like those puppets with strings. Nice. Uh, what's this, Chris Scott? Did you say something with eggs? What is this? What? Huh? <laughs> Cute. Cute. Which egg? Interesting hat. It looks like the thing you have wrapped around fruit. But very cute. 
Uh, Lady Grey, well, I finished illegally downloading songs from San Remo. I don't know what that is. And it's one thirty a.m., so I'm gonna go to bed now. All right, have a good night, Lady Grey. And uh, and Ghetto Pepe, hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's see what I gotta do. Um. Oh yeah, I gotta finish shading the hair here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think we're ready to start tackling the um the background. Getting sick of staring at that oh white God, white BGs. Just kind of reminds me how much more work we still have to do. I need to I need to start filling, getting rid of all that white stuff and filling it with the I don't know, like it's gonna be at night time. So we have that fence here. Oops, which I haven't finished with those lines. Um, so the first panel is going to be indoors, second panel is going to be outside, fence, grass, nighttime sky. Here it's going to be more fence, bump, 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 like this. And then here it's going to be nighttime with a moon and clouds. But before I do that, I think I may even, I might save, I might have a short intermission. I'm not gonna have lunch. I'm actually so used to eating lunch at like two, three o'clock now because of these streams. Uh, I'm not even that hungry, but I might have a short intermission just to, uh, Oh my gosh, I totally missed this message. I'm sorry, Fragments of, of Deoxys. Hello, loading. I got my internet back and now I'm sick. Figured I'd watch my favorite artists do what they do. Oh my gosh, I totally, I totally ignored your message. And it was such a nice one as well. I <laughs> hope you're still here. Um, sucks to hear that you're sick, though. So don't, don't get too close now. Keep your distance. I don't want to get sick. In fact, where's my vitamin C? I'm going to eat some of these things. Iron and vitamin C. Garlic, vitamin C, zinc, echinacea, olive leaves. Uh, <laughs> but thank, thank you for watching. And uh, to everyone else, I will be back soon. Although, kerosene, are you watching anything on Netflix, Greg? I actually am. Uh, I was watching... I've been watching a show called Terrace House. Not Terrorist House. Totally different show. Terrace House. It's a Japanese reality TV show. Really good. Highly recommend. <laughs> Terrace, like T E R R A C E. Terrace House. Um, and uh, it's really good. Really, really wholesome. Really wholesome Japanese reality TV. Three, three boys, three girls. They live in together. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a slow show, but it gets in and there's commentators and they're really they're really funny. And uh, yeah, I, I've been watching the, the latest season, the 2019, 2020 season, and I just finished part one, which is like the first 12 episodes. I have to wait for this part two to come out, which is annoying, but I would check it out. Um, and it's so, man, I don't know. I, just, I love Japan. Japan is so good. I love the people. I love the culture. They just, it, and especially after watching, I, I've watched Love Island. I watched a season of Love Island not that long ago. Just like some trashy show, and I was just like <sighs> eating popcorn to it. And my God, <laughs> is that, those people are just such trash. My goodness. And the whole, the whole t Love Island show is just terrible. And now watching Terrace House in comparison to Love Island, it's just, it's just 
mind blowing the different types of personalities. The conversations are so much better, much more interesting. Uh, man, I love Japan. And everyone's so polite and everything is so clean. Every time you see a street in Japan, it's just spotless. There's no graffiti, there's no trash. And the crazy thing is there's no trash cans either. People actually like keep their trash on them to dispose of it at home. It's just, oh man. Okay, well that... <laughs> now, now I'm starting to sound like a weeb. I just love Japan so much. Uh, anyway, sugoi. I know a few Japanese words. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to BRB for like five minutes. Just going to uh, just rest. Take a, little, take a little break. I'll be back in about five minutes or so. See you soon. <laughs> you dirty otaku. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I, I, I wear otaku as a, as a badge of honor. Yo and Love Island is oddly popular in the UK. I don't get why people like it. Yeah, that's actually why I started watching it, because I heard it was so popular. I watched one season. I did enjoy it, but and I I enjoyed the season I watched, but uh, afterwards you realize just how shallow and repetitive it really is. Okay, I'll see you guys on the other side. Thank you for watching so far. See you in like five ish minutes. All right. Until then, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. And we're done. Okay, hello. Welcome back. <laughs> that was a long, long clip. Longer than I expected. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> okay. Now, where were we at? Let's see. Oh, it's the background. So I decided to have... I decided I was a little bit hungry as soon as I turned the intermission on. So I had my last piece of bread, toasted it, peanut butter, jam, rolled it up, put it in my face. Now I'm here. And I also thought, what about... What about a little energy drink as well? A little pick-me-up. Still quite a bit to do in this comic. Excuse me. Cheers, everyone. Oh! Oh, well. Oh, it's so cold. Hey, Neural Kick, hello. Where do I draw? I draw in my uh, in my apartment. I sleep over there, behind the TV. Kitchen's over here. Bathroom's over there. Webcam's over here. Screen's over here. See a little bit more of a a view. So I got the got the chat. I got wait, hold on. I got uh notifications. Got the stream preview. Uh and over here I got my Cintiq. Where's my pen? Chatting here, hotkeys over here. All right. Boop. Hey, Burgermeister. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Program, I use Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint. Okay, BG, let's first things first, let's call this the line folder. And I will use that plus the borders as the reference layers. <clears throat> I'm cr cranking up the opacity of the BG as well. And now we will make the color folder. And uh, let's begin. Why is this not working? Eh?
Uh, I'm not sure why this isn't working as I planned. Why am I not able to select just the fence here? Why is it? Why is it leaking through the entire? Oh, oh, I see. Whoops, I'm a I'm a dummy. Please ignore. Now I can select the fence. Yes. <laughs> fence is white, so you can't really see anything different. See so the night sky. Okay. And then the grass. This is this is real just like I'm just throwing down some basic colors, which I will change soon. You know, the background here was gonna be like an indoor scene, so I'm gonna make it like that. So roughly it looks something like this. But now it's also um I forgot to color in their faces and bodies. So let's do that real quick. Um, yep, select lines, borders, and now I select this layer here, I can just go bump, I don't have to be too precise with this because this is the, this is the, the layer underneath all the other color layers, and I'm basically just filling in the character's um, skin color here. So I don't have to be too precise because they're surrounded by like the co the colors of the clothes and the hair. So it's just whatever, really. Oh, this is kind of hard to see because the fence is there. There we go. Cool. Alright. Neural kick. Anywhere I can download the settings for your brushes. I basically just use the default brushes. I use the uh, the G pen, which comes with Clip City Paint. That's what I use for um, all my line art. Oh, why is this not working? Oh, that's just the G pen, and uh, that's basically that's it. I don't really use any. I mean, I do. I do have yeah the low J brush. I mean, we do have this brush, but this one's not for not up for grabs. Exclusive, <laughs> exclusive brush here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Look. There we go. <laughs> the confused look. Huh? What's she talking about? Ten out of ten. Gritzkoff, why are the mother's boobs located so high? Uh, push up bra? Push up bra? I don't know. It's, <laughs> clearly, it's because I don't know the, I don't understand the female anat anatomy. That's why. It's hard to tell because yeah, there's there's no neck. They have they have no necks. They have no shoulders, so the breasts are just anywhere. Should be a little lower, especially if she's like a a mother. But uh, eh, I'm not too fussed. Not too fussed with the anatomy right now. I think I think it looks fine. 
close to the elbow. Uh, nah. No, I, 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 yeah, I, I kind of, I like this one, the first panel. Second panel, I understand this, this one's maybe a little too, a little too high. But, actually, do we even need that one? Yeah, we do. Nah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I might take another look at it in private. I might check out her physique again off stream. But uh, for, for now, I'm pretty happy with it. It's the cross. It's not really crossed arms. It's like, it's like this. It's like this. I, I know I was doing it off camera. I can't even see what. It's like doing this. It's like this. But yeah, I guess it is a little high. I just that's just how I like my breasts. I like. I like the breasts hanging out, hanging off the collarbone. My, it's kind of my thing. It's like you have a permanent, uh, what, are they, what are they called? Travel pillows around your neck? That's why I'm jealous of the ladies. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's have, a, let's have a little look see here. Let me first, first things first, let me just fill in the, uh, the clothing color so I can move the line out around without it just looking strange okay you can't really see what i'm doing there but i'm doing stuff and now um what the, what the, what the... i've duplicated the um the layer so we can mess around with it and see what See what works. Mm. It's uh it's unfortunate how close it is to that broom. Oh I I've really like de breasted her, huh? Oh that looks kinda nice. That kind of sharpness. Actually the more I do this, the more I can hide that arm because I never I never really like this arm so much. I can hide that arm a bit more with, with just a breast. That's almost too big compared to that one. That's pretty good, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I quite like how it's, how it's turning out. She's a witch, she can magic her bosoms whenever she wants. <laughs> That's true. For some reason she is around her daughter. She's like, now, now it's big breast time. <laughs> I, I think I think right like this. Um, let me fix the sleeves now. What is this? What is this dot here? Huh? I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's not sleeves. It's not witch. It's not limbs. Oh, it is witch. It's just not. There we go.
Looting artist is becoming a looting artist. Not yet, not yet. I don't wanna I don't wanna entice anyone just yet. Looting artist is not ready. There's no need to advertise it so soon. I realize that now. Yeah, this is looking better. They were they were looking a bit strange before. I don't want people thinking I don't know what breasts look like. I know what breasts look like. I have plenty of experience. I've read dozens, if not hundreds, of articles. I'm well versed. That looks better. Hey, Sticks or Animates, welcome back. You got 1,000 points. Excellent, excellent. What will you spend them on? Bergen, my side. I don't know why this popped in my head, but if you were to create a comic of all about spiders, would you hide a spider or would you hide a person? That's actually come up quite a few times. Some people have mentioned that I should make a spider comic, and instead of hiding a spider, we hide the hat guy or something like this. I think in that case, if I were to make a spider comic, I'd make all the spiders that you can see visibly have eight legs, but only the spider with six legs is the hidden spider, as is tradition. That's my... um. That's my, my, my first thought anyway, because the first time I drew a spider in the, in the inspired comic, that spider has eight legs. But how many breasts would the spiders have? I don't even know how many breast spiders have. Do they have eight breasts? Do they even have breasts? Spider milk? <laughs> that is disturbing. Do spiders have children? No, they do have children, but they don't they don't they don't feed the children like that. Tell me two cakes. Hey tell me two cakes. Looking good. Thank you for gifting a sub to Burgermeister. Nine months. Hey, Burgermeister. Congratulations. Tommy Two Cakes, thank you very much. Tommy. 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 What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's that phrasing called when something is free? Like, pro bono. Tommy. Pro bono cakes. Tommy bono cakes. Tommy Prono, oh, whatever. <laughs> so, so, uh, Tommy, Tommy Too Nice over here. Tommy Too Nice, is, that's, that's even better. Tommy Too Nice over here, gifting us up to Burgermeister. Congratulations. Pro bono in the stream makes me misread it inappropriately. This is a this is a pro bono stream. Only only the pros of bonos <laughs> can are allowed in the stream. Okay, let me get rid of this faded white. It's gross. And I gotta unlock it and boom. All right, the mum is a lot less uh, resty. Not that I'm against breasts or anything, but I do realize that they weren't looking very good. The two bolted on looking. This looks a bit more natural. 
Yeah, no, I like it better. I don't have the Streamlabs currency type extension. You should. What currency type extension? Streamlabs? What? Are you talking about like a Streamlabs current, like, like points for Streamlabs? Because no, 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 I don't, I don't want that. We already have the, we have the channel points. I never like the third party point stuff. Too messy. Hey, Neon, let you now sound it. Hey, well, welcome back. What were you eating before? And hey, Truzy, welcome back. And Enzo as well, hello. Stixer, you're talking about this. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't like extensions, especially on the stream itself. I don't, I find them also kind of messy, too cluttery. And, uh... Your viewers and lower lit points don't like that. Request songs don't like that. Vote in polls. Eh, there's a there's a built-in poll function coming. And to giveaways, don't like that. And play mini games, don't not like that. No, I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. But thank you for the suggestion anyway. I try to minimize the the amount of extensions and stuff we have. Oh uh, Neil Lady, we're hitting a subway meeple sub. Nice. Eat fresh. That sounds good. What sources do you like to have? Neon lead. So I feel like all the subs kind of taste the same anyway, but it's, just, it's the source that really makes the difference. On the meatball, you like hot sauce in Southwest. Uh, do we even have that here in New Zealand? Southwest. I think we have Chipotle Southwest. I don't even think we have hot, hot sauce here. On the cold cut combo, you just honey mustard and hot sauce. You like hot sauce, huh? Hmm. Have you ever read The Metamorphosis? If so, does it bother you that you share the same name as the main character? Uh, <laughs> I've, I've read Metamorphosis. Um, I liked it. I like that my name is in it. Shame about it being a cockroach, though. But that definitely explains why I would I would see so much like Gregor is a cockroach stuff on the internet before that. Like I found a subreddit, which is basically just people making memes about Gregor being a cockroach, and I, I felt super super attacked. But now I know that it's from like Metamorphosis. I'm like, oh okay, that makes more sense. I get it now. It's like books and stuff. Actually, I think it was called Gregor as a cockroach. Hold on, I mean, because I tried looking for this before and I couldn't find it. So, like, Gregor is. A... <laughs> nice, I can't find it. I thought I thought that was actually the subreddit, but it's not. Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't know. But I remember reading the book. I remember being kind of sad by it. I remember it being quite a sad book. Uh, Sticks Animates, do I know who this is? Do you guys know who this is? I don't know who the character itself is, but I know it's a Gilded Guy emote. Uh, we've raided Gilded Guy before. Is this character, I ever do commission work? 
Uh, I don't. Not uh, other than like the VIPs that you can see down here. I don't. Um, just because I'm kind of swamped for time for other stuff. But thank you for your interest, though. Are oh, you talking about Gregor Samsa from Die Verwandlung? Uh, yes, but yeah, it's called Metamorphosis in, in English. What's the original language of that book? Is it Russian? It's Kafka, right? He's Russian, isn't he? I don't really know too much about stuff like this. I, don't really, I haven't really read many of the classics. I've read that one, though. It's quite short. Or is he German? I have no idea. Hey, Arizo, you're back. They were having this fraternity and sorority thingy outside the cafeteria. Man, that is sound that sounds so uni-ish. I've, I've I've never experienced it in real life, but when I think of universities, I think of that American campus, sorority, uh uh with uh, fraternity, and they got those like alpha beta omega things in front of their party houses. What were they doing there? Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I gotta do the fence in the in the third panel as well. Um <clears throat> It's looking, it's looking pretty good. It's getting there. Fence in the third panel. What? What? <laughs> I'm not gonna actually do it. It looks terrible. Because it's showing like the ugly bits that are usually hidden behind the characters that I didn't really care about. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually gonna do it. What I will do though, is I'll take a screenshot of this and um, backtrack a little bit. Paste it. And then draw over, over that because I kind of like the um, where the 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 triangles of the fence kind of came in and came out. It kind of hits her nicely. Kind of shows that hat and a bit of hair against the white of the fence. It's nice. It's kind of makes the silhouette easy to read. Um, dry erase go. What if there was a small t little flag or a sign hanging off the Bruin that says "Student Flyer"? 
I'm still concerned that people aren't going to get it with their on its own with just the hat. Well, just the hat and the L as well. But I don't know. I, I, I get what you're saying, Dry Race Girl, but I feel like the more you add, like if we had a vest and a little flag on the thing, it's just it kind of dilutes the joke for me. Because I like the joke where it's just like, oh, bam. it's just like a, a road cone on a head rather than road cone, this, 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 this as well, you know? I know I'm taking a gamble here. But I'm feeling confident. And you're Jacob. 14 months. Hey all. Load high. Jacob, thank you very much. 14 months. Welcome back. Get yourself that hat. How you doing, Jacob? And uh hey Coma Code. And hey Varus Clary, hey, good to see you there as well. How are you? How are you? How are the both of you doing? Coma code, how are things? And Erza, there were people shouting and dancing. I guess it was for recruitment, but music was playing obnoxiously loud. <laughs> I guess you just stayed in your room to eat that uh, pot noodle. But look, now you have the experience of like dealing with fraternities and sororities, college lifestyle. And the Lonely Wolf. Art is all about cheating the mind. It's all about tricking, tricking you into seeing things. That's true. These people don't even exist. I just, I just put some, I just drew some lines together, and now you see them as characters. Pretty amazing, huh? And hey, Fractal. Hello, hello. Enzo, this is the best comment ever commented on Twitch. Praise it. <laughs> And Chris Cuff, you could make the white part of the cone shine from a reflected light. Uh, yeah, I might do a little bit of something. I know Yoran Goga mentioned the, um, whoops, wrong window. Like this kind of material that they usually have in the cones. Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. I'm going to add the moon and the clouds as well. But first, let me fix, fix uh, finish this fence here. Screen cap on panel 3 is a little too far to the left. I can see the broomstick twice. I'm not too fast. It's just, it's just a guideline for the um, the fence part here. Hey, Saruman, 100 birthday pits. Happy birthday to Green Pixel, though. Hey, nice, Saruman. Thank you very much for the 100 birthday pits. Happy birthday again, Green Pixel. <laughs> much appreciated, Saruman. I love that I'm getting the birthday bits for, <laughs> for someone else's birthday. Sticker, have I considered adding Easter eggs to your comics, like maybe drawing a hidden, a drawing a hidden in the BG referencing an old comic? Uh, I mean, sometimes I, if it comes up naturally, I do, but usually the Easter egg is just a hidden spider. I feel like with a lot of my comics, there isn't so much going on visually that anything that I add in there that isn't to do with the punchline is already quite um, noticeable. So I don't really want to add more and more things. Because it gets kind of uh, crammed. But I think the hidden spider is like a good amount of stuff. Ooh, don't like that. Ah, don't like that at all.
Neon lad gifting a sub to the lonely wolf. The lonely wolf, congratulations. Happy birthday, now let me give someone else the gift. Speaking of gift, here's your gift. <laughs> Neon lad, thank you very much. And congratulations, lonely wolf. Don't forget, if you connect your Twitch to your Discord, you get to see the exclusive bonus panels as well. Also, hello, hello. Wow, this overlay is amazing here. Thank you very much. What's your name? Barmim. Hello. So I couldn't, I couldn't see your name because it's like, it's like black on black. There it is. Secret name. Avaris Clary, this is the only Twitch streamer I know of who has a comic dedicated to them making their own overlay. That's true. Not even just one comic. There was like three or four comics in that storyline. The dream to stream. Uh, Exocomics. Gregor, I just realized that that little witch looks a lot like you when you were little. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I even had the same hat. But it does. I, I, my hair used to kind of flick out at the sides like this. And I had buck teeth. <laughs> the teeth. You're right. Oh, God. The only difference is that there was no way I was learning to drive back then at such a young age. <laughs> did, I, did I even have the single tooth? No, I, I, had, I had two teeth. I had I had two front teeth. There we go. That's now it's me for sure. <laughs> buck, what's what are buck teeth? Oh, it's just buck teeth. I think it's like the the two front, the big two front bunny teeth, kind of thing. I think that's I think that's what they're called, right? Buck teeth. I'm not sure why it's called buck teeth, but. Maybe bucks have that, those kind of teeth. Except instead of a magical broom, Gregor has a Toyota. <laughs> Grease monkey, welcome back. 19 months. Welcome back, Grease monkey. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, Reset. How are you doing? The Lonely Wolf. I can relate with the comic about getting a driver's license. Hey! Another person who understands the, the, the joke! I'm telling you, I'm telling you, people, people will get this. Even though the L plate doesn't... Doesn't... Actually, the, wait, wait, the Lonely Wolf. Do you happen to be from either Australia or New Zealand? Because then that's... That's easy mode. Because that's exactly what it looks like in New Zealand and, and Australia. But if, you, if you're from outside of those countries and you get the comic, that's a good sign. You're unfortunately not from those countries. Nice. That means, that means despite this L-shaped thing, the yellow and black being a New Zealand Australian thing only, you still get the joke. 
Kara's saying, do people not have L plays in other countries? Well, we actually looked this up in yesterday's stream, and turns out only Australia and New Zealand have the 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 yellow L or the black L and the yellow square. Everything else is either blue or something else entirely. One was like a T, one was like an R, uh, one was a D. Some just have like a word, I think it says like learners. Or like student driver, yeah. Jason's Kirk, would you be able to see the separation between the, between two of the fence pieces behind her in the third panel? Try to see if it would line up that way. Would you wait, what would you be able to see the separation between two of the fence pieces behind her in the third panel? Oh, you mean like this cap here? Oh here actually. Oh you're totally right. You're totally right, it should be here. So that Why is this not working? <clears throat> nice, thank you very much. Um, what's this service? Monthly payments at PNG. Congrats, your first broom. Eh? Eh? Whoa. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> follow, and follow and subscribe to twitch.tv slash loading artist. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's an excellent idea. <laughs> Thank you, Cirrusy. I love I love the hat as well, instead of the cone. <laughs> Thank you, Cirrusy. Um, uh, Barman, have I played Hollow Knight? I sure have. I streamed it even. I didn't finish it, but we got kind of far into it, I think, until it got too hard. I liked it, though. Sometimes I regret not sticking with it because I see, like, you know, updates coming out for that game and things, and it just looks so nice, and I'm just like, oh, man, well, I can't continue playing now because I can't even remember what the hell the controls are, or where we have to go, or what, but it does look really nice. Avaris Clary, Greg, I think it would work better if she was wearing a reflective safety vest as well. Uh, yeah, someone else suggested that yesterday as well, um, but I don't like the idea of adding more to the last panel. I kind of just like that it's just this bonk kind of hat rather than the hat just being one small part of like all the other things. It's hard to explain. Hey, Patzilla, welcome back. Gritzkopf, when will I finish all the unfinished games on stream? Never. <laughs> I never will. My Hollow Knight game pick was really nice too. Tommy Two Kicks? Yeah, that's true. I was quite proud of that one. Let me fill these gaps.
Oh, hey, Grease Monkey, gifting a sub to Barman. Barman, con congratulations on on such a such a fast hat turnaround. Gifted to you from Grease Monkey. Grease Monkey, thank you very much. Barman, congratulations on that hat. <laughs> Thank you, Grease Monkey. Too kind of you. 17 gift subs in the channel. <laughs> Alex Fritz streams. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello. All right, Gritskov, I could put reflectors in the broom. Uh, yeah, but again, I don't want to, I don't even want to add more than just a hat. Like, for some reason, for me, it's just the simple simplicity of just having the hat <clears throat> is what makes it funny for me. I don't want to add too many other things like bells and whistles. <laughs> Barman, Barman, thank you for following the the uh, obligatory follow. It's like, ooh, he's been gifted a sub. I, I guess I should follow this guy. I'm in it deep now. <laughs> exactly. I guess I need to follow it now, don't I? <laughs> thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. What I've done here is I've removed the lines and made them a separate layer so I can lower the opacity. I don't like them having too, like, the contrast of the black lines behind it was just too, it's too, uh, clashing. Like, it's the same darkness as the outline of the girl. So I want to just, like, lower the opacity so you can bring the characters into the foreground, you know? Stick to enemies. I think this would be a funny emote in a smear frame, which, what are you talking about? Which mode, what? Uh, Barman, I mean, I read your comics. I sent you an email about RSS recently. Oh, I see. Did my response, I think I remember replying. Did my response help? I think, I believe I linked you to the RSS feed URL. Uh, Genius one. This I think this student driver tag is used somewhere in the USA. <laughs> Where is this? Florida? Um and yes, I did I saw your message, Chris I I replied. I said, yeah, I might I might try that. Yon Goga suggested having the reflective thing on the cone. I'm not sure if it's even like that necessary, but we'll see. Okay, let me see. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Da, 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 da. Let's do some sky stuff. Hmm. I really don't like the shading here. The coloring looks gross. I'll do that later. I was gonna. I can't forget the sparkles either. On sparkles. In fact, maybe I'll do that now. So otherwise, I'll I might forget it. Sparkles folder. Oh, what the heck? Sparkles are hard to do. Holy smokes. Hmm. I'm the Joker, baby. 
Let's see. <laughs> Neon lid. This <laughs> the squash banana emote. It works quite well. Squash banana. Pretty relevant. I think the uh, my favorite custom emotes so far are the uh, load high with the sunglasses, uh, the spider with the hat is classic as well. In fact, let me show it. Let me show it to you right now. Spider. No, not no. I'm sorry, not spider with a hat. Spider with the glasses. Sorry, but it looks like he's got a backwards hat. Oops. I messed it up. There it is. Looks like a cool spider. Backwards cat. You know what? I feel like for some reason we're about to do the moon. And I feel like singing this song. With this night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we see no i won't be afraid no i won't be afraid just as long as you stand stand by me and darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by me. Stand by me. If the sky that we look upon should crumble and fall, all the mountains should crumble to the sea. I won't cry. I won't cry. No, I won't shed a tear just as long as you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand now. Stand by me. Stand by me. And darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand now by me. Stand by me. Whenever you're in trouble, won't you stand by me? Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by me. Stand by me. Uh, uh, the beautiful moon. Like a big egg in the super blue night sky. That's witchcraft.
My speaker wasn't on. Oh, whoops. I forgot I have to turn this thing on for it to kick in for the Spotify. Whoops. It's like morning in Australia, isn't it? Uh, no, it's one. Well, I'm in New Zealand, but Australia is like two hours behind us. But it's 1.30 p.m. here. Okay, I guess technically it is morning for Australia. It's like 11, 11.30 a.m. If the sky, that we look up Night. Strangers in the night, exchanging glances, wandering in the night. What were the chances you to sharing love before the night was through? Something in your eyes was so inviting, something in your smile was so exciting, something in your heart told me it must have you. Strangers in the night, two lonely people, we were strangers in the night. Up to the moment when we said our first hello, little did we know, Love was just a glance away, a warm embracing dance away. And ever since that night, we've been together, lovers at first sight. In love forever, it turned out so right for strangers in the night. Love was just a glance away, a warm embracing dance away. Ever since that night, we've been together, lovers at first sight. In love forever, it turned out so right. For strangers in the night. Dooby dooby doo. Da 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 dee da 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 Two lonely people, they were strangers in the night. No, 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 no. Little did we know. Love was just a glance away, a warm embracing dance away. And ever since that night, we do it at her lovers at her side. Even when the song is over, it's not really over. <sighs> okay. Hey, uh, yo, <clears throat> is this program that you can get? Is this a pro? Is this some program you can get, or some program that overlay, or like you, or someone you know? I had a lot of help with the coding of this overlay. It's been like years in the develop, years in the making, um. But uh, had a lot of help, especially at the beginning. Had some outside help with the code, and since then, help from the community, but also help from my own brain. Yeah. All right, back to work. I think. Ever since that night. <laughs> Lovers at first sight. 
Jesus. Okay, the thing is, I gotta figure out what to make of this panel. What do I mean? What do I want the background to look like? Living dudes, we gotta go? Okay, catch you later. Thank you for the good luck. Um. Oh my god, we should have sung that instead. Oh, pfft. Ethan, oh my god. I'm such a dummy. Cause I, I played Strangers in the Night because I thought, well, isn't that, that's, that's quite relevant because it's nighttime. But by Frank Sinatra himself, there's a song called Fly Me to the Moon. <laughs> Chris, have you even asked about it? When? Where? Not recently? Oh, he fly. Oh, Fly Me to the Moon and Back. That's a different song. That's. That's that other song. That's that. Take me to the moon and back. Can't you be? Savage Garden. Hmm. Okay, well, we gotta sing this one because it's, it's just. It's ridiculously relevant. Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Be to the moon and let me play among the stars. <laughs> Hold up. Something's wrong here. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. There, what's going on here? Something is broken. Move this back. Fly me to the moon and let me play among. I think the alt key was held down. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> here we go. Hmm. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, oh, please be true. In other words, I love you. Fill my heart with song and let me sing or evermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, in other words, I love. You! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat>
All right, flood, slow test. It's like getting late going to bed. All right, have a good night, flow test. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, let's see. Uh, you got replaced with the load mic, black and white for some reason, I guess, Twitch mobile thing. <laughs> huh, what? Oh, you're oh, you changing the emote or something. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, hey, who that? Who that? Hey. Per, per Phoenix. Hey, thank you for following. Okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. That was a very good, relevant song. I did no, <laughs> I did little to no work during the majority of it. Mm -mm. Go back to here. Do some work. We gotta get a move on with this, with this comic. Per per Phoenix, I didn't know that digital drawing streams is a thing. Oh yes, yeah. Twitch is no, it's not just for gaming. A lot of people still think that Twitch is just for gaming, but they do have different categories now, and the art category is my jam. That looks weird. Go to the stars as well. I totally forgot about the stars. I was like, hey, Kiri Pagan. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. How are you? Stars is tricky to do because you don't want to make them too um, too equidistant from one another. You don't really want to group them all up in one certain spot only. It's really just like kind of a combination of things. Whoa! Oops. Some stars can glow a bit more than others. Some a bit more faded than others. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, next week daylight savings are over, so the streams are at 10 p.m instead of 11 p.m. for you? Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, per per, it's actually great to know. I was drawing something and I was curious, so I looked it up. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we could always use, we could always use more art streamers. So if definitely streaming art. I find it very, uh, I like to look at different art streams while I'm not streaming myself. It's just kind of like peaceful to have someone else working in the background. I feel like that's why some, a lot of you people watching are you using me for just like background noise while you do your own thing? It's kind of peaceful. It's different from a gaming stream where it's a bit more intense. Well, it depends on the game, I guess. But uh, and it's also handy because then it, you kind of you kind of see other people's techniques and stuff, and it's kind of like a learning helps people learn from each other. And Kiri Pagan, love the comic. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, 
is this vector art? It sort of technically is, but isn't. I use vector layers for the for the line art. So I, I wouldn't really call it vector art, but they are vector lines. If you catch my drift. Should we try these hexagon shapes then? Oh god, I regret it already. Hexagon hexagon shapes. One, two, three, four. Oh good lord. This is not gonna be worth it. <laughs> I can just feel it. Oh god. On a curve as well. Oh kind of has a cool effect. Fuck oh, man, it's so minor. <laughs> it kind of works. This counter is made by beads. Very subtle. Uh, Barman, is there a way to uh, suggest songs? No. No, I'm just in pretzel rocks at the moment. I used to have like a community playlist sort of thing, but uh, since the recent kind of uh, copyright scares, DMCA complaints and stuff, I've tried to like minimize my copyrighted music usage. <laughs> Check out this combo. Load cool and the load mic with sunglasses. <laughs> that does work quite well. But yeah, I, I am a big advocate of Clips of Your Pain. I've I used to use Photoshop for my comics, but once I transitioned over to Clips of Your Paint, I've never looked back. This is looking kind of nice. I quite like this. We could try it. Let's try that little glow thing, Gritzkopf, to the to the cone. I have a feeling it might be a bit OTT, but we could try it. Yeah, hum, humapub, humap, b. Thank you for following me. Appreciate it. Kind of a neat effect because like the moon is shining on it as well, so it's like lit from that point of view. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> Cordage a thousand bits. Oh my god, I thought it was a hundred bits at first. I don't get it. <laughs> Kevin. Cortaji, thank you very much. From one banana to another, I really appreciate the thousand bits. Oh my god. Bits. Cortechi, thank you very much. <laughs> and thank you for shaking my confidence in this week's comic. That's like ten dollar dues, exactly. Uh Grid's Cup, I don't think the shade would shine. Yeah, I guess not, but I really want to, I don't know. I mean, I guess she is being lit from the front as well. More so because the shading is, ooh, you know, we could also do this. I don't know if this, I've done this in the past and I feel like I got a lot of comments saying, you forgot to uh, shade this correctly. You missed, you missed a bit here. When I had like a rim light kind of effect like this. People's first instinct is that I fucked up. <laughs> But it kind of works in this in this regard. That the moon is shining on that side. I do like it. 
Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I think I'm going to go with it. Maybe not in the face. But the, the shirt and the cone, I think, suited quite well. Strike, I suggested moving the moon to the right. Don't know if you caught that or, or could explain why not. Oh, you're right. If I move the moon to the right, then it explains why it's being lit that way. But even then, for the for the lighting to work, to like if the if the lighting were accurate, the moon would have to be in front of it. Like she'd be like going toward the moon. If I move the moon from this way or this way, it's still being lit from behind her. Which don't make much sense. Hmm. Let's see, hold on. I mean, let me let me let me let me let me let me duplicate this folder. You only see reflection from your point of view, so the moon's reflection you would not see as a glow on the reflected material. Well, she's being lit from something, right? So the glow could be lit from that part as well. But anyways, let me see. I uh, should have a tiny silhouette of the ET bicycle in front of the moon in the background. I'd like put the spider there. <laughs> Oh wow, perfect four hours. I've been live for four hours exactly. Good timing with that uptime command. I think Team Fortress have that kind of light on their characters, like outline from behind and light from the front. And yeah, Team Fortress... If I was clever, think of the host. Team Fortress has a, a really interesting lighting system for their characters. They've actually made like a whole... I think, I think they even made a video about it. Maybe or was it just a blog post? But it's, it's very interesting from like a game developing point of view. Uh, I thought it was a blog post. Was it this one, maybe? Polycount? No, it wasn't, it wasn't this. But, uh, maybe it was this. Oh, yeah, I think it was this. 
You know, you know, shit's getting real when it's like a, a PDF document and like Times New Roman. This is this is this is serious stuff here. Um, but it's really interesting. Like if you're if you're interested in Team Fortress Two, this is a really interesting document to read. Just about like how they had to figure out the the different silhouettes to make sure they're readable, even if you didn't see what the textures or anything were. Just like from the base of the silhouettes, you had to tell which class is what, and then uh, the color schemes. And uh, yeah, here we go. This is what I was thinking of. And, oh god, how do I zoom? How do I zoom? How do I zoom? How do I get out of this? Here we go. You got the albedo. I don't know what these words are. Albedo, the warp diffuse, the ambient cube, the D B plus C, uh, the E A times D, the specular, the rim lighting, specular plus rim lighting, and the final result. There's like there's a lot. There's a lot just lighting in this this one character here. But you can if you look closely, you can see what they're talking about. The rim lighting especially is really nice. It's a subtle detail that looks good anytime you see a photo of like a, of a portrait and it looks good 90 percent of the time it's because of the rim lighting and look, look at this crazy stuff the lighting formula <laughs> as simple as that but yeah very interesting uh piece of reading here i think i just looked at the pictures myself but still Uh, I'll actually uh, link it in the chat in case anyone's interested to actually opening the PDF themselves, but there it is. Uh, Varus Clare, I'm sorry, Greg. Friday is my last day as a sub. It's because come Friday, I upgrade to wings. What does that mean? Upgrade to wings? Is that, some, is that some sort of way you, of meaning you're going to heaven? Pride wing L, pride wing, pride tag, pride wing R. <laughs> Good combo there. But no worries, Everest Clary. Appreciate, appreciate all the time you were being a sub. No need to worry. Sub equals sandwich. Wings is also food. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. The last day is a sub, and now you upgrade to the next evol evolution of the food chain. I get you. I was so I was thinking like, heaven, angel wings, you going to heaven? I don't know what's going on. Ever read Team Fortress comics, the official ones? Uh, no, I haven't. But I have seen them. I think I had a quick glance. They're done well. The ones that are kind of like animated a little bit, right? I think I read the first ones or something. I can't remember. And Kelleranton, you gotta go to sleep. All right, catch you later, Kelleranton. Thanks again for the gift subs. Sleep well. Sorry, I mean, this is this is taking a while. Four hours already. But I'm liking how the last panel looks, at least. That's looking nice. So um, let's do what we learned here into these night skies here and keep moving, huh? Get some stars. There wouldn't be too many stars at like near the horizon, so just a just a few near the top, I think, would do it would do a trick. And don't forget there's a speech bubble on this side as well. And this this layer is the close. Stress.
story. Me points out how much longer day two is with shading. Line art is the line. Well, line art is the longest single part of the like. If we're if we're breaking down the times of every single part of the uh, workflow, line art takes the bulk of it. Like line art is about the same as shading and coloring combined. Is what I was trying to say. Uh, the Team Fortress comics, a series with a plot, and there are jokes about Australia slash New Zealand because Team Fortress creator is Australian. Uh, many great creators come from this wild part of the world. Oh, is he? One of the Team Fortress creators is Australian? That's cool. I thought it was just because, like, well, I know the sniper is Australian, so I figure some parts of it is based in, or set in Australia. Was yesterday's stream much longer than... Four hours? Uh, no, I think it was like three something. Three and a half hours? Yeah. I was just especially tired yesterday too. Not sure why. Okay, let's keep this moving. Um, what else I need to do? Fence is done. Grass is pretty much done. It's pretty basic looking, the grass. That could be nicer. But I might focus on that later. Go to the shading on the ground. That's one thing I forgot to do. Um... Move that layer to the background folder so that it doesn't overlap the broom or anything. I mean, that shading is just in the ground, so we can literally append it just to the ground uh, color so it doesn't go anywhere else but the grass. Now I don't have to be so careful with where I add all the different shading brush strokes. There we go. I haven't played Team Fortress in a long time. I played it when it first came out. Uh, and then as time went on, I played it less. And I, there was a phase in my life when I was like really super obsessed with the, like the hat economy in Team Fortress. And I was just like making, I was like hanging out in trade servers, trying to make, trying to make cool trades, like earbuds for stuff. And I got like really into it. <laughs> I thought I did a pretty good job too. I got some interesting hats, but uh, then I don't know. At some point, I just kind of stopped caring so much. But it was fun at the time, for sure. I still think it's like one of the smoothest games I've played. It just feels so. There's something about Source Engine games. I love the feeling of them, like. The way I hate the feeling of Gamebryo games like Fallout and Elder Scrolls, the complete opposite for Source games. They just feel good for an FPS. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it just feels right. Maybe because I was grown, grown up with Counter-Strike. I don't know. But... All right, whatever you got to do. I like the moon position here. You kind of have like, it looks kind of like you're looking up at her. And she's surrounded by the moon, which really kind of makes her pop from the night sky. I really like that. The physics, maybe? The realistic look on it, maybe? No, not, 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 the, not, not the visuals so much, but just like the feeling like of the mouse and how like running works and jumping and just like... I don't know, I can't explain it. It just feels, feels right. I don't know what it is.
Um, she could have had black clothes all along. <laughs> That's true, but I still feel like black clothes would conflict with her line art too much. But now that I think about it, the, the pink doesn't really make much sense, does it? Like, how many witches have you seen wearing pink? In fact, she could be wearing purple now because the mom isn't wearing purple anymore. She could wear that. I think purple works quite well. That looks better than before. Yeah. And and this pink is a bit too pink. That's better. That looks way more witchy. Yeah. That looks nice. Nice. Last panel is your favorite? Hey, Carrie, saying thank you. Yeah, that last panel looks looks solid. Just the right amount of like clouds and stars and stuff. I don't want to get too fancy here. But the grass could look better here, and the uh, what else we got to do? I think we're ready for the spider, huh? I think we're ready for sp spider and. Final countdown. Hey, Mr. Derp and Shine, hello. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna just BRB, but on the um, when we're back, we'll do the spider. So hold oh, tight. Joking, hold, hold onto your butts. I'll be back in just a minute. One minute. See you on the other side. Three. Two, one, and then a spider time. Wait. <laughs> All right, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, let's get this show on the go. And that rhymes, and that's perfect timing because what's up next? It is the spider rap part of the show. So, everything is rhyming. It's a good sign. Oh, that is sweet. Let's do this again. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, pickled spider incoming. Get your spider emotes ready. I wonder if the um, customized emotes will jump on screen as well. Like the spider with the glasses or something. <clears throat> okay, let's go. You got the poll, Tommy Tater Cakes? Nice. Excellent. All right. Perfect. Perfect timing. All right. Hello. Welcome back to another spider rap. This time it's still Halloween time. We got two witches exchanging brooms. What else is there room for? Must be a spider. Spider by the door if I had one, but I don't. Have no door because I'm outdoors. I'm out of doors. I'm out of doors in the sky. It could be a spider. Wouldn't that be a nice place to hide her? A spider in the stars would be nice, would be very nice, but I've already done it thrice. What about we put it somewhere else? Maybe put it in the moon like an E.T. elf. E.T. elf, what are elves but aliens? They got pointy ears, yeah. Mm. Make the moon a spider, wouldn't that be scary? It would be so scary to have a moon landing. Just to find out that the moon is spiders. I would really not want to know about that. I'd rather think it's the cheese. What else but having a slice of cheese? Slice of cheese, please. I would like some dinner. I am hungry. I would want it in my tummy. Take control! 
<laughs> I'm struggling. No, 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 no. Spider on the brim, on the brim, on the brim. Spider on the brim of the hat, on the brim. Spider in the belt buckle. Look at the flying, <laughs> flying away. Now take it easy. Whoops. Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. Take it easy. And take control. Yeah. Cloud spider. Hmm. Eh. No, no cloud spider. Then <laughs> take control. <laughs> then take control. One of the sparkles to be a spider. <laughs> that way I shouldn't have. All right. Put on the dang bicycle. The what now? The huh? The who? The bicycle. <laughs> the, the broom? <laughs> hey. Thank you very much for all your inputs. And for enduring another spider rep. Some of my, my most fire spits of rhymes there today. The broomsicle. <laughs> All right. Hey, Tommy two, Tommy two poles here. Tommy, Tommy pole cakes. Tommy pole cakes here with the pole here. What we got? We got. Um, let me go through them. Where should the spider go? We have. Um, sparkle spider, panel one. We got in the stars in panel two. We got behind the mom's hat in panel two. I like how you've done this chronologically. I mean, panologically. Tommy two cakes. Uh, in the hat buckle, panel two. 
Bum, 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 bum. On the hat brim in panel three. Bum, 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 bum. On the fence in panel three. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one. <laughs> on the broom in panel four. I'm not sure why he's got. Oh, he's like his legs are kind of like flying off in the air. That's what I was trying to go for here. Uh, whoa! He's like holding on for dear life. Uh, spider Moon panel four. All oh, this giant thing, or Twitch or oh, which spider panel four? Bum 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 bum. All right, make your votes. Make your votes. Type in the number. Man, these numbers are confusing because it's like which number do you type? Two, four, four, two. What the fuck's going on? Uh, this is actually very confusing. Um, it's the number on the left. So two, four, five, seven, eight, three, one, six, nine. Those are the numbers you have to type. So the numbers on the right are the amount of votes. It's not very clear, is it? Bad UI. Bad UI. But it seems like in the stars. In the stars is winning. I thought that was kind of like a that was like a that was like a, was like a cheap. Cheap uh, knockoff one there, but maybe, or in the hat buckle. Hat buckle is quite subtle. In a good way, perhaps. Hmm. Mm mm mm. We'll see. Hat buckle seems to be neck and neck with the stars, and then third and fourth is hat brim, panel three, and on the broom panel four. Hat brim panel three. Yeah, I kind of like this one. This one's kind of classic. Almost maybe too easy to spot. And you can only vote once. That's true. Yeah, that's just true. One vote, one world, one love, one piece, one pie. Um, well, I think I'm going to call it here. I'm going to call it to be the... Oh, whoops. I didn't even make a spider folder. I'm a dummy. Spider. I'm going to call it... I'm going to say... I'm going to pronounce spider buckle the winner thank you very much everyone for your votes and thank you tommy two cakes for putting that poll together and also tommy two cakes you can end the poll now as well excellent thank you very much for for voting i may change my mind when the curtains have closed and no one's watching anymore <laughs> but but as far as democracy goes for public democracy I'm going with the with the winner here, which is belt buckle spider. But we'll see what it looks like in the end. Okay. And uh, hey, curly cute. Hey, hey there, everyone. Sorry for joining your live stream. <laughs> Sorry for joining your live stream. Greg, I had a lot of homework. Oh, you mean for joining it late? Hey, no worries, curly cute. Glad you could make it. Uh, did you finish all your homework? I sound like a parent. <laughs> but hey, thank you very much for for joining us. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, and the pole went away as well. Nice. And the the Zuckus, the Zuckus, the Zuckus, the Vez, Vezuckus. I think it's the Zuckus. Thank you for following. All right. So with the spider part complete, you know what's next? Next is the final countdown. We have only two speech bubbles to do today. I think it's time to learn. I think it's time. You know what? I've, I've changed my mind. I think it's time you. I think it's time you learn. Yeah, I think it's time you learn. Instead of to learn, it's you learn. And then, wait, I almost forgot. <clears throat> I think it's time you learn. Mm. This comic actually works for that speech, Rebels? I think you need this one at least. Wait, I almost forgot. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, KCB Poetry, hello. Welcome. Okay, I think that's good. Mm. No, we need, we need, we need the dialogue. The mouths are open. They gotta, they gotta be saying something. And we definitely need this one. 
But actually, you know what? It does it does not really need the text here, does it? But I think the learn helps this word here, learn, helps put the L word in people's heads. So when they see the L play here, oh, learners. So, so for those who are really confused by this L plate thing here, you, you got a little you got a little uh, a safety backup there. <clears throat> At least that's my um my explanation there. So KCB Poetry, I love your comics heat. I love you too. Thank you very much for the nice compliment and thanks again for joining us. It is time for the final countdown. Let's do it. Mm. Which one is the right one? Okay, let's figure this. Oh, sorry, one second. I think this is the right one. Oh, oh this is the right one. No, this, this is the right ones. Who dead? KCB Poetry, thank you for following. Thank you for following. I'm sorry about your face. <laughs> Terrifying. Um, let's see, it's... Sorry, sorry, I'm just getting the final countdown ready. Next, uh... Without further ado, let's do I think this is the right version. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three.
It's a fly. Oh god. It's the final countdown. We're living together. We'll all miss her so. What's the final countdown? Whoa. It's the final countdown. Oh God, we'll all miss her so. <laughs> wow, it's the final countdown. Whoop, <laughs> cocaine Jesus, take it away. I can't believe we didn't finish in one final countdown. Only two sentences. It's because I was having trouble getting these bubbles. I was getting... I am a rhyming genius today. I gotta say. Um, having troubles with these bubbles. But we're getting there. But, um... That's a, that's a sweet looking bubble. It's like I egged myself. But uh, I, I like I like it. Um, let's see. Tommy pointed out Singy Dude doesn't foot tap. Singy Dude doesn't foot tap. He seems to know. Oh, it, th that's the problem. Because, oh, hey, there is Assy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. If I am singing, he doesn't foot tap because it's it's actually a terrible system I have going on here. That's actually something that'd be kind of fun, fun to get a better code for, because right now it's like replacing, replacing the animation with the, the foot tap animation like all the time so fast that you can't even, it doesn't even play the foot tap. So if I stop microphone input, now it's like playing it. But otherwise, it's like, and then when he's singing, it's like it's not smooth either. It's not like it's like. It's it's weird. But yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anywho. Uh you know what time it is. Now it's time for God, I'm so bad at this stuff. I'm so bad. I, I feel like I'm still streaming for the first time in my life. How disorganized everything is. It's because everything's changed. Everything's changed. I don't know what's going on anymore. Let's check this out. The final countdown covers. TKZ. Shibobo.
și Bob Bob. Okay, I gotta I gotta change. What's this? The Duke University Marching Band. Yes. Don't let me down, Duke. Duke University. And maybe with to earth, who can tell? It's so many light years to go. Nice. <laughs> Sounds cool though. Kind of reminds me of like a like a Mario Nintendo sort of anthem. Nice. Oh. What's another what's another cover? I should sort this by popularity. Oh I can't! Oh man. They're all popular apparently. There's no unpopular final countdown song. What is this? Like I'm I'm looking here. They're all max popularity. There's gotta be something. This is, there are tons, tons of covers here. It's pretty amazing. The song is just never unpopular. Oh, Halloween. This works. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking so long. Um, hey, Supertux, you need to go to bed. Have fun with the rest of the stream, and good night, Haver. Thanks again for the donations, Supertux. Thank you for watching. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. And you gotta go as well. Sticks or I can catch you later. Yeah, I'm almost done here. Sorry, I was I was so distracted by the countdowns. This is looking pretty good. Oh, the speaker's not even working. Whoops. 
<laughs> it's not working. Uh, does it work now? Now it works. Hey! Neon led the $2.39. Play your a cappella version. Oh, do I dare? Neon led. Do I dare play that version? Hey, thank you very much for the donation. Okay, well, my version's better than this. Uh, I, I gotta play my version. I gotta play my version. One second. Oh, God. I'm getting my version. Uh, download, download, download. Ah. Whoop. 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 My version, my version. Reload Spotify, please. Please, we gotta change. Where is... Where's my version? Where's my Tchaikovsky final countdown? Come on, reload, reload. Reload, how does this work? Uh, preferences. Uh, local files. Show local files. Yes. Spotify is refusing to show my song. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I'm trying. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna... Just, I'm gonna play in the VLC. Fuck it. This is the true Halloween version. Neon Led, thank you very much. Also, 
Also, keep in mind, just imagine me singing this. This is like midnight into my microphone alone. <laughs> Why am I teary-eyed? <laughs> crying a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Neon Lad, thank you very much for the 30 gift subs. One to Dota Baird, 22. Oh, congratulations, congratulations. Get yourself that first hat. One to KCB Poetry. Congratulations, congratulations. Get yourself the first hat. And also one to Milk Chocolate Cream. Congratulations, congratulations, get yourself your first hat. Thank you very much to Neon Lead for those gifted subs. <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry for costing you approximately eight viewers. <laughs> oh, God. I, I can't wait to look at the graph afterwards. The, the, the Twitch graph of, like, the viewership, and then it's just like, you start, you start playing that version of Final Countdown, it's like, Oh, oh, it kills. Permanently dip, dip the viewership. Oh, well. Whatever doesn't kill the channel makes it stronger, I think. Okay, so with that, let us get to one of your favorite parts of the stream, the comic titles. You guys have been uh, submitting your comic titles for the past two days. Let's go check out what good stuff you have for us today. So, um, if you have, if you don't know what the hell it is I'm talking about, we have Hatbot lurking in the stream. You can tell Hatbot a comic title suggestion and he'll save it to the list and we'll go through the list now using the command exclamation point, comic title, space, whatever your comic title is. And uh, don't worry, if you come up with something now, feel free to do it. We'll refresh the list. Uh, Again, once more, after I finish reading it, what we have so far. So, let us begin. <clears throat> Whew. 
first things first, we have which stitch is which? I think it's Tim. DLC which? Safety. First. Has it overhead? Broom broom. Ooh, that's pretty good, Caselia. Oh, that's pretty good. Damn. Hey, silly, I think that's a pretty good one. Broom, broom. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay, silly. That's all. I haven't even begun to scroll down, and I think I've already found my favorite. Well, my favorite so far. Let's see what can beat broom, broom. But that is clever. Focus, focus. First fight. The origin of the myth of the witches riding brooms comes from women who would put drugs on the side of a broom handle and uh, ride for fun. The more you know. What? Hold the phone. <laughs> You're telling me this whole broom witch thing comes from women smearing drugs onto a broom handle and then, like, fondling it to get high in the sky? Is that, is that you telling me that that's from, that's, that's where it's from? Can't regret making it a child now. Oh, well, anyways, moving on. I, I, I don't believe it. I believe that there are actually witches flying on brooms. <laughs> we'll see. Wh witching you luck. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad, Gritzkopf. I like the pun there, witching you luck. Uh, sweeping takeoff. So, oh, sweeping. Oh, I get it. Like, oh, yeah, broom sweep. That's pretty good. A broom with a view. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the new broom mate. Clean record. Girl with oh girl which gets broom for her birthday. Chant fly without it. Portion wide sweeps. Witch in training. Or witch in progress. Oh WIP Vehicle Learners Club. Oh I get it. VLC. <laughs> Uh, training broom. Like training wheels. He meant resolutions.txt. Stick to the basics. Light school. You forgot the wrist guards. Safety first. Best witches. Like best wishes. She hats herself. Which hat is the witch's hat? This witch was drawn on Twitch. The first fly is the spookiest. Sorry, I'm in flight. Colder than a witch's tit. Learning how to fly a broomstick is my favorite game of this oversaturated genre. The stick shift. Handle it better. Oh wait, the stick shift, I just got that. Right. Because it's stick, and it's like a broomstick, but it's also like stick shift is like the manual. It's not bad. Genius, not bad at all. Handle it better. Training wheels. Which way? Which out? Bavarian motor witch. Oh, BMW, I get it. Flying failure. Student flyer. Student flyer. Hat is gonna hat. Witchcraft. Which way? Getting off the ground. Witch in training. Which way? Student flyer. <laughs> Milk chocolate cream. <laughs> okay, let me... Let me refresh. The tiles are a bit low. Oh, they are a bit low. My bad. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> Shift the witless spinner up. Oh, I'm an, I'm a dummy. I only realized this at the end. God damn it. But I gotta refresh anyway because some people have added new new titles. So let's let's check it out. What do we have? We have um. Whatever your title is, whatever your title is, broom license, broom witch project. Time to go broom. If someone gets the reference, it will get my entire respect. I think a broom. No idea. You better pick broom broom or I'm rioting. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I do like broom broom a lot. Okay, Celia. I think, I think this, this may be even a first in a long time where I actually read a title that I like so much that I'm even willing to think this might be the title we go with. Broom broom. Okay, Celia. I think we may have it. Broom Broom sweeps, sweeps away the competition. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, Celia, thank you very much. Broom Broom. Short, sweet, love it. 
Love it. Thank you very much, everyone, for your suggestions. Very, very good ones today. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think it might be Broom Broom. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Okay. All right. Well, without further ado, I believe that means it's time for the celebration part of the stream because we have finished with this comic, at least for now. I, I'm, there are some things I want to tweak on it a bit later, but that'll happen later off stream. For now, it is time to celebrate. And uh, this is where we go through each panel, panel by panel, and see what it looked like before and what it looks like now, and to see if we've forgotten anything or things could be better or you know the drill so three two one let's compare from yesterday's sketch to today's final three two one here we go celebrate good times come on celebrate good times come on Mm, there's a party going on right here. A celebration to last the rat years. I forgot the grass. I'll do the grass. We're gonna celebrate your party with you. Come on now. I should get rid of these emotes. They're in, they're in the way. We're going to celebrate and have a good time. Final panel. What's your pleasure? Everyone around the world, come on. Wahoo! It's a celebration. Mm -mm. All right, there we go. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another another pair of comic streams on the Loading Artist Twitch channel, making another Loading Artist comic, specifically another Loading Artist Halloween comic. Oh, so many, so many Halloween comics this month. Uh, <laughs> squished, squished load nope is great. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Barman, load nope squished is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Broom broom, isn't that what that big demon in Grim Fandango said when he wanted to drive the car? Uh uh Yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, because broom broom is the sound effect for driving. And that's why I like it so much, because it's like like a car, but it literally is broom. Hmm, it's perfect. Alright, here Tommy Tommy complaints. Complaints. Tommy complaints over here. <laughs> uh panel one still think the girl's right arm looks weird in the sleeve too sharply angled maybe just have her arm bent a little more loosely to the left rather than straight up i think yeah this one this one this one this one right this one right arm looks weird in the sleeve yeah i think you're right i think you're right tommy complaints um like that like that. Like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's celebrate. It's all right. We're gonna have a good time now. Let's celebrate. It's all right. Excellent. Thank you, Tommy Two Kicks. Oh, I just remembered there are some. Technically, that should be shaded. Oh, that looks weird. No, I don't like that. Oh, God. Then technically, this should be shaded. Oh, God. Don't like that. No, I think that's fine. It's a celebration. Celebrate good times. Come on. Hey, Zach. You got, you're off? All right, catch you later, Zach. Thank you very much for watching. And Dota Baird, I, re I very rarely get to catch one of these streams. Hey, well, I'm glad you could glad you could make it today. 
and uh, maybe we'll see you in another in another stream. Not sure when the next stream will be. Uh, we do, I mean, we definitely have the comic streams. That's like that's the that's the thing that's scheduled every week. There's two comic streams a week. But I am planning on doing another baking stream sometime soon. Not sure when this weekend even. I don't know. I shouldn't even say anything. But I if I do figure it out when I'm gonna stream. I will mention it in the Discord, I'll mention it on Twitter, and I'll mention it on Instagram, Instagram Stories. Uh, more gaming with Lee on Saturday or Sunday? Uh, no, the game, we finished the Man of Medan game. I was only mentioning that we would play another gaming stream if we hadn't finished it, but uh, maybe in the future there are more gaming streams to come. Certainly with me, anyways. But I kind of got my, I got my eye on a baking, baking stream sometime. Would be keen for a baking stream. Because I've been watching more and more of the Great British Bake Off, and it's getting me in the mood to get my hands all dirty. And then I have to wash them, and then I bake. Do I have a banana apron? Oh my god, I don't. <laughs> this will be my apron. <laughs> uh, but no, no recipe. Oh, well, I kind of... If I had to think of what I want to bake right now, I would love to try and make a Cinnabon. Because we don't have Cinnabon in New Zealand. I would love to try and make one. Uh, Kara saying, what did I watch the Great British Bake Off on? Uh, I, I find a, a Google Drive link on Reddit. <laughs> so I just watch it through that. All right. That's it for... I can't, I can't, I can't provide links to Kerosene, but if you just search, if you just search it on Google, it'll come up. There's like a few subreddits dedicated to like British UK TV stuff. So uh, you can check it out there. But anywho, I hear this anyway. I don't know, I don't know for sure. I just hear from the, the grapevines. They tell me about these things. Okay, anyways, without further ado, let's end the stream here. Thank you very much. What a solid five hours today. And uh, reset the stream. Hopefully, the curtains will work. I think so. I think so. I think we're getting there. So, outro time. Special thanks to the mods that were here helping out. I saw Grin's Pills. I saw Tommy Two Cakes. I saw Sirisi. I saw Quartet G. Thank you very much. For your uh, for your money help, and uh, thank you as well to like Neon Live all those gift subs as well. Much appreciated, Reese Monkey as well. The gift sub, Tommy Two Cakes gifting subs, uh, Jason's Kirk, Jason's Kirk, uh, Kel Renton, a lot of gift subs today. Thank you very much, and the donations as well. And thank you to everyone following and resubbing themselves. Really appreciate that. Oh, I should hide these emotes. And thank you for watching. It's time for me to get some lunch. And uh, yeah, so I'll be tweaking this comic a bit more off stream. To post it to loadingarts.com, the best place to read loading house comics. Be posting it around like seven hours from now ish. And uh, if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff, there's also Patreon. Patreon. You can be a patron. More behind the scenes stuff like sketches and doodles. And. Uh, Patron packs and high definition versions, speechless versions, and bonus panels and things like this. Also, don't forget to check out the Discord. If you're a new sub, link your Twitch to your Discord and you get access to bonus panels as well. It would be great to see in the lounge. Anyways, that's it for me. Close the curtains down. Holy shit, they're not closing. God damn it. Why? <laughs> Why does this not work? <laughs> Why? I did all the things. I did I did all the things correctly. I don't know why the curtains. I gotta look into that. That's another thing I gotta look into today. <sighs> Wait. Okay. They closed early, but not now. I gotta look into this. I don't I don't know. I didn't I don't know why the curtains aren't working. I will work on that today as well.
Well, that gives me more time to, 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 to mention my social media. If you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitch or Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Discord, subreddit, Tumblr. That's it. I think. Okay, those are the links. Thank you very much. Dry Race Girl, Erza, thank you very much. Tommy Two Cakes. And, uh... Next stream, you should hang laundry in the background again, so stuff will work better. <laughs> my laundry is my good luck charm. Maybe. I mean, I got all this laundry on the ground as well. I mean, that should be the good luck charm too. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, I got a good feeling about this one. The curtains will definitely close. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I gotta do it. Here we go. Hey, Cortecci. All right. Come on, curtains. Come on. Yes! The curtains are closing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.